In this video, we're taking you throughout all MGM resorts on the Las Vegas Strip. We tour around every MGM resort property, check out their pools, try out a couple of buffets and restaurants, and most importantly, check out the rooms. Find out what MGM resort may be best for you on your next trip to Sin City. Check this out, the Grammys was actually moved from LA to Las Vegas and it's gonna be over here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. So right next to the lion, they have two huge Grammy trophies. Check out the line to the baggage drop off. People are checking out here at 11, but it's St. Paddy's Day, so people wanna hang out. So they're leaving their luggage over here. It's like a Disneyland line. MGM Grand is always crowded, full of people, because it's got so many rooms. It's like an ant farm of people here. Let's start off with what I do like about the MGM Grand. I love the club here. Hakkasan is the best indoor club in all of Vegas. I love the pool here as well. And before T-Mobile Arena, MGM Grand Garden Arena was the place to be for all the events. And they still do have events like the Grammys and they still do have boxing and UFC from time to time over there. There's an event, it's a great place to stay. And it's actually pretty cheap on the weekdays. For the most part, you can find a rate for about $44, $45 on slower parts of the year. With resort fee, it's about 80 bucks, 85 bucks a night. If you can find a weekday rate like that, they do have a lot of restaurants, they do have a food court, but I'm actually kind of disappointed about the food over here. I actually don't really go here to eat much. I eat in other parts of the strip. They could update the place a little more, but let's check out what else they have. And there he is, the legend. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee. Muhammad Ali. Let's talk a little bit about the check-in process. So I went on my phone on the MGM app and I checked in the night before. I told them that I'm coming in around 12 to 1. They ask you if you want to pay for early check-in. I say no. It'll say, oh, rooms are usually ready around 3, but sometimes we'll give you a room and we'll assign you a room before that. And if that were to happen, you'll get a notification. So when I was leaving the M, I actually checked my phone and I had a room assignment already around 12 noon. So this was the day before St. Patrick's Day. I was able to check in. I didn't have to wait till three o'clock and I was able to go straight up to my room. So that was actually a great advantage for me. It's hit or miss. It depends on how busy it is here. But on the weekdays, sometimes you can get into your room a little earlier. Last night I went to the Silk Sonic concert and it was an awesome freaking party. It was like, you're in the 70s disco. Bruno and Anderson, they brought it. They brought the vocals, the music, everything. The entire show was, was a great time. So if you come here while they're here during the residency, I think they're here until like May, I definitely recommend checking it out. Silk Sonic was dope. And then I ended up getting my uh, Silk Sonic gear. Boom, got a Silk Sonic shirt. Very excited about that. Let's go downstairs and show you what this huge resort has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the queen of Vegas, <laughs> Norma. Hi, hi. She just gave me a tip about elevators here Best at MGM tip. Grand. So right now we are located in the West Wing, which if you guys have been here, this is like a long hallway. Like every time I'm walking this way, I feel like I'm in The Shining. Yeah, no, for real. This thing is long as hell. I thought, and not just that. There's a mirror. It at looks the like end. a mirror. It is a mirror. Oh, it is a mirror, but it's <laughs> but, like super far. But size that is super long. But the point is. That's what she uh, said. <laughs> the point is, there's actually another set of elevators to the very end. So there's the elevators that um, are over by the main lobby. There's some at this very end. So the reason we are taking these elevators is because we need to go to the strip. So this will get us out over there. Dude, mind blown. I've been staying here for years and did not know that. See, the more you know. <laughs> so this is the end of the hallway. And not only is it already super long, but they added this mirror just to make it look like even longer. Super far, look at this. Look, there's like no end. But the elevators are right here. There you guys go. Stick with Norma Heli. She knows her stuff. Press the button. This is dope. I've never been down in this area where... Yeah. Oh, the casino's so right, right here. right here, casino. This is where level up is. Hakkasan. I mean, I guess we Oh yeah, we're already at Hakkasan. Oh no, yeah. we don't go, go this way because this is going north, right? Yeah, I guess so. So we gotta go, yeah. 
right off the bat you walk in and you find a subway and a sports store with all the Raiders and GK gear and the first monorail stop is over this way as well just look how big this property is it's huge this is the area by the parking garage and you have a huge parking garage here you can get lost easily but I think the best food option here in my opinion I like pyology so I did I'd probably get pyology if I ate here so if you're looking for the fat Tuesdays it's down here just before you go upstairs to the lobby pretty long Starbucks line here but there are around three or four here on the property these are the hydration stations you want to avoid overpriced right by the hotel elevators over here on the MGM Grand's version of the district they have a losers most wanted bar which is like a country bar and then Murimoto the famous chef has his restaurant right here craft steak restaurant right next to Emeralds and Emeralds has been around for a long time and Ambra Italian kitchen and bar and then they have a food pavilion over here food there is eh. they like have a Nathan's and this Mexican place I don't really recommend so if you want your fast food options you can come over here they have Pan Asian Express Johnny Rockets chicken tender and the second Starbucks is right here, but it's not open. You also got some shop in here, Pandora, Paradiso, and International Smoke Barbecue. I heard that's pretty good. This is the other monorail stop. So there's two monorail stops at the MGM Grand. Just so you guys know, the last one will drop you off by the parking lot. And just this way, you have your Blizz crepes and yogurt right next to the entrance of the MGM Grand Garden Arena. This is where people would hang out to wait to see if Manny Pacquiao walks by during a fight. Down this way, you got the Hunger Games exhibition, a Quicksilver store, and the CBS Showtime CW store and activation. It looks like it's closed right now too. It leads to the swimming pool, the, the entrance to the signature MGM Grand, and the conference center, as well as Top Golf. And there's your entrance to the signature at MGM Grand. I might actually go in there and get coffee. That's the conference center I was telling you about. The pool is open from 9 to 5 in the Lazy River, 10 to 4 this time of year. So I've done an extensive review on the swimming pool on my signature at MGM Grand video. So I'm going to link that down below. Check that out after this video. Really cool pool. This is one of my top five pools in all of Vegas. It's huge. Nice lazy river. You also got Wet Republic here if you want to party. And then just down the way is Top Golf, which I also covered on the signature at MGM Grand Video. December 6, 2008, De La Hoya versus Pacquiao. At 147, Pacquiao just demolished De La Hoya. Me and Dad Cation went to this fight. A little tip here. I know that the Starbucks exists at the signature at MGM Grand when I stayed here with Action Kid. There's no line, so I decided just to walk over here and grab my coffee. So for your regular coffee segment, $4.71. Grande Pike's Place blend, two equals and a half and half. Cheers. Piping hot. This is gonna wake me up though. That's right, Steph's wife, Aisha Curry and Chef Michael Mina started International Smoke. This right here is really nice. It's Brad Garrett's Comedy Club. Over in this section of the large casino, you got your Ka Cirque du Soleil and Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill. Funny story is before this was Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill, it was something else and there was a pre-party before a fight. It was my best friend Jason's bachelor party and I met Charles Barkley and Reggie Miller at the bar here. So this is the entrance to the mansion, casino and lounge. You need private access, but yeah, this is the one I wanted to show. You got a Grand Walk noodle bar here right next to the third Starbucks. Well, the fourth Starbucks, if you count the one I have gone to at Signature MGM Grand. Check out all the pandas over here. Panda, 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 panda. Right over here by the sports book is the Jabawaki store and the Timeless show is over here right across from David Copperfield. Right across the way is the MGM Grand Buffet. Not my favorite buffet in Vegas to tell you the truth. I did a review on it with Norma and Dan vs. World. Make sure you go check that out. I'll link it down below. Right now it's March Madness so all these people are putting in bets for their favorite NCAA teams. Check this out over at the Centrifuge Bar. People are intently watching March Madness right now. Checking if their brackets are busted. Right here is the Hakkasan restaurant and next to it is Hakkasan Club. My favorite indoor club in Las Vegas is Hakkasan. I love the Ling Ling Room. Awesome hip hop, R&B over there, nice tables. And their main room is amazing too. They have Little John, Steve Aoki, and a bunch of other resident DJs there. I got to hang out there when Little John was playing. Shout out to my homie Thomas. And look at that. 
March Madness, people going crazy. Just to the right of MGM Grand when you go outside is uh, ABC Stores and the Coca-Cola Factory and the Hard Rock Cafe. ABC Stores is the best place to get water, drinks, and snacks. So I'd take the five minute walk and head over here to the ABC Stores. And there's the Coke Factory and MGM Grand is just right down the way right there. If you're looking for your basic cheap food court, they have it here over at the Coca-Cola Factory. You got your Sabaro, Del Taco, Panda, and it's all upstairs right here. Want to see one of the greatest magicians of all time? This is the David Copperfield Theater. I love Copperfield. What do you guys like most about the MGM Grand? Comment down below. What do you come here for? Rest and relaxation, shows, gambling, the club. And please hit that like button. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. And right over this way are the Skylofts. I stayed here for my cousin PJ's bachelor party. It was a two-story loft and wow, it's amazing. They have their own private entrance and lobby. If you're driving into the MGM MGM Grand, one thing I recommend is taking a photo of where you parked. So I parked in 3F. It's a huge parking lot, so you just gotta remember the landmarks and sometimes you'll forget. And now for the most anticipated part of the video, the hotel room review. Now I like to give you guys details on these regular rooms and I ended up booking the two queen bed regular room. The view's not that nice actually to be honest with you. You could partially see the area that has the private mansion here at MGM that I've never seen before and apparently there's exclusive access to it and you can't just walk in there. Here in the regular queen bedroom, you have your beds and they were really comfortable. I, I slept just fine at night. The air conditioning was freaking cold. I had to turn it off. And over here, you have two chairs to put your shoes on and just to lounge out with a Las Vegas magazine and a coffee table. And they have a nice glass top working desk with a desk lamp, a outlet, and the outlet actually works here. They do have a refrigerator here, but it's not one you can use for personal use. It's a refrigerator that's stocked with snacks and drinks and it tells you to refer to the TV channel to see the prices. Now, I wouldn't even mess with it because you take one out and then you try to put it back in, it'll already have charged you. So don't take anything out of the refrigerator. Go down the street to ABC stores where you can get cheaper drinks, cheaper snacks. Another thing that I liked about this is that they had blackout shades, uh, two levels of it. So when you're trying to sleep and you want to sleep in the pitch dark, you can do that over here. No need for curtains coming down. It's just uh, two levels of blackout shade. Throughout the room, there's three lamps that you can use and turn on and one at the hallway when you get in. Right next to the hallway is a pretty giant sized mirror so you can get a full body look at yourself before you go to Hakkasan or before you go to the restaurants downstairs like Miramoto's. Over at the bed stand with the lamp, you also have an outlet with an alarm clock and that's where you'll find the safe in one of the two drawers over there. So you use the safe. If you're looking for it in the closet, it's not in the closet. It's actually in one of the two drawers. Inside the closet, you got your basic things like the ironing board, the iron, a bunch of wooden hangers, and a luggage rack. They also provide you with a couple of glasses and an ice bucket. And if you walk down the long hall, you can go to the ice machine. What I did on this trip is I filled up the sink with ice and put my beers in there. And that's how I kept my drinks cool this time around, filling up the sink. And you also got three drawers, three big drawers under the flat screen TV. And if you do have an HDMI cable, you could plug it into the back of the TV and watch your own stuff on your laptop. Originally, I was not liking that there wasn't like a double lock or a deadbolt, but there is, I just didn't read it. You just have to simply set this up and another lock double locks it. So, had no idea. <laughs> Until now. Finally here in the bathroom, you have one sink. They provide you with your towels down below, extra toilet paper, the trash can, tissue box, hair dryer, of course. And then they also give you lotion, conditioner, soap, shampoo, and all that good stuff. It's actually not a walk-in shower. You have to get into a small tub. But the shower pressure was really nice. It was nice and warm here. The throne was comfortable. You also have your shaving mirror up here and a nice vanity mirror to get ready for the night. So all in all, my stay here at the MGM Grand did its purpose. The rooms won't really blow you away. For a total of two nights here at the MGM Grand, I stayed here from a Wednesday to a Friday. It was $163.27, so right around just over $80 a night. This is a huge resort, so they have 
so many rooms to fill up and I booked this about two months ago when the Silk Sonic concert was offered and I said you know the rooms are still cheap I might as well get it now so I was able to walk over to Park MGM the Dolby Theater and watch the concert and then walk back here and now downstairs they do have a lot of restaurants they do have food courts they do have a Fat Tuesday here but I don't really like the options that much. The place I'd probably go to would be the Pyology right next to Fat Tuesdays on the way to the parking garage. And the parking garage here is huge. There's an Uber pickup. They also have the monorail. It's just such a huge hotel and it feels like a adult ant farm walking around that lobby when people are trying to get in and out of this place. MGM Grand's great, especially if you're gonna go to an event either at the MGM Grand Garden Arena, the Dolby Theater, if Park MGM's rates are higher, or over at T-Mobile Arena. MGM Grand has always been a classic. You know, I've gone to Justin Timberlake here. I've gone to Pacquiao Mayweather in the past. I like it for the entertainment value that this resort brings. I'm gonna show you what I did around the three properties here, Mandalay Bay, Luxor, and Excalibur, because they're all interconnected. You can travel between each hotel via tram or walkways that are indoors. You don't even have to go outside and check out one of these three hotels. It's awesome to stay at especially during a game, and it's literally right across the street from Allegiant Stadium. It's about a 10 minute walk across the bridge into the stadium, so it's very convenient if you're watching a football game or an event over at Allegiant, and that's why we're staying here in 2022 over at the Luxor. I also did a review on the Excalibur and New York, New York, so I'll also post those videos. Now let's go check out a weekend here during the Raiders Chargers game in 2022 on Jaycation. All right, Jaycationers, let's rewind to when I arrived at the airport and hopped a lift over to Luxor so you can see what the surge pricing was for that trip. What happens here only happens here. Not true. Don't believe that. I usually take Uber or Lyft, but right now the cheapest ride is $34 on Uber and $22 on Lyft. So I'm just going to take a taxi to Luxor because it's one of the cheaper zones it's the south zone of the strip i think it's only about 19 bucks taxi or i could take the shuttle for 12 bucks it's pretty trippy there's like no ubers or lifts even though i just booked one i had to pay 24 bucks for it beats being in that line i don't understand they might have closed down this part of the airport for some reason so speaking of harry reed his funeral is actually today and the president and former president Obama is here in Vegas and all these road closures are going on so taxis and Ubers and Lyfts can't get into the airport so that's why this uh, area is eerily empty right now because all the Ubers and Lyfts are trying to get in but all the roads are closed because the president's here for Harry Reid's funeral. We made it to Luxor. That was a $24 ride. Usually it would be about 12 bucks from the airport but Presidential motorcade for Obama and Biden was passing through and they shut down all the roads for Harry Reid's funeral. Of course, that was just what I was talking about with Neon 22, changing the name of the airport to Harry Reid International. But now we're here at Luxor. I'm already down. Vegas is already winning. They took probably 12 more dollars than they should have from me. All right, made it to the hotel right at three o'clock. It was only about a 20 minute wait over at the airport. Now, if you fly Frontier, you go in through a different terminal and it's not the main international terminal where I usually go. So it's a little more difficult to get in and out of there. So I did pay a little more for my Uber. While we're here in the room, I'm not gonna give you guys a review of this room. This is gonna be more of the weekend stay between the Luxor where I am staying and eating at places in Mandalay Bay and checking out Excalibur. So with the spike of Omicron going on right now, I got my KN95 mask. It's kind of hard to breathe in this thing, but better safe than sorry. I'm gonna grab some food. I am starving right now. Let's see what they have at the food court or over at Mandalay Bay. So picked up a Raider beanie over here. Got this one. All right, vacationers. So we're back here in the room. I went to LA Subs down at the Luxor Food Court. I just had to grab something because it's almost four o'clock. I'm about to start live streaming, and I'm just starving. I haven't ate anything yet. So I just got the classic Italian. Peep the classic. Waters over here are ridiculously priced. So I'm dehydrating myself until I get to a CVS. 
Got the hitter. Now, granted it's 12 bucks. I'm gonna save the other half for a late night snack tonight. And look who's on the cover of Las Vegas. Bruno Mars! Shout out to Bruno. I definitely need some sip, sip, drip, drip. Nice little view of Excalibur and T-Mobile Arena too. Thumbs up to this. So in order to get over to Mandalay Bay, you have to cross over the shops at Mandalay Place. There are some restaurants and bars and a few shopping stores over there, like where I got this Raiders beanie over at the Raider Image. So if you wanna do a little shopping or find some more food, you have an option to go through here. And we're gonna check out Skyfall Lounge later on in this video with the greatest views of Vegas with a special guest who you may have seen on this channel in the past. Stay tuned. All right, Jagationers, if you're liking this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. I have a ton of Las Vegas, San Diego, and world content to come. We're enjoying a weekend stay here for the Raiders game here at the South Strip at one of the three MGM resorts. We're staying here at the Luxor once again, but I did do another video, so make sure you check that out about the room review here at the Luxor. Pretty much we're staying at the same exact one, so back to the video. Alright, Jagationers, we're here at Skyfall Lounge at the Delano. Delano. <laughs> Alright, Jagationers, we're here at Skyfall Lounge at the Delano with Norma Heli. It's pronounced Delano, not Delano. 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 <laughs> Anyways, she said that me and Clark need to walk into the bathroom. Yeah, you have to go see these bathrooms. They're like the coolest bathrooms in all of Vegas. Just come and watch. How was your wine? It was good, actually. Um, very healthy. I've been giving up cocktails lately because it's too much sugar. I'm trying to slim down. So, yes, wine it is. All right, we're going to check out this bathroom, Norma. Let's see. Let me know what you think. It's hot. Yo, what's up, JK Schners? Let's go. Hey, this is the best view in Vegas. For real, and I've been at the Eiffel Tower. I've been to the Stratosphere views. This is the best view I've ever had of Vegas. <laughs> Guys, we ran into Jaycationers over there here at the Sky Lounge. How legit is that? Oh, you're taking a piss with the view. <laughs> There's the view, guys. Jaycationers, look at the toilet. Jaycation, take him to the toilet. Let me look. What the hell? Look at this. Look at this view. Holy crap. All right, Norma, we got what you're saying. Guys, check out this view right here. This is awesome. The views here are great, and Norma, the restroom was amazing. <laughs> Good. Right by the she said, she told us. 10 out of 10 recommend. 10 out of 10 recommend. Make sure you want to, you, you got to do the other thing. One, two, and three. <laughs> That's not going in the video. <laughs> right across the street from Mandalay Bay is Sayulita's Mexican food, which is from San Diego and specializes in Filipino Mexican cuisine. All right, Jagationers, we're here at Sayulita's. This originated in San Diego. There's a few locations there. The Mira Mesa one is the one I go to most. I've tried the Longonisa, the Tocino, and the Lubia burritos there. But here, I'm gonna try out their Spam Silic burrito. It's a big it's ass a burrito. It's a big ass burrito, dude. When they say they're home of the big ass burrito, they're not messing around. This is huge, huge Dang. What's up, JK Nerds? So what I got was the Bionic burrito. What's in it is Spam, carne asada, sour cream, avocado, and cheese. This is an amazing mix of food, especially if you love Spam, because I love Spam. So I went for this right away. Just the, the fusion of all this goodness together. This is the perfect burrito. Look at that. You almost finished it, dude. Dude, I almost finished it. Okay, so funny story, I'm not a huge avocado guy. So as you can see, the avocado is on this side of the burrito, and I'm probably not gonna eat this side, but I will finish this side. For my fellow Spam, carne asada, cheese, and if you love avocado, this is the perfect burrito to get as I leave us. I mean, I tell you eat this in the past, but this is my first time getting this burrito. Mm. So good. All right, JK Shaders, we got the mild sauce. We got the Spam Salud burrito. We got cheese, eggs, rice. This is a huge burrito, guys. Just like Clark. 
I love it, fam. You guys gotta come here, say Alitas, whether you're in San Diego or Las Vegas. It's bomb. At Mandalay Bay, there's a Liberdine Social Gastro Pub, Kumi Strip Steak. We're headed over towards Border Grill. Me and Clark. Yo, what's up, Jaycationers? It's the day after the Raiders won and made the playoffs. All right, Jaycationers, if you want to check out the review of Border Grill, which we just ate at, I was originally gonna put it in this video, but we had so much entree yeah. and they took care of us so well over there that I had to do its own video. So check that out. This day was good. I did myself check-in once again. We're gonna get late checkout, which is noon time today. And right now I'm gonna go downstairs to the Starbucks. One advantageous thing that you can do at this particular location, I'm not sure about other locations, but you can actually order on the Starbucks app, go downstairs and pick it up. Instead of falling in those long lines in the morning, do what me and Clark did, go on the Starbucks app and order and it'll save you time in line. Some of these lines, especially on the weekends, are super long. And just so you know, my creme brulee latte, I didn't get one, but it's not $9.30. I got a Pike's Place roast and it's about $4.30 plus cents. One thing about the elevators here at the Luxor, they're called inclinators because you're on a 39 degree angle on all four sides of the pyramids, they go to different floors. Now it's not the smoothest ride but it gets you to where you need to go. And they're a little older. I think they might need to be WD-40 replaced and made brand new ones because they're getting a little outdated. It's all good. Gets us back downstairs. Let's grab some coffee. So there are three different Starbucks here at the Luxor in three different quadrants of the hotel. There's one next to elevator 3A and 3B, which is the one I'm at right now, which we did the mobile ordering for. There's one by the lobby that's a little more busy because obviously it's right by the lobby. And then there's one on the second floor in the food court, but that one doesn't usually open till about noon on some days. So we always went to this one here by elevator 3A, 3B. Clark gets his coffee iced coffee and I get my uh, Pike's Place roast with creamer. Picked it up, it was ready to go, didn't have to wait in any type of line. Now across the way is the Pyramid Cafe, which is a poppin' place in the morning for breakfast and a lot of people like to line up there and get some food. If you're a breakfast person, go check that out. And I think the Luxor Buffet is also open. I've never re reviewed it yet. I've gone in long time ago in the past. It's an alright buffet, but I've heard, I haven't heard really good things about it, but I don't know, maybe in the future we'll check it out. On the opposite side of the lobby, they have a place called Public House where you can watch games on the weekends, and it's a pretty big pub house, and then right across it is Flight, which you can get $6 draft beers, and that's right on the casino floor. Pretty cool spot to hang out. One thing Clark wanted to do while he was here was see Carrot Top at the Luxor. I didn't know he's in his mid 50s. He performs here six nights a week, except for on Sundays when he gets a uh, day off. But yeah, you can watch Carrot Top, one of the top prop comedians in the world. Right here, guys, is uh, the walkway to Excalibur. But the moving walkway is closed. And right next to it is the Uber Lyft, which me and Clark are about to take to Bally's, which is my next hotel review. Stay tuned for that. All right, vacationers, so that was the weekend stay here at the south side of the Strip at the MGM Resorts. We stayed here at the Luxor. Like I said, if you want to see the room review, it's the exact same room that I stayed in in 2021. It was a great time. Uh, we paid about $360 altogether for the three days, Saturday to Tuesday, and that was on a game night. That's actually a really, really great deal to be across the street from Allegiant Stadium. Granted, we booked it two months in advance with my M Life Pearl, which is the level two, two tier, so I'm getting a lot better rates. But usually, with level two tier, sometimes you will get comp rooms here at Luxor and at Excalibur, even though you have to pay the resort fee, which adds about, you know, 45 bucks. But for this day, it was still good because we were right next to Allegiant Stadium, which was the goal because we didn't want to like travel back and forth from the stadium too far. So it was a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to show you guys a little more of Mandalay Bay because I haven't actually stayed at Mandalay Bay, but eventually we will. Stay tuned for the Border Grill review because Border Grill was so good that I had to do its own video. We also checked out Sky Lounge with Norma and Clark, so that was a great time. And yeah, we had a great three nights here at Luxor. The Raiders came away with a victory and are going to the playoffs against the Bengals. By the time you see this, that game had probably already 
ended. Let's see if the Raiders uh, move on or not. But if not, that was a great, memorable game. They came back and won. There's also going to be a video for that as well. I'll give you a little tour of the restaurants and the convention space and other things you can do like the Shark Reef. This is an awesome, huge, huge resort. And it's also connected to Luxor and Excalibur. But we're just going to focus on the Mandalay Bay property. Now, if you haven't seen my Not So Hidden Gems video here in Las Vegas, I do cover the very front where they have this Temple Run-esque type of bridge and a ton of waterfalls and a cool picture op. So make sure you check that out after this. So here's the lobby and registration. I checked in via my M Life Rewards app and I was able to get a digital room key, but the digital card you have to use to get up the elevator and you can never activate it fast enough to get up to your floor. So I definitely recommend getting a physical key over that way. This is the really nice lobby. This is one of my favorite lobbies. And look, they got the Michael Jackson 1 Cirque du Soleil statue, the iconic MJ statue right here. Mandalay Bay lifestyle store. It looks like it's closed right now though. That's one of my big tips is if you're staying at Mandalay Bay or a MGM resort, make sure you get a physical key or two so that when you get to the elevators, all you can do is just reach in your pocket, grab the key. With your phone, you're gonna be fumbling around trying to access it. Sometimes there's no internet and the digital key doesn't activate. And the next thing you know, you pass your floor. That happened to me, so I know. The taxi stand is different from the Uber pickup. The Uber pickup is past registration down some escalators to the side. So if you're looking for Uber or Lyft, that's where rideshare picks up. The front is where you get dropped off. The front is also where the taxis are. So just make sure you know that and you're not confused and you're out there waiting for your Uber when the Uber is over on this side. And there's also a FedEx office right here. So although Mandalay Bay is huge, you also have the Delano, which is more luxurious. And you also got the Four Seasons Hotel, which is even more luxurious. They're all connected here together. But Mandalay is what we're focusing on in this video. I really like this area where you go downstairs. This is where Valley Pickup is. You can get to the pool somehow. Nice and tropical. There's a shuttle and tour pickup area and a cardio center as well as a beach coffee and ice cream but it's closed right now. And there's the good old elevators to the foundation room. All right vacationers so we made it over here to Mandalay Beach. The wave pool right behind me they have a stage here. There's bikini bars, lazy rivers. Everybody's having some summer fun. A lot of kids, a lot of adults hanging out having a good time and I'm just gonna show you a little tour around the pool and I'm kind of looking for a guest. She might be around here somewhere. Hello. Oh, hey, what's up? Hi, how are you? Christina? Yeah. Oh, yeah. hey guys. I'm pretty famous. I've, I've seen you on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Christina Dimitrova. Miss Christina Dimitrova on Instagram. She's a Vegas local and she's gonna give us a little tour of Mandalay Beach and what she thinks about Mandalay Bay. Thanks for joining me today. Me. One thing you guys don't want to do is walk barefoot. I got slides, she's got slippers on. It's not a good idea. What's really cool about the pool is they have a nice lazy river. What I do you think? I love lazy rivers. This is like my favorite thing from all the pools in Vegas. It's just so nice, so relaxed. Grab yourself a floaty? If they have, I will. But I think we should bring our own. Do you have one? I have one. Woo! I got a flamingo Woo! one. Oh, I'm gonna be a flamingo then. <laughs> so that's cool. Just met a vacation fan. Dwayne, hope you have a good time. <laughs> so they also have cabanas here. Looks like you got TVs and a nice little beach area here. You can put away your towels in this area. Cool, nice little bridge. Christina, we, we gotta get into this. So we gotta get a floaty or something. I'm jealous. <laughs> As a local, is this one of your top favorite pools in Vegas? I like it a lot because it's different because of the wave pool. Kind of hectic here right now because the kids running around and everything. You even got showers here to wash your feet off because there's a lot of sand here. Sand, yeah. yeah. And uh, there are not many umbrellas and this is a little boring because it's so hot so sometimes it looks a little too much. Here it's much more relaxed than nice. many kids. Environment. Christina, they even have a surf shop here, huh? Yeah, maybe let's check what they have. You, you forget a few things, hat or Not sunblock. Not really, but you can never miss something good, you know? <laughs> I want the things to be better for me, like uh, for a little girl. What's, what's your color? I like white. I can fit in that. That's nice and bright. Yeah, if you forgot your bikinis, you have a good choice. So we got board shorts over here. Uh, if you want a Vegas tank, they got stuff like that. But they also have Quicksilver flip-flops. 
Which one is your favorite? Which one you wanna wear from those? Well, well, right now I need flip flops because okay. I'm wearing slides. Okay. So I would get flip flops. Let, okay, let's choose. Out of necessity. Oh. I'd probably go with like these. Yeah, these the, are I think they're nice. They Simple. match everything. Yeah, I like those. These are cool. These two right here. Yeah, they'll match your personality, yeah. I think. Ooh, thanks. <laughs> All right, Christina. So people get hungry while they're at the pool. You got the beach bar and grill. Oh, what would you? Fries. Okay. <laughs> You're feeling the french fries yes. they even have it to go so if you don't want to sit down you can actually grab it and they have some open chairs around here and everybody make sure to subscribe to christina i'll leave it down in the description box below and check out her instagram as well miss christina dimitro we're at daylight beach club should we go but it's, it's closed, closed. <laughs> we can. And they have a nice uh, pool and they have uh, different uh, performers so it's more of a party club so party atmosphere place. And then up top, they also have Murea Beach Club. Just so you know, guys, no. the pool is open from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily. <laughs> We're ready to go. Oh, it's hot. It is, I told you. We finally made it. All right, couple laps around the lazy river, Christina. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Jaycation and share as well. <laughs> and check out Christina's channel. Yay! They get hit. I don't want to be hit by that. Waterfall! Oh my god, on the other side! Uh oh. That was close. We almost got smacked there. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's do it. Right over that way is Border Grill. We're gonna check that out next. Can't wait. All right, we were just out right here at the pool, and now we're here at Border Grill. Ready for some Border Grill? Yeah. We're gonna meet up with Yancy, the GM here, and he's gonna show us a lot of new things on their menu, so we're excited for that. This is our ribeye nachos. Careful, that plate's nice and hot right on top there, but our tortilla chips, house-made tortilla chips, antibiotic, hormone-free ribeye right on top, manchego cheese sauce. Since it's summer, we gotta try out the frozen tropical colada. Cardi tropical flavors, Coco Lopez, coconut water, pineapple, and bitters. This looks really good. Yeah, it's so pretty. Everything is represented so well. Feels like I'm uh, at a party at the Copacabana right now, and I just want to go on my flamingo floaty like we were on earlier, and just drink this on that lazy river. Yeah, that'll be nice. There's a lot of traffic on that lazy river. It feels like you're in LA. Yeah. This is so nice. And it's not so strong like usually, you know. Yeah, it, it does, it's not very strong, but it will sneak up on you if you get it. I didn't get the. Perfect. You could actually feed like four people with this. I don't know how we have. They to. have to double plate it because it's super hot. Me and Christine are gonna have to figure out how to do it. How about you work that way, and I'll work this way, okay. and we'll and work maybe it in. we'll meet in the middle. <laughs> meet in the middle. Or maybe not. <laughs> Using a fork with nachos. Yeah. Well, I guess. There you go. Oh wow. Uh -huh. This skirt steak looks really juicy. Yeah, avocado. Oh wow, you got beans in the bottom, the avocado, mm -hmm. you got a cilantro taste to it. Mm -hmm. And the skirt steak has got a nice marinade. I love it. Yeah, look at that skirt steak. Mmm. Yeah, you get cilantro and a juicy steak with these nachos. Mm -hmm. They even have corn. There are so many things that are coming at you in this plate. Yeah. So many flavors. It's manchego cheese sauce mm -hmm. actually. Again, that's right. The secret in life is manchego cheese. We love it. I'm gonna try one more Calibre beer, it's the MPA. I'm gonna finish my lemonade. Ooh, it's nice. I put some lime in it too. You like it? It's like a Mexican IPA. That is really good. This right here is the entryway to the convention center and the North Convention Center. The Michelob Ultra Arena is right here. And this is where I've watched a few Pacquiao fights in the past. Pacquiao Barrera too. So the Shark Reef Aquarium has admission, but they do have deals online. So you might want to check out how much it costs. I know there's some days where it is complimentary. So just make sure you check it out online and maybe you can get a deal on the day you're staying here to check it out. Over past Border Girl, they have a Weddings by Mandalay Bay. So this, I'm guessing this is where they have the weddings or you prepare for it. And then we're getting towards the Shark Reef and it looks like they even have a little food court here. Let's see what they have. Looks like there's a wedding photography shop right here and another Starbucks. There's like three or four Starbucks within this property. And then the food court. Wow, I didn't even know this food court existed. I never go this deep into Mandalay Bay. So this food court basically has like the typical MGM Las Vegas spots like Bonanos, New York Pizzeria, 
Johnny Rockets and your Nathan's and Pan Asian and I think there's a subway there too. And right over this way is the ticketing to the Shark Reef Aquarium and this is the entrance. Looks like there's an undersea explorer theater there and right outside is where the pool's at. Over here is more of a convention center area and it looks like there's a volleyball tournament going on here right now. That's why there's a lot of volleyball players here. And this right here is essential supplies and gifts. So they even have a little convenience store here. You can do a massage. Anywhere from $20 to $120. And they also have a Libertine to go. Coffee here as well. Oh, hot fresh drip coffee is only $3. That's a really good deal. That's a steal right there. You're going to want to go to that Libertine to go area and grab that coffee for three bucks. I would have left my uh, Keurig at home if all coffee was around three bucks in the morning. Check out this wine tower. It's been here for a long time. That's a huge wine tower. It's like automated to grab the certain types of wine. Looks like the concerts at the beach, they have a ton of uh, artists coming. Flogging Molly, Sublime with Rome. So I did it. I got a Keurig machine that's small enough that I could pack and take on my Southwest flight. I brought all the Keurig cups and all the equal and creamer so I don't have to pay that five to six dollars over at Starbucks, over at the cafes downstairs. But I'll still show you what the prices are down there. It's time for coffee. I got the Dunkin' Extra Creamer for this. I'm gonna throw the two equals. Also, make sure you bring a stirrer. I just brought a plastic spoon here. Mix it around. And there you go, the coffee's good to go. If you want to check out one of these Keurig machines, I have it linked down from Amazon below. It was only 60 bucks. This thing's gonna pay itself off for me because I come to Vegas like once every couple months, once a month, and I'm here for like four or five days. That's like $25, $30 worth of coffee. Cheers. Piping hot coffee. And then over here they have on-site COVID testing. Re-Raw, the Irish pub that me and Norma checked out on St. Patrick's Day is up here. Burger Bar 2. There's a Raider Image, a Lids, and a few other shops. A minus 5 Ice Bar and a Prohibition Bar is up there. There's a Gelato place here and another Starbucks, a bigger Starbucks. And if you're a House of Blues fan, they have a House of Blues here. And in the past, they've had Carlos Santana perform. They also have a ton of other artists come here. And you can actually dine here for lunch and dinner. And they have a little store over this way. Liquid Death. Oh, that's sparkling water. There you go. House of Blues is huge. It's like a whole section of Mandalay Bay. We got Santana, and this is the slot machine area, and there's also a huge bar where you can pick up drinks and play video poker. Over this way, you have Starlight Tattoo by Mario Barth, and right around the corner is the pathway to the tram, which you could take to the Excalibur or the Luxor. This time of year, you definitely want to take it. It's a free tram, and it'll get you to the three resorts that are here, but it'll also get you to New York, New York. You just got to cross the bridge. Over here, you have a place called called Ruby Blue. Looks like a women's apparel store and jewelry as well. And this place right here is called Bella Scarpa. Designer shoes. They have a lounge fly, a misura. It looks like men's clothing over there. And a paradiso over this way. There's the hazel coffee cocktails. This right here in the middle is eye candy, sound lounge, and bar. Nice chandeliers up top too. What's up dude, how you doing? <laughs> so there's the minus five ice experience. Right next to the 1923 Prohibition Bar. That's a pretty good bar, I've been there once. Lids and O-Bag. There's a Las Vegas store here. There is a Guinness store right next to Rira Irish Pub. Runway, Fashion Beauty Bar, Cross Connection Electronics. They got like a flip-flop shop. And like I said, wear flip-flops when you go to the pool because it's hot. Oh, this is like a camera store. Beast Mode, oh yeah, it's uh, Marshawn. Lynch beast mode store right here. Take care of yo chickens. Bay Essentials. You got a store on the green here. Uh, Lick what color is your tongue? Pandora, Cantina, Burger Bar. And right here is the Las Vegas Sock Market. Pick up all these cool socks. Here's Karma and Luck. Oh yeah, the Chapel Hats, the hat shop. I like the hats over here. They have some pretty cool pork pie hats every now and then. Cantina, Hussongs. You got Burger Bar, Slice Las Vegas. There's Lush Handmade Cosmetics, Beauty Avenue. There's another shade store. And then you enter the property of the Luxor. Oh, there's a Fat Tuesday too at the very end here. It's not open yet, but there's a boba spot. Kung Fu Tea, right across from Fat Tuesdays. Over by the hotel elevators, they also have a Seabreeze Cafe and a noodle shop. And over by the elevators, you got a market, but like I said, it's always overpriced. You can find a Walgreens or a CVS or another store and pick it up cheaper over there. 
there. He needs some specs. They have an Optica here too. Now it's your favorite part of the video. It's the room review. I stayed here at Mandalay Bay from a Wednesday to a Friday and I booked it about five, six weeks in advance. I remember booking it. I was with Norma filming a video here in Vegas and I saw that the rate was $49 a night. With resort fees and taxes, it's about $99 bucks per night. So I paid just under $200 to stay here at Mandalay Bay from a Wednesday to a Friday. Now prices are ridiculous because it's Fourth of July weekend, so I bet tonight, which is Friday, July 1, would be astronomical, at least $300 a night. I'm getting it out of here just in time. I booked that through my MLife Pearl rewards card, so I was able to get a great deal. The room here is very spacious, and for 49 bucks plus the resort fee, you have access to an amazing pool downstairs, as you saw, and in this room, you get two chairs with a nice little table where you can sit down and have coffee or just hang out, put on your shoes. I got the two queen bedroom and it overlooks Allegiant Stadium. Now I'm only on the fourth floor so I don't get a crazy view, but I still get to see the Death Star across the way and at night when it's lit up, it is beautiful. Over here as well, you have a Las Vegas magazine, a nice huge lamp, the carpet looks really nice and it looks updated so no complaints there you have a double curtain screen the air conditioning is nice over here the beds were super comfy i only use that one bed and they provide you with a ton of pillows each bed has four pillows some places only give you two pillows each per bed this has eight pillows for the whole room the bed stand has a nice drawer and a couple of outlets and a huge lamp and your phone is there to call the bell desk, front desk and all that good stuff. You also got an iHome alarm clock. I still don't know why alarm clocks exist in hotel rooms. Everyone uses their phones anyways, but you know what? It's there, you can tell the time. Over here in the entertainment center, there's actually a coffee maker, but they don't have the free coffee. You actually have to purchase it from the snack bar. They also have a ton of Fiji water that is expensive. They have in-room dining and they do have a refrigerator, but you can't put your personal stuff in there. It's one of those weighted refrigerators that you have to pay an arm and a leg just to get a Sprite or a beer. Make sure you don't touch that weighted refrigerator like I say all the time. They also give you six drawers, which is plenty more than enough. And this nice working space where I was working on editing my videos, I also put my food. I was able to put my personal Keurig machine here. And they have like a probably a 50 inch, 45 to 50 inch screen TV here. And they give you two glasses with your ice bucket. And the ice machine is literally like three doors down. So that's really quick. And they also have a couple of outlets here, inputs that you can use to control the TV, but those never seem to work, like I said. Over on this desk, you have one spotlight lamp, but you also have two lamps on the walls. And then down the hallway, you have a full-sized oval-shaped mirror where you can look at yourself and get ready for a night out down in the light nightclub. And they also have a double locks over here. Other things that are nice is that there's two separate closets. In one closet, you have your safe, which happened to be locked when I got here, but they were nice enough to come up here and unlock it. Make sure you unlock your safe or you'll be paying 20 bucks after checkout if it's still locked. Mine happened to be locked when I checked in. They came and they fixed it, no problem. Both closets have wooden hangers and then the other closet, you have your luggage rack and your ironing board and iron. Now my favorite part is the bathroom. It's huge. You have two sinks and you have a full-size mirror with lighting on all four corners. You have your mirror where you can shave up close or far. A ton of towels. They even give you a ton of toiletries like lotion, shampoo, conditioner. They even have bar soap. And then you have a bathtub here, plenty of towels, and a walk-in shower with plenty of room. The shower is nice and warm. And the private throne, the door closes automatically, so make sure you're not surprised every time that door closes because it, it automatically swings closed. So there's no way you can keep it open unless you put a, a little door stop there. That's the advantage of staying here in Mandalay Bay is you get a bigger room. Downstairs, like I said, the pool is awesome and it's such a huge, Resort. This video is gonna take a long time to show you all the restaurants and all the amenities downstairs. We're here at Barbecue Mexicana and we're gonna try out their exclusive to Mandalay Bay pulled pork burrito. And this is a super tasty burrito. I already took a, a couple of bites, but they slow cook the pork. If you're looking for a quick bite to eat, they have tables here. You can bring it out to the pool, bring it up to your room. Very fast, but 
super quality, so good. One of the shows they have here at Mandalay Bay is Michael Jackson's One. It's a Cirque du Soleil show. And here's a little activation where you can uh, do your smooth criminal lean. Over this way, you got a place called Citizens. Looks like you get some morning coffee and some pastries over there and you could dine here. You got Fleur, classy restaurant here. Right next to it is the Liberty Social Gastro Pub. I heard there's a lot of fun games you can do over in the patio. Kumi Japanese restaurant bar, strip steak. Pretty cool area right here with a rabbit eagle. And this right here is why I bring a Keurig machine. Let's see what time they're open till. 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. And their coffees are about 4.69 for the Pike's Place blend. Now we're headed back towards the huge casino area where my Uncle Jack won $15,000 off of a huge slot machine. Rhythm and Riffs Lounge is here where they have a lot of uh, bands playing and there's a stage over this way. And then right across it is Lupo, but you also have Light, which is their nightclub, which used to be the Ram Jungle where Manny Pacquiao used to perform. So this is the hallway towards the parking lot. You got the Light Night club right there and then s bar nightlife shaken and stirred and there's also a small essentials shop right here if you need any uh, hangover essentials or some alcohol for your room over this way is the michael jackson one cirque du soleil ticket office and the big chill and over in this hallway is to the delano where they have that sky lounge the skyfall lounge that uh we checked out over in my south strip videos and over this way is the stadium you can get to the stadium from here on game days or an event and uh it's only about a 10 minute walk also guys have you met flammy the flamingo yeah, this is my new friend. We took him out to the Lazy River. We're gonna show you a whole tour of the hotel grounds, give you a nice hotel room review. Let's walk inside and show you a little tour of what the shops, restaurants, bars, and everything else they have over there, especially the conservatory. So this video is gonna be a little bit longer because the grounds is so sparse around here and everything's sprawled out. So this long pathway will take you all the way to the Cosmo and the Planet Hollywood. A nice little connector outside. It's actually funny that the Cosmo is right next door but the old school jockey club still stands right in the middle of the big huge cosmopolitan buildings and you can see them from here at the Bellagio walkway over by the hotel elevators you have an optica eyeglass and sunglass store walking over this way you can go to the pool and a few more shops. And this place right here is called Capri. You know, sticking with the Italian theme. Looks like there's a Hermé Paris over here. This is a men's, a gentleman's shop called Platino. You can pick up some uh, pretty nice suits. I'm a Zara guy, I can't afford this. Oh, this is a Sarah Jessica Parker store. So for all y'all Sex and the City fans, they got Sarah Jessica Parker shoes here. And this looks like the coffee place, but I'm guessing there's a big line in the morning, 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. Good thing I got my Keurig machine. And they also have cafe gelato ice cream and sweets. Ooh, this looks good. Nicely decorated area too. And they also have the Bellagio Gallery of Fine Art over here with a little store. And right outside, it's about 5.30 in the afternoon, is a swimming pool. It's cooling off a bit. It's in like the mid 80s right now, so the weather is perfect. This looks like a super chill pool. So dinner is actually $64.99 and from Friday to Sunday, it's from 5 to 9 p.m. So there is a two hour gap of them being closed between brunch and dinner. You can get a beverage package for $24.99. It includes house wine, draft beer, mimosas, screwdrivers, margaritas, or Bloody Marys. A little tip, if you're checked in to this hotel, make sure you just charge it up to the room. You'll get points. You'll pay for it anyways with, with your credit card. So I just charged it up to the room and get points for my pearl and just add up so I can get to that next level. And you have priority access if you have gold, platinum, or noir levels. I am one level to gold. Before I grab some food and start showing you guys around the buffet area, it was $41.99 plus tax and tip. You can add your tip as well. And like I said, I just charged it up to the room since I'm staying here at Bellagio and it just helps rack up the points. Let's go check out a little tour of the buffet and see what they have to offer. Although drinks are included, you're gonna have to pay for alcoholic beverages and they do have that $24 package for unlimited. But if you want a beer, it's like nine bucks. Fiji water is like 10 bucks. Wine is about $11. Over where I'm seated, they have the beverage area. You can get coffee. It looks like you can get assortment of orange juice, apple juice, probably some pineapple juice, some cranberry juice, some ice. Oh no, you got chocolate milk over here and some 2% milk. And you can also grab your sodas right here in the touch screen. This, this is the 
Bellagio, it makes you feel like you're here in Lake Cuomo. You got lemons growing on trees here. Some nice little red carnations. Are these carnations? Comment down below, are those carnations? They're not real, obviously. Also, a little tip. I heard that if you ate here at the buffet at one of these bar stools, you don't have to fall in line. You can actually skip the line if it's not full, and it's not right now. So instead of waiting that 35 minutes that I did, you can just skip the line and eat over here. Let's start off with one of the center buffets. You got carrot juice, watermelon juice, orange juice, grapefruit juice, some honeydew, watermelons, and pineapples, and your mixed fruit. You can also grab some uh, chia pudding, some plain yogurt, granola, raisins. They have some mini bagels, a different assortment of them, everything, sesame, plain, assortments of bread. They even have charcoal bread here. And over this way, they have all the dressings. They got Nutella, bacon, capers, watercress, and you can get your uh, toast bar done over this way. Blueberries, you got your assorted jam. So you can make a nice little bagel over this way. Over on this side, you got the maple syrup, caramelized apples, oatmeal. You got your brown sugar mixed fruits, some dried apples, a bunch of other fruits. You get your bananas and stuff over here. And wow, they got miso soup. They also got chicken noodle soup over here. For y'all cereal lovers, they got some Fruit Loops and some Frosted Flakes. Over here in the fresh seafood market, you can start off with a tuna salad. Ooh, I might get some of that. Some tuna poke, some calamari salad, some deli seafood salad, some lemons. They have octopus and potato salad here, some salmon poke, some shrimp, as well as some mussels. And then all your tartar sauce and cocktail sauce over here. This way is the omelet station. I might have to get an omelet today. We'll see, it's two in the afternoon. All right, JK Shitter, so we got plate number one. We're gonna try to do three rounds. Your boy that says he's a weak eater is gonna try to power through. It's two o'clock already, I haven't ate yet, so. I went with the Oyster Rockefeller. Got three of them, no doubter. I love Oyster Rockefeller. Had to try one of the pizzas. They have four or five different pizzas. I went with the mushroom pizza. I also got mushrooms. I'm, I don't know why I'm in the mood for mushrooms. And I also got some steamed broccolini and then also some medium well steak. It's a nice start. Of course, you guys know I had to get the uh, Tabasco sauce. Definitely using Tabasco sauce on the pizza. That'll do. Nice thin cut slice, not too filling. So you can grab one or two of these and be fine. You know, buffet pizza. We're also trying the mushrooms. Mm. Mushrooms are all right. Broccolini, underrated. So nice. I like mixing in greens, you guys know that. And broccolini, it's one of my favorite types of vegetables to try. Now we're gonna try out that Oyster Rockefeller right here. Looks like you got some spinach, some cheeses, some crumbles in here. Let's see, it looks kind of dry. Mmm. We got some bacon bits, it's creamy. The oyster itself is not that huge, but it's a tasty oyster Rockefeller. Probably gonna go back and get more oyster Rockefeller, but it's really good. Now I got a nice thick piece of steak too. I had also sprinkled some au jus sauce on here. Mmm. Actually a pretty good steak. All right, now let's go back for round two. Round one down and not bad. I'm actually still hungry. Going for round two. Let's see if you get three rounds and dessert in this video. You guys know I usually only go for two dishes, so let's see how far we get. This looks like the breakfast area. You get your bacon, scrambled eggs, pork sausage. You got apple crepes, blueberry sauce, and some cheese blends. French toast as well. Over in the seafood area, you got, ooh, oyster Rockefeller. There's crab cakes, some salmon, and some seafood boil. Wow, I think I'm gonna skip the omelet today. There's your seafood area. They have a nice little pasta display over here. And then you also got your cold cuts, the charcuterie boards, the different cheeses and meats. This is the charcuterie station. Grilled vegetables. And wow, they have a nice assortment of pizzas. This is pretty impressive. Like four or five different pizzas. Over here, they got the taste of the Far East. You got some Brussels sprouts, some Chinese broccoli chicken pot stickers, shrimp and pork shumai, some shrimp pargo. This looks like some orange chicken, some sweet and spicy noodles, and your fried rice. Potatoes, some meatballs with tomato sauce, some mashed potatoes as well. They also have a pancake station here. 
sourdough turkey melt, beef sliders, and waffles, and pancakes. All right, guys, so I just went with some Powerade Zero. Gotta stay hydrated, it's still 100 degrees out in the Las Vegas Strip. Plate number two, round two, I got some grilled vegetables, pot stickers, and some shomai, some orange chicken. I got a meatball with tomato sauce, tuna, and some poke. Nice little mix for dish number two. Let's go with the uh, orange chicken first. A little sweet, not bad orange chicken. Let's see how the shomai is. Mm, not bad at all. You know we're gonna have some of that Tabasco sauce because I love the Tabasco sauce, guys. Put it on the poke and the pot stickers. Also get some uh, greens in. Mm, it's a nice grilled zucchini. Let's try out the tuna poke. Mm, eh, not a big fan of that. And tuna salad. I can work with the tuna salad. The poke, eh, now let's dig in to the pot sticker. Mmm, should have definitely got more of the pot stickers. Pot stickers are thumbs up. Now let's go with the uh, meatball here. Got cheese, some tomato sauce. Mmm, yeah, the meatball will work. It's a little on the salty side, but it's pretty good. You can also put some Tabasco on this. Mm. All right, I'm gonna put the poke to the side. I have room for round three, so we'll try round three. If you guys like this video so far, give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Now let's go get some more food. Over at the very end, you got your salads of the season, the fresh market greens. So you can make all your different types of salads you want over here. Over here, you got your jalapenos, toreados, and some rotisserie chicken being cut up. There's turkey gravy, brown gravy, some mashed potatoes. You got some brioche stuffing and a vegetable medley. That looks really good, actually. And then over here, you got your carving station, flank steak, prime rib turkey, assorted sausages, and grilled vegetables. Over on this side, you got the barbecue sauce, some au jus sauce, with some broccolini, mushrooms, and some grilled asparagus as well. And they also have bone marrow and polenta and some mac and cheese bowls here. On this end, you got clam chowder. Looks like some grilled cheese over here. Some melted butter. It's all your soup bowls. Some lavash. Olive bread, cranberry bread, more soup bowls. You got your white toast over here, some tomato basil soup. Made it to round three. Got some charcuterie, some cheese, got macaroni and cheese, got the mashed potatoes brown gravy. Had to try the prime rib, put au jus and horseradish on it. Quite a few muscles. Puree on the mashed potatoes are pretty light, pretty decent. Let's see what's up with the prime rib. I love that au jus and the horseradish with this. A little tough to slice through. Try out the mac and cheese. Do they put like wine in this? Mac and cheese is all right. Try some of the charcuterie cheeses. And some of the meat. Mm. Let's dig in to the mussels. I love having those pots of mussels. But I could probably only have like three or four of these. Not bad, now I'm officially filling up, guys. So round three was just about right. The primer was pretty decent. Loaded up the au jus and the horseradish with it. Now let's head over to the dessert table, grab some desserts, and head on out. Finally, let's check out the desserts. They got some pecan pie. Up here, they got some tiramisu. You also got chocolate cupcakes with key lime pie as well somewhere. They also offer cheesecakes over here, a few croissants, and some macaroons over here, some French macaroons. You also got your espresso pot au creme, some chocolate molten cake, an orange cream panna cotta. Over this way, they got some raspberry mousse. They got different donuts. They got a glazed donut, a strawberry donut, chocolate donut, assorted danishes, as well as assorted cookies. And yes, there it is, my creme brulee. And then you end with the bread puddings. Yum, yum. Bread pudding and apple cobbler. Over by the gelato station, you got your toppings, sprinkles, 
waffles, Oreo cookies, marshmallows, caramel sauce, and chocolate sauce, and then your gelato over here. Assorted flavors. Time for dessert. I went with the tiramisu. Got birthday cake gelato and sea salt caramel. For some reason I was craving a strawberry donut, so I got the strawberry donut. I got a French macaroon, and I got a cup of their chocolate, I believe. Nice and cool, too. Let's try the tiramisu out. Tiramisu is nice and light. It's a decent tiramisu. Sea salt caramel though, that's good stuff. Let's try out this chocolate. It's like a chocolate coffee flavor to it. Pretty good. Mm. I'm definitely attacking the sea salt a lot more. Now for the strawberry donut. Oh, you're filling in it too. Mm. Didn't expect the strawberry filling. That's pretty good. Finally, this looks like a plain vanilla macaroon. Not bad. Try out the birthday cake. Birthday cake's not bad either. I gotta give their dessert a thumbs up. It's pretty good. The two things I wanted to try was the creme brulee and the key lime pie. They were gone by the time I got there. This is around 3 o'clock. They're closing already, so they ran out of it. So final verdict on the buffet here at the Bellagio, I'm actually going to say not bad at all. It doesn't make my top five of buffets, but the assortment of food that they have here, the Oyster Rockefeller, their dessert, their gelato, uh, their prime rib, and the different type of seafoods that they have, I really liked it. And the ambiance here is pretty cool. There's a lot of people. The line was about 40 minutes long on a Monday afternoon around 1.30. So you might have to wait in line unless you have higher tier rewards card where you can go straight through the line. And like I said, just charge the $41.99 to your room. That way you can get your rewards points up and get to that next level. I would say thumbs up, pretty decent. It would definitely make it in uh, my top 10. I'd probably go back here, especially if I were staying at the Bellagio. This right here is the Cirque du Soleil store. I've actually seen it oh, once upon a time back in the day. This looks like the art of Richard McDonald. Donald, Cirque du Soleil, Fine Art Gallery. This is the O Theater. This is the ticket office, I'm guessing. This leads all the way to the amazing O Theater. Really nice area. This right here is the poker room, right next to the smaller Bet MGM Sportsbook and the Sports Bar Lounge. I also swear that there's a place called Snacks over at the Mirage. There probably is. It looks like one of those uh, quick, fast casual type dining spots. We're now entering the area where it leads to Caesar's Palace. There's Harry Winston, Chanel, Louis Vuitton. A really nice monument over here that during Christmas they also deck out. And downstairs they have a Picasso's Terrace and the Prime Steakhouse. Yeah, this is a nice little corridor of high-end shops. Louis Vuitton, Tiffany's, and you also have a Starbucks at the very end. Right here is Bottega Venita, Van Cleef and Arpels, Christian Dior. And this is the very popular Spago with fountain views of the Bellagio. A really nice restaurant. And to round out this area, you got Alexander McQueen, Prada, Gucci, and Louis Vuitton. And if you hook a left from the Bellagio, you can get to Caesars Palace by footbridge. It'll take you over to where the Purple Zebra Bar is and the Absinthe Theater. This is the bridge to Bally's, so you can cross over there, get to Planet Hollywood and Paris as well. Now, these balconies are always closed. Look, the fountain show is going on right now, but you can kind of sneak a peek through the window here to see the fountain show. And down here, it looks like the fountain show just ended. Right directly across this nice view with tables, is the Starbucks so you can have your morning brew over here while watching the fountain show and looking at the Eiffel Tower getting a little peek of it for you Bulgari shoppers they have one here too All right here is the yellowtail Japanese restaurant and lounge chef Akira back nice little lounge over here this place right here looks super private Le Cirque check that out it's part of Forbes travel guide look at the entrance of this place super swanky Looks like they got the Monday night football game going on here. A lot of people are coming into Julian Serrano's Lago. The Lago is here right around the casino area. And right next to Lago is the Mayfair Supper Club where you can see this really cool entryway with all roses, red roses here. Check out this entryway right here. 
pretty sweet. I believe Dad Cation has gone here with my auntie in the past and Mom Cation. It's called Jasmine Cantonese Cuisine. And they got really nice views of the fountain here. But it's only open Wednesday to Sunday from 5 to 10. Right here in the middle of the casino is the MGM Rewards desk. And I forgot my card at home, so I need to pick one up. And right in the center of the property, this place is called Baccarat Bar. Nice decoration in the middle of the bar here. And finally, this is the Lily Bar and Lounge High Limit Gaming. A really cool, classy lounge in here. This is in the middle of the casino. So I still haven't shown you guys the conservatory part of the Bellagio. I'll show you that bright and early in the morning with a special guest. For now, we're gonna go back up in the room. I might get ready and take us over to the swimming pool. We just made it over here to the pool. Nice little courtyard area, and it looks like they break out to a bunch of other smaller rectangular pools all around here and it's nice and chill here not a party pool like you'd get over at the flamingo it's a nice little change up and there's a lot of shade at six o'clock at night you guys know i like the shade pretty cool fountain in the middle of the pool i compare this to like caesar's palace but more of a lake como style and not a roman style over this way is their super long pool look at this it goes from like one side to the other of the entire bellagio nice time of day to dip your feet into the pool the pool is pretty warm. Thumbs up. Nice chill pool here at the Bellagio. It also looks like down the way they got cabanas. Promptly turned six o'clock at night. And right when it hits six, they closed the pool down. You can only be out here till about six. Get some lounge time in while you're here at Bellagio. And they also have a pool cafe down the way. Looks like they have a little Joker statue right here. That'll do it from the Bellagio pool. We're gonna fast forward this over to tomorrow morning when we're checking out the Bellagio Conservatory with a special guest. All right, JK Shitters. So we have a special guest. You may have seen her on Norma's channel <laughs> and on my live chats every now and then. Every once in a while I creep in there. This is Lydia. Hey guys. Lydia is here at the Bellagio. She was gonna give me a tour of the conservatory. It's closed right now for uh, photography. We have yeah. perfect timing. The conservatory is literally open 24 seven, but we happen to stumble up right as they're doing a big photo shoot in there. So we're gonna have to go check something else out in the meantime. Yeah, if you haven't toured this quadrant, of Bellagio yet, so you want to show me around? Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's do it. So this home store here, Giardini, they have all these crazy Christmas decorations, and it seems to be here all year long. So even though it's only late September, it's Christmas all year long. So fun fact, over here at the bakery that's around the corner from the conservatory, you'll see a Guinness World Record for the world's largest chocolate fountain. The Bellagio doesn't want you to know this, but unfortunately, it's now the second tallest chocolate fountain because Switzerland stole the title in 2020. But it's still pretty cool. There's white, dark, and milk chocolate. I wouldn't eat from it. It's a little nasty. They only clean it like once a month, but it's pretty cool to take a photo over here. Walking through here over the last year, I haven't noticed this, but it's now open. So if you want some juice press and a smoothie in the morning, you can go over here and uh, get your juice press on and some acai bowls. Y'all know I'm hooked on acai bowls right now. And this right here is a souvenir shop. And you get all your Bellagio garb, your Raider gear. It's right here on the corner by the pool towards the tram. And this place right here is called Harvest. Have you already been here? No, have you? I have not. It is the fall harvest, so. Right here is the walkway to the Vidara. And Lydia, what do we got over here? This is the tram that's gonna take you over to the park MGM. You'll notice because they're both MGM properties, they're totally fine with you going from one to the other, but you're not gonna make a stop in any Caesars properties along the way. They're M life for sure. M life all the way. It's open late too, till 2 a.m. If you wanna save steps, yeah, and like skip city center, this is the one to do. And all the footbridges that are over in that way too. Yep. So this is like a U shape actually so the convention center cuts all the way to the other side where the guest elevators are so if you're on the back side of the casino you can actually go over here and uh, get to the hotel elevators so here's a little secret for hotel guests yeah. actually I wonder if you even have to be a hotel guest because yeah. we didn't have to scan the key or anything no. wait so spa spa Bird's eye view. What do you think of this balcony view? I love it. It's a nice bird's eye view of the whole conservatory. So this is the salon side. If you want to enter the salon and the spa, it's up here on the S floor. It's an okay view. It's not like a hidden gem view. No. I mean, you're a little far to be able to capture good photos up here, really. Especially later in the day when it is so crowded in the conservatory. At least it's not as bad up here. So right here is the 
fitness center. I don't want to walk all the way in, but I am a guest so I can use it. But this is the fitness center and the men's spa. This is the Artfully Autumn display. It just opened a couple weeks ago. It's going to be open through November 12. Here's a secret. Normally the autumn display is actually my least favorite. I think that the spring, summer, winter, and the Chinese New Year displays are all a little bit more elaborate. But this one I'm very impressed with. There's a waterfall all the way at the back that models the waterfall of the Singapore airport. So I've been really impressed with that. And I really like the little walkway in the middle too. There's a lot of really good photo spots in here. I do think that the lighting is best in the morning because by the middle of the day you're going to have sun and shadows coming in from the ceiling. But if you can come in the morning, especially before the crowds, you'll be able to get some good photos in here. If you're looking to pick up a Rolex, they got Tesserini right here where you can pick up the expensive watches. The caviar bar. So when you're waiting to check in, you can come and spend big money here. And they normally have a live pianist here too. Nice, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. it's really cool. You could go people watching and yeah. just hang out. This is my favorite ceiling in all of Vegas. More I don't know. More than the Venetian. More than the Venetian. Because wow. it's just like, it's 3D. This is the heaviest <laughs> glass blown sculpture in the world, actually. This is about 60,000 pounds. This is amazing. See? I always get a little low key nervous to walk underneath. <laughs> <laughs> and they also have like checkout stands here, and this is where you get your physical key. There's a Hermé right here, and a Valentino, and a Cartier. So. Oh, just in case you have any leftover money from the caviar bar. Yep, that's it. Thanks, Lydia, for showing me around a little bit. Yeah. And if you guys want Lydia to take you on a photo tour, she does photo tours, so uh, she's going to talk a little bit about it right now. Thank you, Jay, for having me meet up with you this morning. This was perfect for me because the Bellagio is actually the first spot on my walking photo tour. So if you guys ever want good photos with all the iconic locations here in Las Vegas, we start at the Bellagio, we make our way towards the Venetian, we stop at about five to six locations depending on how hot it is we can get you guys some good photos and some good history and fun facts about vegas as we go am i looking at the camera or yeah look at way? me to start and then yeah. we'll have you look off and then go ahead and look this way and up this a little bit chin up just a tad yep there you go perfect i'm walking through the uh, convention center area it's actually pretty big and nice and lavish over here and there's also a nice little balcony on the other side where i see people sitting there's some chairs here you can hang out out here in this patio really nice also over here is the wedding chapel and really nice paintings vases looks like the middle of tuscany somewhere in italy You'll also find a FedEx office over here, so if you need to get some work done, they have this over in the convention center area. Right behind me is the waterfalls that they emulated from the Singapore airport, the little circular one. You saw that also in my Hard Rock video in Florida, that they have something similar to that in the lobby. This is a total fall harvest display. Enjoy it. We didn't quite try it out on this trip, but eventually, if you guys want to see it, Sadell's is the place I wanted to have breakfast, but it's always cracking, so, and I'm still kind of full. I'm not a breakfast person, but they have Sadell's here and the Michael Mina restaurant right next to it, and that's all here in the conservatory, but I like how this place is looking. It's super nice, and it smells really good here. It smells cinnamony, pumpkin spice latte-ish. You want a quick and easy to-go pickup? Well, you can use this QR code and order from your phone, and there's their breakfast and lunch menu. Look at this little pathway in the middle of a forest, and they also have this cool QR code. Also, make sure to look up, you'll see these cool fireflies, different colors, blue, green, yellow, orange, and you also got some more fall leaves and acorns up top. Wow, they even have a butterfly woman up there in the very top. You can't even notice it if you're not looking. One thing I failed to bring was a coffee cup because usually they have coffee cups in the room. But here at Bilaja, they only had glasses. So I had to get my face towel so I can hold the glass because it's so hot and I didn't have anything to steer it with. All the sugar is probably at the bottom. But still, save six bucks. <sighs> Love having my travel Keurig with me. All right, Jigationers, it is time for the Bellagio room review. Like I said, I booked the cheapest room three days before I came here. I was surprised, actually. I've never seen the Bellagio rate at 112 
for the room rate. Now it was about a buck 75 with taxes and resort fees. Like I said, I want to start covering the higher end casinos. So if I'm here in Vegas, I'm going to start covering one higher end and then a couple more budget hotels, which you'll see eventually. And this room is a nice two queen bed room. I like the, I like the grayish gold headboard background. It feels like you're in Lake Como hanging out. And when you look outside, even though I'm on the fourth floor, I can still see the Eiffel Tower and the fountain show going on. So it's really nice. The beds were really comfy. They really give you a nice thick comforter. Tons of pillows. Five Five pillows for each bed on one side they have a stool where you can put your shoes on and hang out and then on the bed stand area they actually have an alarm clock with the magnetic charging port where you can just put your phone on top of it and it charges it I used that a, a little earlier they also have outlets on each side as well as USB ports which I didn't realize until after I finished taking b-roll inside the bed stand itself is your safe so you can put all your belongings there and then below it is another drawer. Over here by the window, you have a table and chair so you can post up, do some work, eat some dinner. I got some Earl's sandwich from last night that I haven't finished yet, so I'm gonna sit down here and eat a little later. And then you also have a nice little couch with a footrest and a little side table so you can just hang out and talk to your friends or family who you're with here. They have a nice lamp with three bulbs and they also have a frame of the schematics of a building. Another artsy frame with light blue and teal colors. Just a nice decorative piece. Over by the table they also have a spotlight, a couple of charging ports and USB ports and this really nice mushroom cloud looking frame design here. Over in the entertainment system, nice 55 inch screen TV it looks like. The refrigerator refrigerator unfortunately is your censored refrigerator but they do have a personal shelf you can put some waters or some leftovers in that makes up for it kind of it's not that much space at least you have a little space to put your food or drinks they also have a Las Vegas magazine here a couple smaller drawers tons of Fiji water how much are the Fiji waters here they're probably expensive they don't even list the price here so they're just banking on you having enough money where you don't care and then they also offer cashews toffee pistachios gummy bears some popcorn and oh they have a love kit a his and her love kit y'all know what they be doing over here sometimes you also got a ice bucket with a couple of wine glasses and a couple of normal glasses opening up the closet over here what I do like is that they do have a couple of robes here that you can use you can't take them home with you but you can purchase some and they tell you that you can do that but um, you just gotta they'll charge you if you take this home I'll tell you that they give you about 10 hangers they have a couple of the ones with clips and you have your ironing board and iron and a luggage rack a nicely lit closet here. Very, very nice Bellagio. Now the bed was nice, firm and comfortable. Tons of pillows. You guys know I love the pillows. On the bed stand you have a phone. There's a couple of light switches as well as the drapery and sheer open and close. Can automatically open and close the drapery here. Get a nice view of the Eiffel Tower right across the way. Here in the entryway you have a nice full body mirror to check yourself out. You also don't have to worry about security because you got your double bolt. You got this and then you move this up and you're good with your deadbolt. It's nice and well lit and it's very welcoming and it makes the room look a lot more spacious. One of the best amenities you get here staying at the Bellagio is you get a nice big bathroom and they have a bathtub here they even provide you with bath salt a loofah and some body wash and they have a nice little silhouette of a woman and a nice little art design you also got a venn diagram two circled lit mirror here and uh, his and her sink as well as glasses they provide you with toiletries like shampoo conditioner lotion I'm gonna take that lotion back with me. Now, I'm not the type of person that takes all of the toiletries back with me, but the lotion looks really nice and travel size, so I'm gonna take that with me. Hair dryer is down below, and you have the nice walk-in shower, and it gets really hot really quick, so just make sure that you don't turn it up too much because the heating here is really good. And then you also have a telephone, just in case you wanna call other rooms or call down to the front desk, concierge. The throne is a little high up, but still a nice little throne. And you also get some carpet here so you're not slipping, and a lot 
lot of hotels don't usually provide that for you, so you get a li nice little carpet mat to use by the sink. So overall, growing up, I thought the Bellagio was kind of a boring place to go. Now that I'm older, I appreciate the amenities more and the more relaxed vibe part of Vegas, the more luxurious part. People are dressed up more here. I've noticed downstairs, it's a classy spot and it's been well maintained throughout all these years. You saw all the shops here are all high-end shops, really nice restaurants and bars and lounges downstairs. The room itself, I mean, I got lucky. I was able to get it for $112 in my MGM Rewards Pearl status. I mean, 175 bucks, that's not bad for a luxury hotel like this. I was looking over at the Wynn or the Palazzo to do a review and they were like 350 bucks for the night. I was actually really surprised that the Bellagio was only 112 base, but 175 total. I enjoyed the Bellagio. I'd stay here again, nice chill pool. If you're looking for a relaxing, luxurious weekend in Vegas on the Strip, this is the place for you. Make sure you check it out. And I've been wanting and dying to try Italy. We're also gonna show a little room tour, show you guys all the amenities and everything that they have to offer in the room and everything around the hotel. Let's go inside and check it out. Parking's free at the garage right now. We checked in automatically. You can do it through your phone, through the MGM app and the keys even on your phone. That's really helpful. Now I did a contactless check-in through the MGM app and I was just able to fill in the COVID questions and all the other things that they need me to register, put in my credit card and whatnot. And then they also give you a digital key so you don't even have to go down to the front desk and check in. Now you can't try the $20 trick or anything but you can just go straight to your room and if that's good enough for you, then why don't you just check in on your phone and go right ahead. When you get in here, I noticed the only thing I didn't like is no refrigerator. But what I do like is that they give you this amenity kit and it's got, ooh, it's got a nice M Park MGM mask. That's pretty sweet. There's a couple of them in here on top of a nice bottle of hand sanitizer. So that's pretty cool of them. They take care of you in that sense. I don't have a fridge, so I won't be able to keep anything cool in here unless I have it in ice. This room was about 30 bucks a night, and then on top of it, you have to pay the $35 resort fee. So unfortunately, it turns out it's like 65 a night. This is home for the next four days, and uh, I like it. It's nice and clean. I've always loved the Monte Carlo, and I've never stayed here since it turned into the Park MGM. I'm excited. Back in Vegas, baby. All right, Jaycationers, we're just getting settled in, but we're gonna go try to find my favorite YouTubers. Turn it up, world. Let's see if we can find them. Three days later. Nice to meet you, Dave. Thank you. Subscribe right. to Turn It Up World. Thank you. We're just right outside of Italy where we're gonna have dinner tonight. We're gonna try some pizza napoletana and maybe some cacio e pepe. So stay tuned. Let's see what we get into. Eat, shop, learn. La pasta, la pizza, napoletana. Shout out to Paolo and Rachel. They introduced me to that type of pizza. So it looks like la pizza e la pasta is open every day until 10 p.m. And good thing we got reservations. I've only been to a, one Italy in Milan and we just walked around real quick. So I've never actually eaten here before. So I'm kind of excited about that. You know, when we were in Milano, my cousin knows all of the local spot so we ate there but here in america you know gotta try italy look at this ham that they got right here i might be getting coffee here every morning since i'm staying here so it looks like they have a service safety manifesto here just to avoid contact as much as possible they also have mobile takeout and pickup it's so funny i actually have a bag of this upstairs in my room my parents got it from like trader joe's i think or stater brothers but there's different flavors here. Look at that. hazelnut, lemon, tiramisu, cappuccino. Ooh wee. If you guys are finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to Jaycation. I have plenty of Las Vegas content to come and San Diego and world travel food content are already in the library. So go check out my channel. All right, Jaycationers, we're back here in Italy. I'm here for my morning coffee. One of the reasons why I booked Park MGM was so I could go to Italy multiple times and have a cappuccino here every morning. So let's find a spot that has cappuccino. I don't think I realized how much I miss traveling to Italy. Like I came here to Italy and I'm just like in heaven. I just flash back to all the memories of all the great food that I've had. Florence, Naples, Rome. Oh, I miss Italy. One of these days we'll be back.
so we're back here in my room. Now, one final thing about La Pizza e La Pasta last night was that you're definitely gonna be getting the Las Vegas strip prices. But hey, you're in Vegas, so you gotta do it, right? La Pizza e La Pasta, it really brought me a little bit back to missing Italy. We're gonna try the arancini next. The arancini has arborio rice with ragu alla bolognese in the inside. So let's bite into it and try this out. Oh man, the last time I had it, it was like a lot bigger of a ball. That's what she said. So yeah, cheers. Mmm, nice and fried. This is the inside. So you do get three. And for $10, the price is a little steep, but you can't really find arancini anywhere else. If you're here in Vegas, you gotta spend money, so nothing you can do about it, but it's still pretty good. Like, I definitely would recommend trying it out. Mmm, yum. I also got the cappuccino from La Vaza. They also sell cannolis later on in the day, but if you're gonna go there in the morning to get your cappuccino, don't expect the cannolis to be there. They don't start serving cannolis till 12 noon. So remember that, go after 12 noon to get the cannolis at the spot where I got this cappuccino. Usually in Italy, the custom is you have cappuccino before 11 o'clock and then after that, it's like espresso the rest of the way, I think. Something like that. And you have to drink your cappuccino standing up with all the foam bubbles. With all the pandemic protocols going on right now, they don't have any of that standing and drinking your cappuccino. So I took it back to the room. <sighs> Still a good cappuccino though. So what's really cool is you, if you download this app, this is the, your digital key. You just put it up against here and it turns green and it opens your door. So you don't even have to check in with the front desk and get like a card. We're here in the room. This is just a normal queen bedroom. There's a safe here in the back. You got your shelves. You can put stuff in. You get an ice bucket. The only thing that I don't like about this room, there's no fridge here. So like, yeah, you have to get ice. And this is our bathroom right here. One of the sink. The shower's actually really nice. It's nice and warm. You're matching the theme with the red shirt. Arch. As you guys can see, our room is red themed, but I've actually stayed here before and there was like an emerald green room too. So I think, um, you know, each room is color themed. You got two queen beds and there's a lot of great charging ports. So you get your HDMI, um, I brought my ethernet cable, and then all these charging ports. They also have like USB and stuff. And then they have this like a makeup mirror. Yeah, this is the check set mirror. They have some nice frames here from La Rivera Italian, so the Italian Riviera. Pretty cool. And then you got this nice long couch. And then we have a nice view of the Nomad pool party. We have a broken TV. It doesn't work. So we can't watch any TV, unfortunately. What I like about this room is that it's nice and spacious and it's actually pretty clean, but no fridge is, the, is definitely a con. We have a nice working table here, but other than that, it's a pretty basic room. For $30 a night and $35 resort fee, it's actually pretty good. So 65 bucks a night during the week. You can't beat it. They also give you a pack when you come here. Uh, they give you a mask and then uh, and like hand sanitizer. So that's pretty cool. And that's the room review, but we're also gonna check out the downstairs of Park MGM just so uh, we can give you a fuller tour. Hey, yo, Dan. What's up? How is the uh, gym here? The gym here? They got me these, so I guess it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they have a gym here. You can use it as long as you're masked up. So Primrose is a nice spot for like a breakfast or a lunch. And that's right here in the lobby. But right now you don't even have to check in. You can just do it through the MGM app. So easy and I just went straight to my room. So MGM is smoke free, which I like because I can't stand the smell of smoke. And although there's a Starbucks here, I booked this place because I wanted to eat at Italy and try to coffee at Italy. This looks like the Jupiter lounge right here. So this is best friend. It's a very popular fusion restaurant, but it's closed. It opens on the weekends at five. I need a coffee. It's like almost two in the afternoon. I haven't got a coffee yet. We're here with DBW. What's up, guys? Just gonna grab this before we uh, roll out of Park MGM and call this a video. So Best Friend is owned by famous chef Roy Choi, and Dan really wants to try it. All right, JKationers, I got the pistachio cannoli over here at the Lavazza Bar. 
Now, they sell it in threes for like 15 bucks, but you can get it solo. And I still haven't had a cannoli since I got here, so let's try it out. Wow, that's a good cannoli. The pistachio is very creamy, and the outer layer is very, very easy to bite into. I like it. It's softer than a, like an ice cream cone. Mm. And then I got a latte macchiato. Nice. Wash down the cannoli. Yep. Oh yeah, that's good. I had the cappuccino the other day, and the latte macchiato today. We're complete here at Italy. Two thumbs up. All right, JKationers, I hope you enjoyed this video, a review of the Park MGM in March of 2021. Now, I think they're really doing great with the protocols. You can see all of the washing stations by the casinos. They give you a couple masks when you check into your room. The room is really clean, and I felt really safe and spacious over there. I like the whole virtual check-in, virtual check-out. You don't even have to contact with any hotel employees. So that's a, a real plus. The only thing that I didn't like was that our TV didn't work and we didn't have a fridge. But I mean, I guess that's what you get for only paying 30 bucks a night plus 35 resort fee. So it was about 65 a night. Not bad for a Monday to Friday. On the weekends, it's a little more expensive because right now it's March Madness. Now it's the holiday season, as you can see in the back, the Christmas tree here. But I want to show you a little bit around the casino, what's new, because this is about the third time that I've done a video here. I've done a 24 hours in Luxor video but stayed in the pyramid. I did a staying in the South Strip video. I just want to show you what's new around here. Maybe try out some food. The World Cup's going on right now so I want to check out Messi in Argentina. Let's get started with the tour. So if you guys are looking to get your physical room key, you just come over here, scan your QR code on your phone, grab the room key and put it up there and easy as that. Just follow the instructions. So tram hours now is 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. and it'll take you to Mandalay Bay and Excalibur and make sure that when you get to Excalibur, there's two stops at Excalibur, so wait till the end. That's closest to the Strip. So America's Got Talent Live in Las Vegas is uh, here at the Luxor right now. They also have the Hyper Esports Arena. I am actually going to be staying not at the Pyramid, not in this tower, but the tower behind it. You can kind of see it peeking out over there. So we're going to give it a nice little review of what's it like to stay in a tower room. I just love all the Egyptian decorations around here. I hope that Vegas if eventually gets back to theme hotels because theme hotels are always fun and it brings some character to it. This right here is the flight bar. I grabbed a white Russian here last night. A little nightcap for after a long day of live streaming. Right behind me is the HyperX Arena. It's their eSports arena and eSports has just grown throughout the years. This used to be the entrance to their club here. LAX back in the day. Comment down below if you are an old timer and used to go to LAX in your clubbing days. I don't think I ever went to LAX. I knew of it, but I never went. I'm joined here with an avid viewer, an avid vacationer. This is Rich China Pat. What's going on, man? So, good to see you again. You've stayed at the Luxor many a times throughout your life. Yeah. What's your favorite part of the Luxor? I like the aesthetics of the uh, building, great rooms, great staff. Always have a good time at the Luxor. What is your favorite memory of staying here? Right here at the former LAX nightclub, uh, hanging out with the Black Eyed Peas New Year's Eve. Nice. And my favorite memory was actually here at the Flight Bar. I was with Dad Cation, Uncle Jack Cation, and a couple of my cousins. And we had just returned from a Pacquiao fight. Pacquiao had won, obviously. And we were just here celebrating, having some libations. Oh, I love the Luxor. Ooh, and I also went to Carrot Top this year. That was fun with my Audin Clark. You're not a show guy, though, huh? No, I'm not a show guy, no. Uh, would you go watch Blue Man Group? Sure. I, I love Blue Man Group. Yeah, I want to go see them too eventually. All right, Pat. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for the All support. Right. We'll see you. The Centra Bar Lounge. I really like the uh, chandeliers. Kind of like Moroccan type or, uh, Arabian chandeliers. Christmas music playing. Guys, so check this out. I never really realized this uh, place. It's called the Velvet Room. It used to be a nightclub. Really cool door here. And now it's used as a banquet hall but it used to be one of the nightclubs here at the Luxor. Look at that, private event. And the Pyramid Cafe is really popular in the morning. A lot of people like having breakfast here. It's hours, it's from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. daily. It's just past two o'clock right now, that's why it's closed. Last time I was here, the buffet wasn't quite open yet, but this is the entrance. It's in the middle of the casino, but it's down one level. It's open from Thursday to Monday. They close at like 3 p.m. and they open early, around like eight, I believe. Let's go downstairs, check it out, and I'll tell you the prices and give you a tour of the entire buffet. Once you get down from the escalators, 
you do see the restroom. So if you need the restrooms, they have it right here. Right at the exit, it almost looks like you're going into King Tut's tomb. And then the entrance is to the left and you get a ton of different pharaohs over here. And your priority access, if you have gold, platinum, and noir, MGM rewards is over here to the side. But the regular entrance is on this way, right here where it says buffet entrance here. It's basically dining at a buffet tomb, like you're in Egypt. Before we get to Eden, here's the prices. It's $29.99, which goes up to $31.42 plus tax. And then you can also do all you can drink for $14.99 for an hour and a half. It's their manager's special. Let's go on a tour of the smorgasbord right now. Right to the middle part of the buffet. And you start off with your fruit. So you got your green apple, your banana, and red apple, and oranges. You even got some melons here. And then over this way, you got your different types of salad greens. The toppings for your salads, cucumber, tomatoes, onions, carrots, eggs, red beans. And then you get all your dressings over here. Ranch, Italian, blue cheese, Caesar, balsamic, and then more toppings like your blue cheese, Parmesan cheese, pepperoncinis, seeds, and croutons, all that good stuff. Over here are, these are the grits. And this is your oatmeal. And if you want some cornflakes, they got cornflakes this way. If you're looking for soup, they got chicken noodle soup here and broccoli cheddar soup. You guys know I'm gonna start off with that. I love broccoli cheddar. Over on this side, you get all your yogurts and granola and all that good stuff for the morning. And then they also have a shrimp cocktail bar. Tons of shrimp, chilled shrimp, and mini shrimps too. And your shrimp cocktail sauce. Then they also have ceviche, some lemons, and some hummus as well. And tzatziki. And right over here are some of their pitas and tzatziki chips. You can get a Greek salad here, an olive salad, bean salad, and potato salad. Might have to try some of that too. The dining area is really cool. Really old school. Egyptian columns. They do have a bar here and like I said, they do have that $14.99 deal. All you can drink for an hour and a half, but you can also buy drinks. Buy the drink. A tequila sunrise is eight bucks. And then included is your coffees and your sodas and you can get them over here. And I think they also have it on the other side as well. Starting with the left side, the breakfast section, they have chorizo and scrambled eggs with some grilled onions. They have corn and some chorizo and potatoes with tortillas here. Over in the center aisle, you got your white and wheat bread, your Philadelphia cream cheese butter and jam. There's also a toaster here with some pastries, some croissants and muffins. And of course, you can get your egg slash omelet your way over this way as well. And they even have more breakfast stuff here, some scrambled eggs, potatoes, bacon, and breakfast sausage as well. Over this way, you got your French toast, your waffles, apple crepes, cheese blitz. They also have hot syrup and hot syrup cups here for you. All right, educationers, we're gonna start off with plate number one. I went with the broccoli and cheese soup, which I usually get at Earl a Sandwich, but they have it here at the Luxor Buffet. Greek salad, potato salad, some ceviche, chorizo and eggs, and a breakfast pizza. I've been seeing breakfast pizzas all around Las Vegas, so I figured, why not try it? It doesn't look too appetizing. It's got bacon, cheese, some sort of scrambled eggs in it and I put some Parmesan in it too, so let's see how it is. Try out the broccoli cheddar soup. It's pretty good. Kinda hard to get the broccoli cheddar soup wrong. Kinda compare it to like the Vaughn soups. If you guys are from California and have had Vaughn soup before, it's a lot like their broccoli cheddar soup. Mm, let's get some potato salad in. It's a little sweet of a potato salad. Nothing Tabasco sauce can fix. And we also got some ceviche right next to the potato salad. Potato salad is a little bit on the sweeter side, but I didn't get too much. Mini ceviche. All right, we got taste, but it's a little watery. Let's go with the Caesar salad. Salad is nice. Onto the chorizo and potatoes. Yeah. Needs more chorizo for sure. Let's try out the breakfast pizza. Believe it or not, it's not bad. It doesn't look too appetizing to get it, but it's actually got some good taste to it. The bacon must make it good. I'm actually gonna say, pretty good. Will I eat it all? Probably not. All right, let's move on to round two. JK Shiners, we're so close to 100,000 subscribers. If you're not subscribed yet, I saw 78% of you are not subscribed to my channel, so please subscribe and hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you wanna see me do more buffets in Vegas, let me know what you wanna see. Maybe I'll go back 
to like the Wicked Spoon Buffet or the Wind Buffet because it's been a couple years since I've reviewed it. Might be time to go back and check it out and see how it's doing in 2023. And now back to the buffet here at Luxor. Moving on to the Italian food here. They have some spaghetti with white sauce and red sauce. A certain type of sausage right here. And they got some pizza. They got a breakfast pizza, barbecue chicken pizza, buffalo chicken pizza, vegan style pizza, and a California pizza over here, as well as a meat lovers and a cheese and pepperoni pizza here. This is their carving station right here. And they also have some roast beef, some prime rib, and some various sausage and chicken over here as well. This is the Asian area. They have white rice, they have chicken teriyaki, some vegetable spring rolls, mango habanero chicken legs that are really hot, some chicken pot stickers, some fried rice, you got your soy sauce, and fortune cookies and chopsticks over here. Then a vegetable stir fry it looks like over here. And this looks like some sort of white fish. I like that they have a section devoted to donuts. They have mini donuts. Looks like they got chocolate donuts, strawberry donuts, hazelnut donuts, and sugar donuts in the very back. Round two, had to get a glass of orange juice. And if you guys have been following my buffets, you know I usually get an omelet. This time we're gonna skip the omelet. How about that? How about them apples? I ended up getting the mashed potatoes and I put the uh, southwestern gravy on here. We'll see how that is. I got some broccoli, some stir fry, uh, one pot sticker, a couple of sausages, and some of the beef. The beef looks a little dry. Just a random pink donut, strawberry donut to go with it. Unlike Mikey Chen, Strictly Dumpling, I love broccoli, so. Mm, okay, let's try out the hot link here. See how the sausage is. Let's see if it's hot. All right, pretty good sausage. Can't really get that wrong. This one looks a little more dry. Let's see it. Not that one. The hot link, for sure. All right, let's try out the uh, prime rib. All right, horse rice is not too, not too much of a kick, a little dry. All right, more of the stir fry. Let's see how this special gravy is like. I can dig it. It's a little different. Has a little celery taste to it. And it looks like there's small pieces of uh, sausage in it too. But you can definitely get not get this uh, thicker hot link wrong. So let's get the soy sauce on. To the pot sticker. See how the pot sticker. Mm, pot sticker, not bad. I mean, you guys know I'm gonna put more uh, Tabasco on that. Oh, we gotta try out the strawberry donut, the mini strawberry donut. Filling up quick here. Let's do a small round three. This is their Latin section right here. And you have your tortilla chips, black beans, some queso blanco, and nacho cheese. And then they have their salsa verde, sour cream, some red salsa, and some hot carrots over here. And it looks like you can get some specially made tacos here as well. Over this way, they have albondiga soup, some pork chili rojo, some paella, some beef tacos, and refried beans and Spanish rice and here are your crispy taco shells you can use you also got your country gravy and your southwestern gravy over this way you got your country fried steak and your biscuits along with breakfast potato and mashed potatoes and gravy to end it and like I said look at the nicely decorated Luxor themed buffet I you're here for the theme right not for the buffet per se so I went light on round three just one crispy taco with the beef and beans, put some red salsa, some white queso, some cheddar. Let's see how it is. They didn't have any like lettuce. Would have liked to put that on there, but oh well, let's try it. Beef and beans has taste. The white queso actually makes this taste a lot better. I love crunchy tacos, especially when they're nice and crisp. I'm gonna enjoy this and then let's move on to dessert. Is there a name for these Egyptian dogs? Are they Doberman? Comment down below. 
I've always wondered what the name of these things are. Even though we're in Egypt, they do have Hawaiian frost, banana and coconut at this machine. On the other side of this machine, they have blue vanilla and chocolate. I'm gonna have to try that. It looks like they have some sort of custard here with some tiramisu, red velvet cupcake, cream puffs, eclairs, and chocolate. Here are the toppings for your ice cream. Chocolate, strawberry, sprinkles. We're gonna finish this off with the dessert. I ended up getting tiramisu. It's not a creme brulee, I think it's just like a, like a flan basically cold flan and I was just interested in seeing how this blue vanilla chocolate mixed swirl looks I don't know it looks like a like a melted smurf with sprinkles on top <laughs> let's try out the tiramisu first because that looks the most appetizing mm, good tiramisu we go well with the coffee let's try out their flan Ooh, nice there's syrup in the bottom dip it more in that syrup mm, pretty good leche flan Oh, I love that syrup. Two for two so far. Let's see if the blue vanilla and chocolate does well. A little too icy. I mean, it's not bad. I guess the kids would have fun with it being blue. Finally, let's check out the fortune cookie here. See what it says. It says, a truly great person never puts away the simplicity of a child. What does that mean? Stay a kid forever? Is that what that means? And you got your lotto numbers too in the back. And it also has like a Chinese, uh, learn Chinese word here. It means juice. Go Z stuff. Lunchtime over. Let's go to the front and give you my thoughts on what I thought about the more buffet at the Luxor. What do these Lannister lions with this uh, chalice have to do with the Luxor. They actually call this the Moore Buffet at Luxor Las Vegas. My review is if you want to come down and feel like you're at a tomb and just hanging out in Egypt eating some breakfast and having a nice buffet, yeah, come over here. As for the food, eh, it's alright. Like the prime rib kind of was dry. I don't think it really was the best. I mean, I actually like Excalibur a lot more than this. Was it decent? It was decent. $29.99 decent? A little pricey. I wish buffets would go back down to like $14.99, $19.99. This seems like it should have been like a $15.99 buffet. I even like the buffet at the Westgate even better than this. The Main Street Station Garden Buffet? Even better. Would I come back to the more buffet here at the Luxor? Probably not. Just to see how this buffet set up, it was really interesting. They have the broken down columns over here and the lit ambiance, which I guess is probably the plus of this place is that there's kind of like a shortage of theme hotels around Las Vegas and this is one of the few that are left. So if you want to have like a theme-like buffet, definitely check this out because even the one in Excalibur is not very like King Arthur's courtish anymore come here for the ambiance I guess you'd say but anyways guys I would say this buffet it was only okay so this is the backstage deli and it's one of their 24 hour a day delis and the food here is a little more pricey but if you're late night looking for food head over this way Grab yourself some sandwiches, soups of the days, and uh, a few other things like burgers and dogs. And right next to the cafe is the America's Got Talent Theater. And this is where you go to watch the show, America's Got Talent. Just down this hallway right here. And right next to it is the Bet MGM Sportsbook. So those are just a few places that I didn't show you on my last video. After this, make sure you check out my 24 hours at Luxor video and my South Strip video because I did show a lot more around the property and I just wanted to show you things that are new or things I haven't covered yet around Luxor. So it is uh, winter time in Vegas, so the swimming pool is closed, but during the summer, man, this place is uh, pretty full. And I am staying in one of these towers, one of these Blue Man Group towers. Educationers, we're here at the Rira Irish Bar at Mandalay Bay. It's between Mandalay and Luxor, so I'm putting this in the Luxor video. I got the corned beef omelet and the Irish coffee right here. We're watching the Argentina Netherlands game, but gotta have some breakfast. So, cheers. Got some Bailey's on here. And you guys know that I need to have some of that hot sauce. We're gonna dig into the corned beef because you know I'm Filipino. 
you know, I love that corned beef. Let me give you some uh, potato cubes here. Got some ketchup. Mm. Corned beef omelet. Oh, it's nice. It's got a little cinnamony corned beef type taste to it. It's got mushrooms in it. I enjoy this. I was feeling an omelet this morning. All right, I'm gonna get back to watching this game. What's up, chat? We're joining up that live with JK Shin. Watching the game. Time for the room review here at the Luxor. Now, I ended up booking the Queen Tower room, which was the cheapest room. I thought it would have been comped, but I still got to pay like 70 or 80 bucks for this. I'll put it down below right here. I booked everything through my MGM app and this was the cheapest rate I could find on a Thursday night of NFR National Finals Rodeo Week. The tower, I've probably stayed here once upon a time, but you know, my 20s was definitely very, uh, very foggy. <laughs> We're on the fourth floor and I'm not gonna lie, it kind of gives you like a dungeony dim vibe because they do tint the windows here. So it is already a little darker to start off with. Now you do get a nice view of the pyramid but you're kind of low so it's really dark in this room and even though they supply you with lights it's not as bright as you'd want it to be I guess but for cheap you know I'm staying here for 80 bucks in just one night I can't really complain and I wanted to give you a little different perspective than my last couple of videos I did a video here two years ago with dadcation and brocation where we stayed at the pyramid and then I stayed with Clark my odding here on a Raider game and I also did a video about st staying on the south strip so this is the third video it's just about staying here at the Luxor at 2023 Queen Tower room has nice green chairs two of them and a small table I ate my Earl of sandwich dinner here you also get your ice bucket a few plastic cups over this way like I said you get uh, okay view of the pyramid. You do have the two queen beds. I usually try to sleep over here closest to the wall. For some reason I always prefer that. Where do you guys like to sleep? Nearest to the window or nearest to the wall? I like the wall for some reason. They only give you one bed stand even though you have these two queen beds and there's just like a little cubby hole there but you do have a USB charger and two regular outlets and your phone call downstairs and a lamp and mirror and then two lights above the uh, bed stand and you also got like a red rock type formation in the desert frame over here and they give you only two pillows in each bed so I had to steal the pillows from this unused bed and put it over to my side because I'm a four pillow sleeper over here in the entertainment center area you got your safe which comes out in one of the drawers and the TV is really nice the menu is easy and maneuverable they have tons of channels I was actually able to watch the Raider game last night on Amazon they did lose <laughs> um, you get a luggage rack and inside the closet the mini closet you have a few wooden hangers your iron and ironing board over in the hallway you don't get a double lock but you do get the deadbolt lock so that's good enough that suffices and then you got your full-length mirror it's a little bit narrow of an entryway and this place there's a little bit of wear and tear in this hotel room outside the hallway I'll show you guys a little bit of wear and tear so it kind of feels like this tower area is not as well kept as probably the pyramid would be because I felt like the pyramid was really super nice here in the bathroom You've got a separate bathtub along with the walk-in shower and the walk-in shower, it's nice. The water pressure is nice and strong and the water is warm. At least you get a bathtub and a shower here. You get one sink, not much room to work with on the marble countertop, but you get like a three-way mirror here that you can look at when you're getting ready. And you have your blow dryer. They give you a, a few toiletries, shampoo, conditioner, soap, and lotion and you got your shaving mirror and then a bunch of towels all over the place and then on the throne it's nice and low like I like it and a couple of extra rolls of toilet paper then you also get the Sahara sand dunes of a frame over here and yeah the bathroom you know it suffices a little bit of wear and tear in the bottom here and on the sides overall for a less than 24 hour stay here at the Luxor I just need one more night before I fly home to San Diego the Luxor will suffice it will do the tower room I don't know I don't think I'd stay here again I really do prefer the pyramid rooms they were a lot nicer especially the upgraded ones and even though I'm a little freaked out with the ledge in the pyramid because you know how you have to walk the exterior of the pyramid and they don't have 
that high of a ledge. Kind of freaks me out, but you know, as long as you stay in the inside, you're good to go. Here in the tower, it's a little more dungeon-y, especially in the lower floors. So maybe in the upper floors, it's a little bit better and a little bit brighter. I mean, for about 80 bucks, not bad. Would I stay in the tower section again? Not really, I don't think I would. Now you could take a shortcut from where the Uber drop-off is. When you get off the Uber drop-off, just hook a right and you'll get to your area here. They do have your digital room key on the MGM app, but when you try to get that digital room key and try to activate it to get up to your floor in the elevator, sometimes it doesn't activate in time and then you miss pressing your button and then you have to go above your floor and then go back down because your digital room key doesn't work. So I always go to the counter and pick up extra room keys. So this is a pretty cool picture op if you want to take a picture with one of the model knights here at the Excalibur and it's right when you enter through the parking lot. And you also have your old school castle decor on the exterior and interior. So they also have restaurants like Johnny Rockets, Castle Coffee, and then there's also an indoor link over to the Luxor and you can also take a tram there. Bring your internet boarding passes over here. And this is check-in right here. So I love downloading the MGM app and just checking in through there a lot quicker. Also, if you're in the dinner shows, they do have the Tournament of Kings here, which is a really famous night tournament. And you can also check out Thunder from Down Under for you ladies. And this right here is the Sword in the Stone Bar. You can get a yardstick shaped as a sword. That is pretty cool. I've also heard really great things about that gelato spot, so if you're looking for gelato, they have it right in the front entrance of the front walking entrance from where New York, New York comes in, the tram uh, drops you off. Sticking with the theme restaurants, this is Dick's Last Resort. You can also pick up yardsticks over here at the Tiki Bar right there. You can dine here, and this is where they purposely treat you like trash, I guess if you like that sort of stuff. And that's what they do over here. They give you like a really insulting name and all that, and they don't treat you well. But it's all in fun when it's all said and done over at Dick's Last Resort. And the table games here are a lot cheaper, so if you want to find like $10 blackjack, you can find it here, no problem. Up in the second level, you'll get a Buca di Beppo and the buffet and other places like Lick. There's a Lids here where you can pick up your hats and the Thunder from Down Under theaters here. And their buffet is getting ready to open too. So yeah, let's check it out. It's actually open, it looks like. Check this out. Do you guys want to see me cover this buffet? Comment down below. So right now it's open Thursday to Monday, 8 to 3 p.m. They also have a food court here with Krispy Kreme, Popeyes, Einstein Brothers. Uh, the Starbucks I've been going to is over here as well. So if you're looking for just some quick eats, you can come over to this food court. Now if you walk back behind me, that's where it connects over to the Luxor and you can stay indoors, especially on a hot day, and just get over to the next hotel. And then from Luxor, you can also hop to Mandalay Bay without going inside. So now this 24-7, I walked in here when I was walking through Vegas filming a Hidden Gems video and I picked up a water and it was like five bucks. So that's where I would say don't pick up waters because it's a little more pricey inside your resort convenience store. Go to CVS or go to Walgreens. Over here they have breakfast and burgers, a Schlotzky's, and hot dog on a stick. The classic hot dog on a stick. All right, vacationers, time for some coffee. So since the Krispy Kreme line was really short, I went to Krispy Kreme today, but I usually go to the Starbucks, but the line was still pretty long. So if you get up around 9 a.m., 10 a.m., those lines are guaranteed to be long for coffee. So just be aware of that. And they also have two different uh, Castle Coffee locations around the resort, and there's also lines there too. That lounge right there also has live music. At, on the weekends, I think, and it's a pretty hopping spot. They also have a Baja Fresh right here. All right, educationers, so I'm gonna give you a little review of the Stay Well 
floors here at Excalibur. There are like three floors that have like these rooms with humidifiers and like really clean air and it's actually a really nice room. I mean it's basic, you don't have a safe, you don't have a fridge so I had to bring my cooler once again. The HDMI you can't really use because even though you can plug it in you don't have the Samsung remote and it's actually plugged into the uh, hotel cable system so you can't really use the HDMI at this place. Um, also no ethernet cable but you get all your basics, you get your closet, a uh, bunch of drawers which are older drawers, uh, could be upgraded eventually. Um, you get your table. What's really cool is you get a humidifier and your normal bed stand. So, you know, you get the amenities and the bed's actually pretty comfy. So in Excalibur, I got comped in my MLife card. I just had to pay for the resorts fee and it was about 150 bucks for the three nights that we stayed here. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Not bad at all. Also, that is the view from our room. We get a partial view of the Tropicana, MGM Grand, and the castle here at Excalibur. I'd also like to mention that the air conditioning here is super cold. 116 degrees outside in Vegas, but you come in here at 69 degrees and nice and comfortable. Also, everything was done through mobile check-in, but then you could go to the front desk and get your car registered for the parking. Since I booked my trip before May 15th when parking fees were added, I was able to get free parking, but now I think it's $15 per day to park. And you can actually use your room key to get in and out of the parking lot, and you can also go on any MGM Resorts property with that hotel room key and park over there for free. I'll just give you a tour of the bathroom here. You know, you got your one sink, but you got a huge counter and three spaces where you can put towels, toiletries and whatnot. You got your hair dryer here and the shower is actually really good, nice and warm. So yeah, it's good. The bathroom is a little outdated. Looks like it's from the 80s still, but warm water and it's actually pretty clean. So I like it. You guys are old school, <laughs> but then you got a nice shower and it's warm and it heats up right away. So not bad at all. A little outdated here with the um, decorations. Also guys, if you check in via your mobile phone on your MGM Resorts app, you'll get a digital room key which you can use. But sometimes, you know, your phone might die or technology just doesn't uh, cooperate. So I'd suggest you go to the front desk and grab two physical room keys. And also if you have a car, let them know so that they can have it registered. Because if you don't tell them that you have a car there and you put your room key trying to get in and out, you're gonna get charged. And of course, what up guys? Games. How you doing? We're in the house of games right now. Talk about the gym real quick. Uh, the gym is pretty decent actually. They actually have free weights here, unlike the Caesars gym, which is bigger, but had nothing but machines. But yeah, so all you have everything you need except for a free barbell. It's lit. Let's get these games in. Alright JK Shader, so we made it to the pool and I'm telling you, the pool is actually really surprising. It's a nice clean pool. They have a slide here I believe, a bunch of canopies, uh, big chill poolside drinks and I didn't really realize that there is a really hopping pool at Excalibur. Like really nice place for you to take your family or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whatever. And yeah, there's even a line for the slide, look at that. I actually dig this pool, really cool. Didn't even know it existed. <laughs> All right, Jacationers, so that will do it here from the Excalibur Resort in Las Vegas. I actually think this is the best value hotel to stay in. Make sure you stay at a stay well room with like the clean air and it's really nice over there. The beds are comfy. I mean, the furniture is a little outdated, but look, I got it comped on my MLife card and I only paid for the resort fee. It's about 150 bucks for like three days. Still a lot, but not bad. And they have a really cool pool here, a nice gym, and a lot of places to eat of cheaper value. You know, I got my Krispy Kreme. I definitely recommend Excalibur. It looks like they make small adjustments to 
cleaning this place up. One of my first memories of coming to Vegas was staying here with my parents in Mirage. I've always liked this. This is like classic Las Vegas, so let's enjoy it. What's up, JK Shinners? We're here at my room in the Mirage. I got a nice side view of the south side of the Strip and the 15 freeway. Right now, it's early in the morning. I just woke up. I need coffee, and I need to find coffee that's not $9 for a caramel brulee latte at Starbucks. Let's see if we can find some. What's really good about staying at the 25th floor is that the elevator only goes 24, 25, so you don't have to keep stopping on the way down. It looks like they have a nice breakfast spot here called the pantry, and then across from it is the still where they have like craft beers, American food. Looks like a pretty good spot to have some beers. And then across the way towards the pool, they have a few stores, socks and bottoms, spa and salon, karma, luck. They also have a few more stores here. Misura and Paradiso where you can pick up some gear if you forgot it back home. And down the way, it looks like there's like a soap store here. All right, JK Jenner, so I found a spot called the Roasted Bean. Got the special house blend. They do serve Starbucks here. Got my red Starbucks cup. 471 total. Make sure to use your rewards card, your M Life rewards card, to accumulate points because you get a point for every dollar spent. And it's about the price you're gonna pay for a Pike's Place blend on the strip. 471 for a grande. So at least it's not the nine dollars thirty-five cents for the caramel brulee latte that I had yesterday at Planet Hollywood. If you haven't seen that video yet, it's linked down below. This store right here is called Nectar Bath Treats. So a bunch of bath bombs. Looks like they make them looking like cupcakes and cakes and pastries. Pretty cool idea. Yeah, three for 20. I have a bathtub in my room. Huh. Want to go to Siegfried and Roy's Dolphin Habitat? Use this QR code right here. Book your tickets. So we're out here right by Siegfried and Roy's Dolphin Habitat. This is the entryway to it. Right next to it is the pool. Mirage Pool is one of my favorite pools in all of Las Vegas. It's gonna rain today. Looks like the chairs are all folded up. I heard there's some really great Dole Whip in the pool. So during the summer, if you're looking for some special Dole Whip, kind of like in Disneyland, go check it out over here at the pool. The pool is heated to 78 degrees currently, so you could go in the water if you want, but it's pretty windy. I feel the sprinkle coming on. My mom in San Diego told me that the rain is coming down in San Diego. It's probably on its way here to Vegas pretty soon. But yes, the pool is open. If the Dole Whip place is open and they are serving it, I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna shout out my homegirl Norma Helly for uh, telling me about that Dole Whip in one of her videos because I love Dole Whip. Right by the Tiki Room in Disneyland, that's my number one favorite one. Let's see how this one is. I might get it a little later. I'll come back a little later for it. Plenty of chairs to come by and it looks like they got cabanas over there too. And that's the Paradise Cafe. There's the Dole Whip. You need to fill up on water, they got a water station here too. Looks like this is the only pool that's available right now open to hotel guests. 78 degrees, nice and warm. But the big pool is not. All right guys, so the pool is open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. this time of year. And for you guys wondering how much it costs to get in to the dolphin habitat, it's $25 for adults. $19 for children, and there is an annual pass available for you locals. One of my favorite things about the Mirage is the Beatles Cirque du Soleil show. This is my favorite Cirque du Soleil show in all of Las Vegas. They're back open. I love this entranceway. Colorful, it's awesome. All right, JK Shinners, we're here at the Mirage at Snacks. I got the BOGO through the My Vegas Slots app and just played the free slots, accumulated the points. You have to go to the M Life desk and claim it before you go here. So don't go straight here and be like, hey, I need to claim my My Vegas slots. You have to go to M Life first, they'll load it onto your card, then you come here and you get your two for one. Now, one was 17, one was 19. I paid 20 bucks, but these are huge helpings. I got the meatball sub, and then I got the Italian sub. It looks amazing. I'm gonna save the Italian sub for dinner tonight, but I'm gonna have this meatball sub. Comes with pepperoncinis. Now, snacks is all day. They have breakfast here, they have burgers, they have drinks, they have everything. We're just gonna dig into this. This looks really good, and they have a nice dining area over here. It's right by their sports book. Awesome, snacks. Two for one BOGO, amazing. Thumbs up, shout out to one of my mods, Latrus, Mark DeLeon, for telling me about My Vegas Sauce. I've been playing it nonstop, accumulating these points so I can get these freebies in Vegas through My Vegas Slots and the M Life Rewards card. This is their meatball sub. Wow, 
nice and thick. You got the marinara sauce. You got your provolone cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Super tasty four meatballs, and then they give you your pepperoni. That'll do the trick, that's for sure. That's a yummy meatball soup, guys. Since we're here, let's dive into this Italian. Different types of Italian meat, lettuce, tomatoes, Italian dressing, really thick. It looks like there's some sort of chipotle mayo on it too. Some cheese. Oh, yeah. Italian subs are my jam. That's a tasty one, guys. Italian sub, thumbs up. All right, I'm gonna work on this, and then back to the room we go. What I like about this is that I have it packed up to go, bring it up to the room, I have dinner tonight. I'm not planning on any food vlogs tonight, so this is my dinner tonight. So we're here at the bar trying to get the Dole Whip, but there's nobody man in the bar right now. There's no people here. It's empty, but it's open, so hopefully somebody comes here, gets me that Dole Whip. Apparently, because there's no people out here, the bar is closed, even though they have it running. So you're gonna have to go to Norma's channel and watch her eat the Dole Whip. I'll try to find that video and link it down below. Uh, anyways, I'll just go back upstairs. We'll continue the review here at the Mirage. There's also a Blizz frozen yogurt over here if you're looking for frozen yogurt. One of my favorite places to watch the Volcano Show is right here, the front lobby pickup. I really enjoy people watching over here, starting my live streams over this way as well. I had no idea that this little lawn space right here, you could actually have a wedding ceremony. A nice quaint one. Also looks like there's a new bar that's being constructed right now with those yellow and white awnings right there. Can't wait to try that out in 2022 sometime. So if you're looking to see the Volcano Show, it's 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 p.m. right at the top of the hour at night. If you guys are ever trying to figure out a no refrigerator hack because MGM hotels don't have a fridge, well, you can call them and say it's for medication and they'll bring it up for you. Or you can just go to the vending machine and use your trash can, use a plastic bag to put your drinks in and put it under the ice, just like that. So I have four cans in here. Boom, that's my little travel hack if there's no fridge in your room. All right, JK Shitters, it is review time for the Mirage Hotel Room. Now, I just got the regular king bedroom. I was recently upgraded to second tier on M Life Rewards, which is M Life Pearl, and that gives me free parking now, so I don't have to pay 15 bucks a day for free parking. Thanks to my Uncle June, he hooked me up with uh, his ride while I'm here in Vegas, driving around the truck. So that's free, that's a big plus. Now, you can check in beforehand on the MGM Resorts app and it will give you a digital room key. Sometimes, like over in Excalibur, when I checked in early in the morning, the room was ready by like noon, which was awesome because you don't have to go down to the bell desk and put your bags down there. Now, that's no problem if you have to because what I did was I checked in and here at Mirage is pretty busy because of the uh, rodeo right now. I was able to check in my bag at the bell desk and then they just brought it up when my room was ready at three. So it says your room will be ready at three and you'll get your room number and your digital key as soon as it's ready. So once it was ready, it showed up at, right at three o'clock actually. I like physical room keys, so I ended up getting the physical room key anyways at the uh, lobby. Now you can do this all yourself on a touchpad. You just need the QR code on your MGM Resorts app and you'll get your key. Make sure you just get two keys because it's easier to touch the elevators because you have to tap the elevator to go up. They assigned me the 25th floor, which is awesome because there's an elevator that only goes to the 24th and 25th floor and you don't have to go all the way down and keep waiting as like it opens up in different floors. What I liked about the bedroom here is the view is pretty cool. I, I get to see part of the 15, looking out towards Red Rock. I'm looking at the Orleans right now, Caesars Palace. The bedroom itself is pretty spacious. Furniture is okay. It's a little outdated, but I like it. I love the Mirage. I, li I like the tropical 80s, 90s vibe to it. You know, you still got space. The king bed was really comfortable. I liked all of the decorations that they have here, like maroon and brown. They have a huge table here so you can do your work and you can eat. They have a nice little lazy boy where you can hang out, put your shoes on, and the TV's big. They got a huge Sam Samsung TV, and when you get in here, it's like a picture of an aquarium of fish floating around, so that's pretty cool. The audio, video, and HDMI cords 
you know, even though I bring my HDMI cord so I can watch YouTube off of my laptop, the HDMI port here didn't work unfortunately. And some of the ports, for some reason at hotels, and some of these ports that they provide you with, they don't work. Now the outlets did, so that's cool. I had a hard time finding an outlet by the bed. I just had to kind of sneak down below and uh, put my cell phone charger down there. That was a little bit of a challenge, but it's not a big deal. They have two bed stands. Unlike other hotels, the safe is not going to be in your cabinets. It's going to be in one of these bed stands. It lifts up, you throw your stuff in there just to be safe. You know, you want to throw your money, your laptop when you're not in the room. So something you want to make use of. So they have two cabinets on each side with hangers. You know, you'll have your iron, you'll have your ironing board and a luggage. I don't, I don't know if I saw a luggage uh, rack, but you have plenty of space. MGM resorts don't have refrigerators. They do have a refrigerator in here, but it's the touch sensor beverage refrigerator. You don't want to trigger the sensor because it's gonna it's gonna charge you, and you don't want that to happen. Now they also have uh, drawers for your clothes, ice bucket. So I made use of the ice bucket and the trash can. I just put a shopping bag in the trash can, got the ice, and put all my beers in the trash can. And that's how I kept my drinks cold while I was here. Yeah, they also have a floor to ceiling mirror before you enter the bathroom. And the bathroom is spacious. I like the bathroom here. You have your walk-in shower, but you also have a bathtub. Now downstairs by the pool, you can get yourself a bath bomb and maybe take a nice bath over here. The throne is cool. And they also have two sinks, large, sink space to work with. You got your standard hair dryer, outlets on both sides. I actually make use of the outlets over in the bathroom to charge my gear while I'm here. That's also another advantage of that bathroom. So I like the shower and the, the sink, the, the hot water was pretty cool. The air conditioning here was blasting cold. I have it at 77 now because it's freaking cold now here in Vegas after a little cold front came in. The desk is cool. They give you two chairs. They give you one computer chair and a normal one. Oh, and they also give you two phones. All in all, I I enjoyed the Mirage. Everything downstairs, their gambling area is not as big as other casinos, but it's classic. It was packed last night because of the rodeo. You can also go to Beatles Love. Uh, they have a store down there. Sneakily, this place has quite a few restaurants, quite a few sit-down restaurants. I wouldn't say upper tier, but they're like mid-upper tier restaurants. Maybe about six or seven. There's a steakhouse near the lobby. There's also a lobby bar. And then you have a few other places that I showed you earlier in the video. Now the pool is opened year round. Not the big pool right now. There's a smaller pool to the side. I was kind of disappointed because I didn't get the uh, Dole Whip, but it's okay. We'll try it in the summer one of these days. But overall, I enjoyed my stay here at the Mirage. Give it two thumbs up. It's still one of my favorite hotels in Las Vegas. Let's jack burger. Two pieces of bread. Hard to tell the difference, really. It tastes the same. It's just like the Shake Shack I remember in New York. What do you like most about Shake Shack? Yeah, the meat, the cheese, everything just goes right into it. It feels more like satisfying than a lot of other burgers. Do you usually eat the burger first, then the fries? Or do you eat the fries first and the burger? Or do you mix it up? I eat the burger first. And then this lemonade, it's pretty good. Now we gotta try some fries. Let's put some ketchup on it. This fry is very soggy. Crispy fries, just like the Shake Shack I remember. Very good. All right, here's the Shake Shack hot dog. I'm gonna put some ketchup and mustard on this hot dog. Heinz yellow mustard. Let's see if there's a snap to this hot dog. Um, what's different about the uh, Shake Shack hot dogs is that they're sliced in the middle. Yeah, we'll see. Mm. There's a snap in that hot dog and it is so scrumptious. The bread just mixes in perfectly. Love this. Thanks, Ashley Kid. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, Jake Asianer, so if you guys have watched my burger videos before, my food videos when I'm eating burgers and fries, you all know that I eat the fries first, then I finish the burger. Already heard me talk about Shake Shack in my Shake Shack versus Whataburger versus In-N-Out video, so check that out in the link below. I'm gonna enjoy my fries and then the burger. Two thumbs up. Fries are done, time for the burger. Yes, what I love most about Shake Shack, they do have the diaper, but I took it out the diaper. Usually they close it in the end, in the bottom, so things don't fall out, but the meat, and the cheese, the melted cheese is amazing. I love this. The only criticism I'd have about Shake Shack is I wish it was a little bigger. That's what she didn't say.
So if you check in with the MGM app, you get a digital room key, but sometimes the internet doesn't work by the elevator. So you're gonna want a physical room key. You can come here to registration, scan the QR code on the MGM Resorts app, get the keys you need so you don't have to worry about technology failing you. Like I said, make sure you get yourself a physical room key. You can do it all by yourself through one of those touch pads. And I'm gonna give you a hotel room tour of New York, New York, because obviously you can tell the audio went out on half of this video. So here is the standard room. I paid $145 a night for three nights here. And the resort fee was $37. They do have nice amenities like the television, they also have a safe and an ironing board with hangers, but there is no refrigerator, which you always have heard on Jcation is a negative to me, but I brought a cooler with me, so all was good. Now, the bathroom was pretty cool. It was kind of small. The, the, the quarters over there are pretty small. Uh, the shower is a little outdated, but they do give you, you know, your basic amenities, and it's clean, so I can't complain. You get your shampoo, your conditioner, your hair dryer, the small mirror where you can you know pluck your nose hairs they also give you an ice bucket so you can get ice down the hall over there and you get a really nice view but the tint of that window is kind of bad hey jacationers so daddy's birthday gift was a pacquiao ticket with his style and profile i got him that in Kauai. open up your vodka meal pops asmr baby New York, New York is practically connected to the T-Mobile Arena through their parking garage. So if you're going to a sporting event or a concert, the perfect place to stay would be New York, New York. Mari, we're at T-Mobile Arena for Pacquiao. Mari, look, Livy McGuire right there, lit up. How do you like the T-Mobile Arena, bro? Oh, man, it's nice, nice, thank you. San Diego need an arena? Yep, they should build one in San Diego. San Diego Sports Arena. Guys, no cap, this arena is amazing. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So unfortunately, Pacquiao did lose this fight and he ended up retiring shortly after. The next day, we headed over to Fulton Fish Fry for some lunch. Now, the food was kind of expensive, a little more pricey. I got the clam chowder in a sourdough bowl for about $5.95. That was tasty. The calamari rings was $8.95. I, I liked it. Um, the fish and chips was okay. For $10.95, I wish they gave us a little more, but I mean, for a meal over in New York, New York, that wasn't that bad. So Fulton Fish Fry, I'll give it about a three out of five stars. We also have a I Love New York, New York souvenir shop, as well as a Starbucks swatch. Stupid Idiotic, which has a bunch of random stuff. I don't know exactly what it is. I see shirts and a bunch of like magnets, socks, and all that. It kind of looks like it's a hot topic. Subscribe to Jaycation. I love him. He's the best. Where are you visiting from? North Carolina. Shout out to North Carolina. All right. This is actually a really cool Irish pub. I went here with Norma the first time we hung out and had champagne because we were around like 25,000 subscribers and we celebrated, I think, her 25,000 subscriber mark. Nine Fine Irishman is a really good spot, especially if you want to have a Guinness. A pint of Guinness. So this video is being recorded as of August 24th, 2021. And right now indoors, you have to wear masks. This is Hershey's Chocolate World. They have a bunch of different Hershey's, Twizzlers, Reese's Pieces, T-shirts and everything. So if you're into that type of Candy, this is a great place to check out downstairs at New York, New York. Next up, we're going up the stairs to the mezzanine shops and a few other eateries. There's another Starbucks here. There's like a pretzel shop, a Coyote Ugly. And this is where it leads to two bridges, one to the MGM Grand 
and one to Excalibur. New York, New York is really in close proximity to two other MGM casinos. Parking at New York, New York is $15 per night, but if you are an MY Pearl tier member, you get parking for free. So if you gamble a little bit, you might get your parking for free eventually. So every morning, this is where me and Dedication have been getting our coffee at the Il Fornaio Cafe over here. It's about like $4.25 for a coffee. So that's where we got our daily coffee for the last three nights. We're right here by the lobby and they also have a two for one shot. Buy two tall cans and get one shot free. So that's a pretty good deal, even though you're gonna pay a little more because you're inside the casino. In front of me is the America Restaurant. It's actually a really cool USA map and a lot of cool USA themed pictures and stuff on the wall. So I really like the ambiance of the place because it's all about America, but the food, eh. the New York New York casino pool now it's not a very big pool they also have a jacuzzi and a few cabanas but it's not the most impressive pool out of the MGM resorts but they do have some nice amenities over here they have a volleyball court you can rent out some beach balls so the kids can play around this hotel is a lot more kid friendly than I actually thought I like the pool it's a little small but I mean it gets the job done and the shade is here in the morning in the afternoon no it's definitely Sun's out, guns out. They also have a nice jacuzzi where you can hang out and then they have all these statues of these little kids climbing ladders or hanging out in the garden. Kind of creepy looking kids. But yeah, this pool is okay. I would give this pool about a seven and a half out of 10. It's good enough, it'll get the job done. But you know, you're in New York, so you're not going there for a pool. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the next spot upstairs. Another thing that makes this hotel kind of kid friendly is the arcade. The arcade has a Nathan's Hot Dogs there, but the arcade's not always open, especially during the weekdays. So make sure you know what time the arcade's open. All right, guys, so prices to ride the roller coaster here in New York, New York is $19 Monday to Sunday from 1 to 9 p.m. and $23 Friday to Sunday, 9 p.m. to midnight. That's weird. A re-ride's only 10 bucks. If you get a Scream Pass, you get an all-day ride for $35. So it's not bad. Different types of things you can do here. Locals actually ride cheaper, $14 and $18, depending on the time of day. Funny enough, we're actually here in New York City with Action Kid, but you're watching the New York, New York Hotel and Casino video. We didn't have any audio, and I wanted to hear AK's thoughts on New York, New York. What did you think, dude? I thought it did a really good, uh like comparison to New York City, they had like all the major landmarks, Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, they had the uh, Ellis Island thing, and I kind of liked how they really themed that casino, like the different streets of New York, and they even had like the fire escapes. What did you think of the room? You got to hang out in the room for a bit before you went home. Yeah, the room I thought was a little bit small, but it was functional, and uh, we had a good view of the outside. Yeah, the T-Mobile Arena yeah. and uh, the roller, the roller coaster. coaster. But the tint on the window was kind of made made the room dark. Yeah. That's what I didn't like about I it. I know. I, I felt that room was a little bit dark. It could be could have used a lot more like sunlight. But yeah, guys, we, we we were doing a little video. We did the intro in front of uh, the Brooklyn Bridge over there. Yeah. That was pretty nice. The mock Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah. yeah, but there was no audio, so. Glad I got Action Kid a month later and inserted him into the video because it's a stupid audio. But that's that's how YouTube life works. That's, what, that's how it works, yeah. All right, Jake Asianer, so that will do it for staying at New York, New York Hotel and Casino in 2021. It was a great time hanging out with Madi for his birthday, aka Dad Cation. Although Pacquiao lost, we still had a great time and enjoyed our time at T-Mobile Arena, one of the most beautiful arenas I've ever been to. It was a great time. The hotel room here in New York, New York was great. The room was a little dim because of the tint from the glass and it needs to be cleaned a little bit, but the room was good and I liked it. I enjoyed it. I'll let you guys know and write down below how much it costs per night and for the whole stay itself. The food down here is good. Fulton fish fry is okay. It's a little on the pricier side. And I do love that they have Shake Shack, which brings you some New York flavor over to New York, New York Hotel and Casino. And Vidara, what makes it unique to all the Las Vegas Strip hotels is there's no casino on the inside. But they do have some restaurants and some bars and some amenities like a fitness center. And I want to show you all that. And of course, a room tour. Really nice room, guys. I just checked into it. Excited to 
to show you around and I'll tell you the prices and all that good stuff and why I really do enjoy staying here. So let's get to the tour of the Vidara. So the one thing about staying at Vidara, there is no casino but the Aria is right next to it so you just have to walk out here, follow this pathway all the way into the casino. Since I'm just totally exhausted today, I ordered ramen from the Proper Eats food hall so I'm just gonna pick it up and bring it back up to the room and just relax. I got some more filming to do today so uh, I'm just gonna try to conserve as much energy as possible and it's freaking cold outside. With it being Lunar New Year, they have decorations here at one of the entrances. Really nice, check that out. Nice little Buddha display here. It looks like Proper Eats is on the second floor. I'm not gonna give you a complete tour of the Aria because we're staying at the Vidara. So I'm gonna show you the Vidara property, but I'll show you Proper Eats and some of the stuff. Proper Eats food hall here at the Aria is one of the newest food halls in all of the strip. I'm not gonna say it's the newest because there's always new ones popping up. They do have a bunch of different stalls. It kind of reminds me of Famous Food Street Eats at Resorts World, but just a smaller scale. They even have an Aoki pizza here, and the pizza actually looks pretty decent per slice for the Las Vegas trip. Don't get me wrong, believe me, it's still gonna be an expensive slice, but cheaper than other options. I'm gonna grab the ramen here, and we're gonna eat it up in my room. Right in front of Proper Eats is Easy Donuts, so if you're looking for pastries and coffee in the morning, they have this as well. So I ordered this on my phone. You can use this QR code if you wanna check it out. But I ordered it from the room and just walked over. I'm just gonna pick it up. It's Laughing Buddha Ramen. So they have an egg head here. A Wexler's Deli if you want sandwiches. This is Shalom Yal, Mediterranean Grill if you want some halal. Nice seating over here. A bunch of TVs. Lola's Burgers if you're in the mood for burgers. And then Pizza Ayoki is over on that corner. So this is Laughing Buddha. This is where I grabbed my ramen and I got it to go. And I went with the tonkatsu. 16 bucks and I added extra chili paste. Got my order, let's go back to the Vidara. And here is Pizza Aoki. Six dollar pepperoni slice and I like those type of pepperoni cups. And a five dollar cheese slice. We might have to come back here. Those prices really are not bad. And over this way you also got a soul bird. Looks like some Korean food. Like I said guys, absolutely exhausted. So straight back to the room I go. And there's also a nice little bar to round off the food hall here. And there's also the Temaki bar, which is right here in the very corner as well. And there's the Aria Express that will take you to the Bellagio, Bidara, and all the way to Park MGM. So definitely take advantage of that. Back here in the room at Vidara. I got the tonkatsu ramen. They actually already do have chili paste in here, but I paid another dollar just in case I needed more. I gotta pour this in. Ooh, man, that pork looks really good. You got the noodles, your chives. I'm gonna add more of this chili paste. Why not? I paid for it. I'll probably pay for it later on, too. It is a pretty cold and windy day here in Vegas. It's only like noon time, and it's already super windy and in the mid 40s, and for Vegas, that is super cold. I'm glad that I went with the ramen for lunch, but I definitely wanna try that Aoki pizza. Mm, wow. That is super good. Your tonkatsu ramen comes with char siu pork, black mushrooms, bamboo shoots, green onions, and pork broth. And then I also got the chili with it. Oh man, it's really good. Mm, let's try some of the pork now. Mm. Yeah, that's super tasty. The black mushrooms, also good. What's also nice about staying here at the Vidara is that they have a stove and a microwave. So if I don't happen to finish this later on, I can have this later as a snack. And they do give you a personal refrigerator, although they also do have a refrigerator bar where you can purchase things. I like it. Ooh, there's the noodles. All right, nice thin noodles here. Let's slurp them. All right, I can handle this paste. Not bad at all. Gotta get my dollars worth. Oh yeah, so good. Also with the bamboo shoots as well. This definitely does the job. Gonna save up my energy and show you a little more of downstairs here at the Vidara. Here at the Vidara, coffee number two of the day. Just getting all my footage together. I'm trying to get all these videos organized before I leave. This is the batch filming process of me here in Vegas. I'm here for 12 days, so I'm trying to get 12 videos done total. And I'm not done with like three of them yet, so gotta finish them up. Oh, that Keurig machine is a lifesaver, guys, I tell you. This is something new for me. I didn't realize that there is a little outdoor walkway that connects the Vidara to Bellagio. So 
if you want to walk over to Bellagio, is this a quick walk over? Pretty cool spot. This is Catch at the Aria. It's right at the end of the lobby. Check out all the awesome dragon displays they have here for Chinese New Year. This is at the shops at Crystals, but there's an even bigger one at the lobby at the Aria. I'll show you a little later. On the third floor, we got the pool and cabanas. Oh, that's a pretty good touch. Vidara guests may access the Ario pool from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily. Obviously, the water is gone, so the Vidara pool's not working. So yeah, you can access the Ario pool as a guest here. So that's a good thing. And they also have cabanas down the way over here. And they do have a, the spa at Vidara here on the second floor. Fitness center from 8 to 5 p.m. The spa facilities 8 to 5 and spa and nail services 9 to 5. So we're here at the fitness center. They got some ellipticals here. Ooh, also got some fruit water here. There were a ton of people over at the fitness center, so I didn't really want to record it much, but they do have a few things, and it's like three small rooms, free weights, treadmill, and all that good stuff. Here's the check-in area. They don't have a automatic key maker. Other MGM properties do, so you're going to have to actually ask a desk agent if you want a physical key, but I've been using my digital key, and it's kind of been working so far. Right over this way at the entrance is the Vice Versa and Patio Lounge. They even got an outdoor patio and a full bar over here, and you can eat and grab some cocktails. Pretty much the whole front of the lobby here at Vidara, which is not a big lobby. And if you don't want to make the trek over to the Aria, they do have a market cafe here. They even have a little convenience store. They got pastries, coffee, drinks, some seating here. And if you're about that Starbucks life, they do have a Starbucks. And if you don't want to go to the Market Cafe, you can get your caramel macchiato and your other Starbucks favorites over this way. And then this hallway right here will take you straight to the Bellagio, surprisingly. And then you can also use the Aria Express, which will get you to Park MGM down south. It's a pretty quick walkway to Bellagio. And then they have uh, meeting rooms over here. This is called Silk Road. They said there's, there's a private event going on here so there's a lot of uh, conferences going on out front this is the walkway to the aria you just curve over this way to aria entrance down there pretty cool kayak art installation right here it's been here for years and you got your taxi stand and your uber drop off if you need a taxi you can just go right out here to the front of the lobby even though it's a cold winter day here they do have a nice patio out here at the vidara and a couple of lit fire pits then in the very corner they got valet pickup and and then you got your uh, baggage drop and bell desk over here. So they have two entrances to your elevators. One is for the lower floors and one is for the upper floors. And then they also have a waiting area with desks, charging ports, and all that good stuff here. Coffee tables and couches as well. All right, Jaycationers, it's time for the almighty room review here at the Vidara Hotel. Not a casino, the casino's over at Aria, but that's only a two minute walk away. I booked this from a Monday to a Tuesday. What I really liked was by 9.30 a.m. when I auto checked in the night before on my app, on my MGM Rewards app, my room was ready, I had my digital key. When I checked out of my previous hotel, which was Harrah's, I just hopped an Uber over here and used the digital room key to come up to the 10th floor and my room was good to go. It was like I wasn't even having to wait or put my bags in baggage hold. And that's what I really love about MGM properties. There are times where they will give you a room if it's ready a lot earlier than you even anticipate. This is the earliest I've ever seen my room be ready. So it was a Monday to a Tuesday on a very dead time, but this room is awesome. Let's start over here at this desk area. They actually give you stationery and envelopes if you need it, like with Vidara logos. Unlike other places, they give you an ethernet cable here. If you need a hard wire, which sometimes I do need if I'm gonna upload videos, that ethernet cable comes in handy and it makes the internet a little faster and a lot more stable. You got a lamp here, they give you pens. Oh, and a little notepad and then teach you how to use the phone on the other side. What I really also like is by one of the bed stands, they give you this little iPad thing and it's like a total menu for you to check out. You can see what are the happenings downstairs, what you can order in suite or down at the market cafe. Also what restaurants and bars are around city center, the spa and salon guest services and all that good stuff. Tells you the weather, 47 degrees right now, 11.32 in the morning. Rest it on your charger then at night it automatically just turns into like a little clock and it dims so that it's not so bright. So I'm sitting on a coffee table. You got a couple coffee tables here and a Las Vegas magazine. This couch 
has a few weird stains on them. Gross. But there is a pull-out sofa. Good thing I'm the only one here. I didn't even sit on this couch. The camera is sitting on another coffee table. There's a lamp here as well and a few outlets. So there's a lot of outlets. You're not gonna have a shortage of power outlets while you're staying here. TV is really nice. It's not the biggest TV. It actually could be bigger for this room, but hey, it's all good. And below, sorry, I have all my stuff here. Oh wow, they actually have like a whole entertainment center inputs and outputs. And then over here, you got three drawers in the middle and then another cabinet here on the side. King bed is really comfy. You get four long pillows and they're thick. Three layers of bed sheets. It was a nice, comfortable sleep. You get a drawer down below here, a phone on your one side here with a couple of outlets as well, and lights and mirrors. And then you also have reading lights on each side, so if you have somebody else with you, they can use the reading lights at night. Another bed stand with the iPad and another drawer. Here in the dining table, you do get your ice buckets and a tray and a couple of actual glasses. And then right behind you is where you control the air conditioning and the heat. Made it into the kitchen, which is impressive. The kitchen is right in the entryway. You do have your double lock, one here, one here. And I do like the do not disturb and housekeeping thing. So I could turn this off when I leave. You got your master switch here and another light switch. A sink, empty cabinets, kitchenware upon request, so that's good. There's a trash can below here, and just a lot of empty drawers. And then what I like is that the refrigerators, one side is the bar, the other side is an empty personal use one, which I put to use and put my waters and leftover food. You don't want to spend your money on the Fiji waters. They're like $16.95. A bag of cashews is like $21.95. A pleasure kit is even more than that. And they're all in here in the refrigerator. But what I do like is they have a stove and they have a microwave. So that really comes into advantage. After I finish this review, I'm going to finish my ramen that I ate yesterday from Proper Eats Food Hall. And maybe some of this pizza if it's still good enough. All right, I got 25 minutes till I gotta check out. I also forgot to mention, they do have a nice little light here for your dining table and two leather chairs, so it's nice and comfortable. You can bring your food up here or even call in for room service. Over in the closet, you open it up. The only thing I didn't like was that the safe is unfortunately locked. That has happened to me a lot lately where the safe is already locked when I check in. Wasn't able to use that. 10 hangers here for you to use, your iron and ironing board, extra bed sheets for the pull-out sofa, a luggage rack here if you need it. But yeah, that was kind of a bummer about the safe. Here inside the bathroom, it's huge. They actually also give you a nice little closet, a little cubby, so that's more room, and then a full-length mirror, a super long full-length mirror. Main mirror here has lights on both sides, one sink, he could have probably put two sinks to his and her sink. Now one thing here that I noticed is that the hot water runs super hot. It doesn't mix with the cold, so it gets piping hot in the sink and in the shower. So just be aware of that. Maybe it's just this room in particular, but yeah. It ran really hot. Better than just running cold, the camera is on a cart that gives you a ton of towels. I'm in the bathtub, you can get yourself a bath bomb and relax in here. They have a nice big walk-in shower that's all glass. The throne is about medium high and it's not bad. They give you tons of towels. You get your hair dryer in the drawer, a couple of glasses and more face towels, a tissue box, an outlet. Your shaving and makeup mirror is also here as well. And a nice little greenish key lime pie looking design here at the end near the toilet. Cool that they actually have two little closets so people can use more storage space here if you have more people. Oh, and not to mention, they also supply you with the Vive skincare, toiletries, shower gel, shampoo, conditioner, and lotion over this way. So overall, I did enjoy my stay here at the Vidara. It was a big plus that I was able to check in and get into my room early, nice and quiet, and it gets a little loud during the day if there's people coming in and out, but the walls are thick enough. It's a nice huge room. I like that you can order everything at Proper Eats Food Hall on your phone or on this tablet, charge it to your room, and then just walk over, five minute walk, grab it, and if you wanna eat up here, you can eat up here, but there's plenty of seating there as well. This room was comfortable, barely watched any TV. We got a lot of filming done. Vidara is basically just an extension of Aria in my opinion, and I didn't realize how close it was to the Bellagio, so you can get to the Bellagio and the conservatory fairly quick. 
from here in the Vidaras. People will say, oh, Vidaras is boring because there's no casino. Yeah, but you have Aria and Bellagio just next door. Quick walk, and then you can also use the Aria Express to get over to Park MGM or the Crystal Shops. You really shouldn't have that much trouble getting to a casino or getting to shops or getting to food, and you get to save more money. It's a lot cheaper than staying at Aria. And I do want to cover Aria. Comment down below if you want me to do Aria. I'll show you guys more of the restaurant, shops, and casino grounds over there if I do an Aria video in the near future. My hotels are starting to get a little more pricey. Stay at places like Aria, Wynn, Encore, Palazzo, Circa. Those are hotels that I need to save up money for in order to make these videos because I don't get hosted at these big conglomerate casinos. I end up taking it out of my own wallet, but hey, I get the tour in and it helps you guys out on your trip. Great thing about having a microwave here, able to eat your leftovers. That's a thumbs up on that. It was about 155 on the room rate. I did room charge all my food from Proper Eats Food Hall, so it was about 180 in total when it came down to me doing room charges. Maybe I should read what this is before I judge. Mixed media, electric wire, stainless steel, iron frame. It's called Hoto Treasure Pagoda. Hmm. Just look how long this dragon is, guys. And then this beautiful money tree in the center. And then you got catch in the background, beautiful entryway, and these money trees with all the red envelopes. That's such a cool touch. And we're gonna head to the Eras Tour. Taylor Swift is in town for two nights. We went to night one on a Friday, and I'm gonna show you the experience in there, try out some food, see what type of merch I'm gonna get. I'm already wearing the merch. We're gonna be with Dad Cation. I'm gonna show you the hotel room that we got here and how we got it for cheap or fairly cheap on a weekend, a Friday to Saturday. Yeah, just take it all in here at Mandalay Bay and walking over here to Allegiant Stadium. Also, I'm gonna try to provide you guys with some useful tips when staying here at Mandalay and going to Allegiant Stadium. How to get in easier. After 12.30, the, there's the road between Luxor and Mandalay Bay. They use that as a walkway to go to Allegiant Stadium. That closes, so make sure you know that when driving it. I have this Raider hat. Oh, nice, it doesn't have born and raised on it. I don't want it to say born and raised. I was born and raised a San Diego fan. Flanker Kitchen and Sports Bar is opening up the summer of 2023 and the entrance to Allegiant Stadium walkway is over this way too. Right by the Mandalay Bay shops. So if you guys are looking for $3 coffee here at Mandalay Bay, they have it here at Libertine to go. 321 plus tax. So Rhythm and Riffs, they have featured drinks of Taylor Swift songs, Midnight Rain, Lavender Haze, Lavender Lemonade. Oh, for sure gonna get that. I know I just showed you guys Mandalay Bay this past summer of 2022 but I'm gonna give you a little different experience. What's it like staying here at Mandalay Bay during a event over at Allegiant Stadium? And you know, we're gonna be with the Swifties at the Taylor Swift Eras Tour. And I'm gonna bring you guys along, but I can't bring this camera that I'm talking to right now. So I'm just gonna have to bring the iPhone over at the Taylor Swift concert, show you guys the festivities of the T-Swift Eras Tour. Let's go. And go Aztecs, they play at 3.30, so I'm probably only gonna watch the first 10, 20 minutes of the game and then head over to Allegiant, which is just across the bridge. Look at this mirror, a little key lock right here. Over by the elevators. So this is how you get your room key if you want a physical one. So it says, great, let's get my key. Since we're already checked in, I'm at two keys. Activating that one. That's ready, so that's for dedication. I always want one just in case my phone is dead. You never know about technology. Good to go. And they'll ask you if there's anything else. I'm done. What you think about digital room keys, dedication? Pretty cool. You can just bring your bags up and then just come down if you need your physical one. Yep, you don't need to be in front of the registration desk and talk to someone. Take like yourself. Takes less time. Hey, Aztecs, we put a little bet here. It's plus seven and a half, and the total points, 137 and a half. We went under, so let's see. Let's go Aztecs. Aztecs fight. So this is basically the restaurant row. This is Areoli. I want to try Libertine Social Gastro Pub, but uh, not on this trip. Kumi, strip steak. These are the masterminds of Border Grill. Chef Susan Feniger and Mary Sue Mlicken. Shout out to them. They make some amazing food here. All right, Dad Kishin. First time here at Border Grill. You've seen it a couple times on my channel. I've told you how good it is. Are you excited? Oh yeah. 
I'm looking forward to this. All right, guys, welcome back, Yancy, and this is Chef John. How y'all doing, everybody? Uh, Jay, it's so great to have you back here at Border Grill. It's been a while, but man, I got some really fun stuff for you. Chef John's been putting together some things in the kitchen, us at the bar. You're gonna love this one. Thanks, man. What do we got to start? All right, so first off, <laughs> let's start with this. This is our favorites right here. This is our margarita flight. We're gonna start with our Blanco margarita. Casadores, our fresh uh, margarita mix. Then we go into a, a nice complex blood orange margarita. That's a mole rim that we put on there. We muddle a little jalapeno in there, a little bit of spice, blood orange mix. And then over here, this is a fun mezcal margarita. It's with guava. We call it the zigzag. It's with Zigna mezcal. You're gonna love this flight. It gives you a flavor of what we do at the bar. Now, on the other side, this is a fun agua chile. This is a chili puya broth. We put that together with plantain chips, sustainable shrimp, and then a bunch of vegetables. Avocado to top that off with a little creaminess. That's a great starter for your vacation. Awesome. First things first, margarita flights. We're gonna go with the Blanco. You got the salted rim with the lime right here. I'll throw that in there. First things first, I haven't even had food yet today. Sipper starter of your margarita. I'm liking this. We're gonna share this with Dad Cation for sure. Now, next up is the blood orange margarita with the tajin. Matches the Aztecs jersey. Looks like you got a pepper in there. You got a green pepper. Oh man. I'm feeling that. You got a little smoky taste to it as well. Blood orange. Ooh, a little spice too with the pepper. jersey today. And then finally we got the mezcal based one. We got a strawberry here and it's a very peachy looking drink. Uh, salted rim as well. Ooh. The mezcal. That hits. Very peachy strawberry taste to it. I'm gonna drink all this. Alright, bring on the food. Let's get into the agua chile. You have the uh, plantain banana with the sauce. Oh man, cilantro, avocado. Oh, man. Nice and fresh. Loving that shrimp, the mix of cilantro. This is where I love cilantro, right here. Mm hmm. chips always come through perfect dipping sauce for this and for the ceviches phenomenal this is indescribable a spiciness on it it's just an explosion of flavor and that plantain banana chip have yourself a margarita oh, perfect what kind is this one Just like you had that margarita flight, we have taco assortments. And this bad boy right here, this is our enchilada trio. We have great trio uh, enchiladas, but we wanted to put them all on one plate so that everyone can taste the entirety of this. So uh, over here on the first one, we have our short rib enchilada, braised short rib, Oaxacan cheese, a guajillo sauce. We top that with a frisee and tortilla salad. In the middle, you're gonna have our classic poblano chicken enchilada, chicken wrapped in a tortilla topped with the poblano cream sauce. We top that with corn, mushrooms, garlic, great flavor there. And the newest addition to our enchiladas is the seafood enchilada. We have lobster, shrimp, crab, corn, sofrito, all in that tortilla. And then we top that with a salpicon salad. This is the way to try Border Grill menu. I hope you enjoy that enchilada trio. Man, you got the whole ocean there. That's it, inside that enchilada. <laughs> You guys know that the food menu here is amazing when they start making food flights just because they want you to try as much of the menu as possible. And they're making this enchilada flight. That short rib enchilada is calling my name right now. We're definitely gonna have to hit that up. The poblano chicken looks really good and then the seafood one, can't wait. All right guys, we're gonna get into the uh, short rib enchilada real quick. Soft. The 
flavor profile of this enchilada is just top notch. Uh, the short rib is just cooked perfectly. Yum! I'm loving that sauce as well. Short rib enchilada for sure. Wow. I like it. Melt in your mouth. It's really good. Not too spicy. Alright guys, we're gonna try out the chicken poblano enchilada. I think I've had this before possibly. I'm not sure, but let's see. You got corn with it too. Yeah, the green sauce is creamy. Wow. Oh man. Definitely different than the short rib one. I'm actually really liking this too. It's a different flavor, a different flavor profile, so wow, amazing. Third flight, we're going with the seafood. Like Yancey said, they have lobster, shrimp, and crab, and all in this. Let's go. Oh yeah, there's that lobster. That is three different tastes right there in one, with the seasoning too. Seafood. Already had some lobster in my life. All right, Jake. Now we're gonna get into a little bit of sandwiches. Last time you had the Mexico City torta, which I know you loved on that one, but you gotta check this one out. This is our chili relleno burger. We take a hamburger, we put chipotle aioli on a potato bun, and then from there we put a chili relleno right on top of that with lettuce, tomatoes. Fries, dust it with a little bit of cumin seed on top of that, and then we top it with a uh, serrano chili and a uh, green onion, served with a chipotle ketchup. We don't do anything normal here. We gotta up it every time we do this. I'm gonna spare this cocktail for you with our great Jamaica mule. This is our version of a Moscow mule. We start with vodka, a little bit of edelflower liqueur, and then we have this local company makes our syrups for us called Dress the Drink, and they make a smoked cherry syrup for us to make this drink all together. Comes with a little candy ginger. Man, shout out to Dress to Drink as well. I hope you enjoy this over here. Smoked cherry syrup, huh? That's what it is. That's what's up, man. Right? <laughs> there he is. Pro mod Pat75. What's up, Pat? What's going, buddy? So, I told you we get the Mexico City torta. What do you think? Awesome. Awesome. The carnitas, the way it kind of mingles with the, uh, with the consomme that they put in the bowl. It actually kind of reminds me of like, you know, some of the mom cook, even though I'm not Mexican. So, love it, man. Nice. And you like the, the tortilla soup too? Oh yeah, definitely like that. Yeah, the cheese, the cheese in it. I didn't show a pic, I didn't even get a chance to see it because I finished it. But I love the cheese that they put in there. The Oaxaca cheese. Killer. For sure. Thanks for being a great mod, bro. Oh, no problem, buddy. Much love, man. Cheers. Thank you. These Cuban fries, it's almost like, almost just like a curry seasoning in a way. With their chipotle like ketchup type dressing. Oh man. And they do have the thinner fries, but they also have the thick yuca looking fries. And that comes with the Mexico City torta. I'm telling you, amazing. This burger it looks like a Goliath. We'll see what Dad Gation thinks about this, but I can't wait to get into this burger. I'm already filling up, guys. Alright guys, so this is the smoke Jamaica Mill. This is Border Grill's version of a Moscow. Look at that. Let's taste it. Oh, wow. You get that ginger kick, but the sweetness of that syrup that they have in here, it definitely makes it taste like a assortment of candy in a Moscow meal. It's sweet with a kick. I like it. I haven't even ate the candy yet and, and poured the lime, so you'll get a little bit more sour. It almost gives you a little uh, sour Skittles vibe, too. So we got the chili relleno burger. Got a huge chili relleno on top of the Angus beef. Got some cheese up in here with the peppers. Me and Dad Gation had to cut it in half and then fourth it because we're filling up. Oh wow, that's a load of ingredients in there. The 
the chilery, you know, always comes through. Angus beef makes it that nice burger taste. They give you the chipotle sauce. They use the fries with the cumin. Oh yeah. <laughs> cumin fries. Wow. Wow. Alright, let's go a little bit on the lighter side. We have a little bit of everything for anybody that comes here at Border Grill. These are our vegan dishes here. So we have our mushroom molitas. It starts with a tomato fennel sauce. We put a little bit of seared greens, vegan cheese, organic black beans, two portobello mushrooms, topped with a little bit of uh, roasted peppers and onions. That dish is to die for. And then we take an enchilada. Why not? If you're a vegan and you want an enchilada, come down here to Border Grill. We've got a smoked tofu enchilada. We take that tofu, we smoke it in mesquite wood. We use vegan cheese on the inside, tomato fennel sauce, top it with a kale, roasted corn relish. Any vegan's going to love these dishes. We don't just make vegan food, we make great food that just happens to be vegan. So, uh, Nancy, for our Catholics here, on a Friday, they can just do this. Absolutely, any Friday, come on down. <laughs> All right guys, mushroom time, let's try it out. Ooh, there's a cream too. It's just a little like a wine, uh, like a chicken marsala, chicken madeira, wine type of taste to it. Mm. And then the vegan enchilada. Let's go with it. Mm. Very smoky, very barbecuey. Is that beans? Yeah, you got the beans. That's some barbecue taste to it too. Wow. I'm feeling that. We're slowing down though, guys. We're slowing down. Gotta make more room. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a little bit from a dinner menu, okay? True fashion of Border Grill, we're gonna give you a flight. This is going to be our sangria flight. It's the Kettle One Botanicals sangria flight. We have a red wine, a rosé, a Sauvignon Blanc, all with great, great flavors on there. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this with some of our dinner dishes. We have a newest addition to our menu. It's the pollo relleno. This is a chicken roulade that we stuff with chorizo, cotija cheese, put in hoja santa butter over the top, and then serve that with Brussels sprouts, a little bit of chorizo inside of that as well. And then you're gonna try this classic of Border Grill. It's our skirt steak. It's been said that this is one of the best steaks around. So skirt steak, little chimichurri on top, a frisé tortilla salad to go with that, and then you can't beat that house-made flour tortilla that comes along with it. Jay, I hope you enjoy these dinner dishes. I think I got a little special thing coming out for you in just a few minutes, but we'll see if that comes out or not. All right, Jay Kishner, so we are super full, but we gotta show you some of the dinner plates here at Border Grill, and I'm gonna go with this skirt steak with the chimichurri up top. Oh wow, it looks nice and juicy. Look at that, guys. All right, I'm only gonna go with one piece and we're gonna save the rest of this for uh, a late night snack after Tay Tay. You got that flavor with the chimichurri. Mm. Wow, I would smoke this skirt steak if I was on an empty stomach. Oh yeah, wow. Right onto this stuffed chicken here. Oh man, I might even not even be able to handle this one. Ooh, wow. I'm feeling that, feeling that for sure. You definitely gotta split this with a couple people. Hmm. You also got some Brussels sprouts on this side. Really unique. Who's the Brussels sprout fan? Comment down below. Really good. All right, Jay, I just wanted to end off on a little something special that we do here. We change our specials once a month here at Border Grill. Uh, so I wanted to just show you what we're doing in March. You know, we're doing some really fun, innovative things. Chef John and his team are really putting together some really fun stuff. So what we have here are these lobster tacos, but they're not just a lobster taco. We take that tortilla, we infuse it with squid ink. Okay, that's gonna be the first part of it. Then butter poached lobster, a champagne chipotle corn relish, and top it with a little bit of hominy that they throw in the fryer and make it nice and crispy for a little texture. Top it with some microgreens, avocado bomb. You can't go wrong with this. But this is some of the fun and inviting things that we're doing here at Border Grill every month. Specials change. And I think, Jay, I, I might see you later. I don't know. Yeah, man. We'll fast forward in a, about a couple seconds here over to uh, Allegiant. Perfect. We'll be at Allegiant. Jay, I can't wait to see you over there at Allegiant. All right, man. Have Thank a good you. one. All right, guys. So, like I said, my favorite restaurant here in Vegas is Mandalay Bay. And we got to show a couple of new things while we're here. And we did try in a separate video the margarita 
Sangria flight. But now this here is a different type of flight. This is the Sangria flight. So they gave us three different types of flights. There's a cucumber one, and then this is like a peach flight, I believe. And then you got your basic Sangria. So if you're looking for different flights, they really do distribute the flavors well here. Oh, that's amazing. Now let's get to the middle one. Oh wow, so you got your orangey red sangria. And that Jason already killed this cucumber one, but... Oh wow, oh this is good. This one's fire. The cucumber sangria, oh yeah. All right, so like they said, every month they come out with new specials and these tacos are their special for March. You're definitely not watching this Mandalay Bay video in March because this is already like March 24th and you know I have a backlog of videos. So you're probably seeing this in April or May, most likely. So let's bite into this taco here. I'm only doing one bite. We're gonna take this back to the room. We're not wasting food. Wow. Ooh, you get that crunch in it. You get the lime with the shrimp, the corn, crispiness, the fried cheese. Mm, wow. I'm not eating the entire weekend. My goodness. Two thumbs up. Special thanks to Yanti. All right, educationers. So Border Girl is great, but the Aztecs game, Sweet 16, is in about 30 minutes. So we got to head back up. I got to catch a little bit of it before Taylor Swift. But guys, Border Girl is constantly evolving, constantly changing their menu. I'm telling you, it gets better every time. <sighs> The chili relleno burger was amazing. The skirt steak, fire. The new flights that they had, the enchilada flights, so good. And these wine flights, amazing. So guys, check out Border Grill here at Mandalay Bay. They also own Pachamama's, Barbecue Mexicana, great spots. Getting ready for the T-Swift concert. The last two female performers that I've watched in concert, Olivia Rodrigo, her idol, Taylor Swift, and the movie I'm gonna rock right here is Nikki, Nikki Zefania from 88 Rising. And I went to see her in October, rocking the hoodie. So we representing the ladies out there tonight. We're gonna be going iPhone from this segment on. So it's time for some Taylor Swift, baby. Snow on the beach, blank space, let's go. So the Rhythm and the Rips Lounge has those special midnight song lyrics, drinks. Let's try it. Let's walk it over to the concert with that drink. All right, so we watched the SCSU game here at uh, Rhythm and Rips. Got the lavender haze. You got the little lavender in the bottom here. Oh, you made that strong. It's like a lemonade vodka drink. We'll walk this over to Taylor Swift. So like I said, it's just an easy five to 10 minute walk to Allegiant Stadium from Mandalay Bay. And I got lucky with my roommate here. It's funny how people just be walking on the sidewalk when the roads are already closed. Walking over with my lavender haze. There it is. Allegiant Stadium. Yeah, about an 8 to 10 minute walk. Not bad. Gates open at 4.30. It's about 4.20 right now. Y'all know what that means. I got that little Olivia Rodriguez. We're going to pick up some uh, T-Swift swag. You already know. And when it does get hotter, they do have water coolers over here you can hydrate with. But I'm hydrating with lavender haze tonight. People are starting to line up over here to get in. It's crazy. But I think I can get in with my MGM or my Caesars VIP players card. We're gonna try to go to those VIP entrances. Allegiant Stadium is a no re entry. August 26 and 27. Allegiant Stadium and enjoy the show. That's Beyonce. Oh, look at the tour merchandise line. I'm going inside to get that. I ain't messing with that, guys. Uh uh. Dude, this is the line to get into Tay Tay. Holy shiznat. I should have just fell into that, but we're gonna try to get in with the VIP. There you go. There's your Caesars VIP reward entrance. Let's see if Diamond gets us in. No go. So Diamond entry, you have to buy your ticket through Caesars in order to get it. Yeah, what a fail. Big time tip. Enter through the south side. No line whatsoever. Didn't even fall in line. So make sure you enter through the south side, not the north side where everybody comes through from the strip. Had to pick up merch. Shout out to my nieces, Myla and Emmy. Got y'all something. Stay tuned this summer. Made it in. We're gonna watch the rest of the SDSU game because it's a close one and they're winning right now. Let's see. SDSU has next fight. But you got in here early. We're gonna try out some food and just check out the atmosphere. All right, Jay, man, are you following me? Well, we're here at Allegiant Stadium and I'm gonna fill you up with some more things. Barbecue Mexicana. Let me show you right here. First off, this is the BLTA. Lettuce, chipotle ranch, chicken, bacon, croutons. Guess what? We put those croutons inside the smoker with mesquite wood. 
flavor out of this world. And then I'm gonna show you really quick what we're really known for. And this is the brisket burrito. 13 hours, slow smoked brisket, red rice, barbecue sauce, barbecue chips. You can't go wrong with a flour tortilla wrapped in goodness. This is your power bar here at Taylor Swift. Perfect for the Swifty concert, man. I had to swim through a thousand Swifties just to get here. But now you got this, now hey. you can go enjoy the concert. Yesy, bro, thank you so much, man. Barbecue Mexicana and Pachamamas. Check it out here. What section of Allegiant? Here at Allegiant, we're in section 122 and 121. We're also on the 300 level. If you're up in the top, you can also get barbecue Mexicana upstairs. And we can also catch you guys at T-Mobile Arena, right? T-Mobile Arena right next to Shake Shack. We're also at Las Vegas Ballpark, Mandalay Bay. And stay tuned for something special, man. It's off the strip that we're working on. It should be out in the next six months, okay? We'll, we'll announce it when it happens. All right, Jay. I'll Love see you, you next Thank time. You. Shout out to Yancey over at Barbecue Mexicana and Border Grill. I've been dreaming about this brisket burrito since that last Raider game. And we're gonna have this free T-Swift concert, so excited to try it. Cheers. Got a nice crisp to it. This is amazing. Put it down with a Modelo. Evil Pies made it. They even have a stand here at Allegiant Stadium. It's good to see these businesses thriving, especially the local ones. Hi guys. We're gonna fast forward to tomorrow, but the concert was amazing. I'll give you more of my thoughts in the morning when I get some rest. All right, educationers, since I already gave you guys a complete resort tour last summer, which was only about half a year ago. Nothing has really changed here. And this video is a little different. The only reason why I wanted to stay here in Mandalay was because I was going to the T-Swift concert and show you the experience. And like I said, this is probably your best bet to stay for a concert. So maybe in August if you're coming back for Beyonce or even for the Raiders. But this is a little different because this is a concert experience. And I wanted to show you exactly some tips about the concert. So there are actually two different entrances for VIPs for Caesars Rewards and MGM Rewards and they're on opposite sides. Now I thought that if I had a diamond card I could just show them my diamond card and go in with my ticket and unfortunately it failed. You have to have a ticket that says Caesars Rewards entrance or MGM entrance since all these tickets are now digital. Just know that if you have a high tier card you can't just show them the card and then walk in through that entrance. But here's the tip. Don't go in through the north entrance where everybody walks through uh, Hacienda, I believe, into the stadium because that line goes across the bridge towards Mandalay Bay. It's crazy. On concerts, you're going to want to go to the south side. Even if your ticket says north side, you can go into the south entrance. They'll buzz you in. You're good to go. And there was no line. I walked right in. So that actually worked out well. And as for concert gear, I copped the shirt. I got the hoodie that I was wearing last night. And for my nieces, my nieces in Tennessee, I got them a little uh, tote bag here of Taylor Swift and also a, a water cup. We're gonna bring this back to my nieces when they visit in the summer. And then I also got a short sleeve because it's about to be summer. 
got this little tie-dye Taylor Swift short sleeve shirt for the summer. We'll be using this in Europe for dang sure. So that's my shopping experience. And then downstairs at Rhythm and Rips, they had three special Taylor Swift drinks and I did try the lavender haze drink. And then when I came back at midnight, I wanted to try the midnight's drink, but they were all sold out of the ingredients so they couldn't make it anymore. And it looks like the bartenders weren't really like in the know of the drinks because they had to go at a wall and then look and see what it was. So maybe they just all weren't informed about this, but they were advertising it all over in front. So you guys saw the poster. Let's do the room review now. I'll do it a little different this time around. I'm gonna tell you guys the prices of the mini bar here. Up top, they do have a romance kit. It's 50 bucks. There is a personal item storage fee? What? They charge you 50 bucks if you store your personal items in the fridge. So don't even mess with the weight of the mini bar. Wow, the most expensive thing here is the champagne and the whiskey, $67. And your large water, $24. So those two Fijis over there, 24 bucks a piece. And you have to buy your coffee here. They do have a coffee machine, but they do have coffee cups and you're gonna have to pay $14 for that. Man, that's why I bring my Keurig machine. Shout out to Keurig, sponsor me. <laughs> also downstairs, they do have that $3 drip coffee at the Libertine to go, so make sure you check that out. So the room for me and Dadcation was perfect. We got the two queens, really nice and comfortable. They give you four pillows, this huge desk with a desk lamp, and you have your G-Link outlets and all that stuff for the TV. The TV was kind of in and out of reception for some reason. I never usually see that here. The circuit breaker for some reason kept popping and I was trying to use my Keurig machine and it kept turning off so it was a little process to get done this morning. Unfortunately, MGM properties don't have a fridge but you do get that check-in online where you could use the digital key and we got in here pretty early. I think we got in here before one. My digital key was ready around like 11 o'clock on a Friday. So this was a Friday to Saturday night and what I kept doing was just kept checking rates kept checking rates for like about a month and then next thing you know I saw a rate for Mandalay Bay and it was pretty cheap let's see how much it was so today is the 25th so I did this 20 days ago the room rate and estimated tax was $117.92 and the resort fee is $39 per night plus tax another five bucks so it's $44.22 so I stayed here for $162.14 on a Friday to Saturday the night of a huge Taylor Swift concert so that is unheard of to get a price that cheap especially at Mandalay Bay you'd think either Luxor or Excalibur you'd probably get a rate like that but here that's really good I'll tell you what if I didn't get it the night I saw it the next day it went up to like 250 a night here and then that's not even resort fee so it would have been like 300 bucks a night so I just got lucky they dropped the rates for that one night I checked and I got it so you just got to constantly check your MGM resorts app over here in the bed stand you have a nice drawer they give you your Mandalay Bay pen and paper, as well as a telephone and your iHome down here. For a regular room, pretty spacious. They also give you two closets. You have your iron, ironing board, and safe in there, and a ton of hangers that you can use so you can keep your stuff separated. So me and Dad Kishin didn't really use that since we're only here for one night, but if you're here for more than one night, it's perfect. What I really like about Mandalay Bay is you do have a huge bathroom. They give you the his and her sink with toiletries, a couple of glass cups, your tissue paper, your blow dryer down here, trash can, and plenty of space to sprawl out your toiletries. You also get a bathtub. I could have taken a bubble bath here if I brought my bubble bath uh, liquid with me, but I left it back in SD. Tons of towels, nice decoration of those uh, Polens with honeydews on it in the morning. I don't even know what you call it, is that? I, I don't know, comment down below, what's the name of that? They fly in the air. <laughs> nice huge shower, you also get your shampoo and conditioner, and then they have a separate door to the toilet. The throne was nice and perfect, thumbs up to the bathroom. So the door also has a deadbolt, so that's a good thing, and then you have this nice huge oval mirror when you walk in. They do have a semi-long walkway here, and then if you want to do conjoining rooms, if you're with family or friends, you could even request to have this room, and then this door will open, and then the other door will open and you can get in to the room. Our view is of South Las Vegas going towards the Four Seasons. You can see the Four Seasons pool, the Mandalay pool, and then the airport, and then the mountains going towards Hoover Dam. So we were getting that side of Mandalay Bay this time around. Last time I stayed here in the summer, I was overlooking Allegiant Stadium. That would have actually been fitting for this since we were going to the T-Swift concert. Hey Pop! Hey! What do you think of uh, Mandalay Bay? Mandalay Bay is great. We always win here. Go Aztecs! 
we kick Alabama's ass. You were down in the sports book talking trash yesterday. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I borrowed his uh, San Diego State Aztec hoodie and uh, the hat. And I went in there in the middle of uh, a crowded sports book. And when the Aztecs won, I went, Rah! everybody was checking me out. All the Alabama fans were crying. Roll tide or low tide? Low tide. Also, when you're here, be ready to walk. <laughs> it's a vast resort. It's huge. <laughs> It's huge. Unlike uh, the other places we went to. Circa is nice. Resort World is kind of big, but it's not that big as big as this one. Hey, Uncle Jack won 15000 here. I know. Uncle Jack Cation. We won our bet with the Aztecs, so I'm happy. Peace. Peace out. During the winter months, the pool is closed down, but I'm sure the gym, which is over that way, right down there in that white building is still open. Just a little caveat, the parking garage is a three-story parking garage. It's over to the side, right across the street, so it's not too far. And it's 15 bucks a night for parking, but if you have Pearl status or better for your MGM rewards, you get it for free. I love how you're greeted with the old school medieval chandeliers here. Just take a look at the Starbucks line. That's why I bring my Keurig machine. 12 noon, it's still got the Christmas tree here, right next to the Starbucks. Last time I was here, this was still under construction. Right by the Starbucks is the Bet MGM Sportsbook. Quaint Sportsbook, but pretty cool. Tap Sports Bar is a good place to grab some burgers and breakfast and lunch. And it's right here on the corner by the Sportsbook. Over this way, you have your Dick's Last Resort, Shame Otis Strip. This is where you go and they call you names, treat you bad, and they purposely give you that type of service because that's the theme of this place. Oh, they also have a bar here and a to-go area as well. So if you wanna get made fun of, come to Dick's. And I find it so random that they have a Baja Fresh Mexican Grill here right by the resort elevators and the pool area. They have some live music at the lounge over here and a bunch of TVs where you could watch NFL on Sunday. And it's just a nice ambiance, nice dark area. Cool place to stay, especially if you're checked out and just waiting for your flight. You can just go here, have a drink or two and just relax. On the second floor by the food court, you have this 24 7 convenience store i don't recommend it i got a water for like five bucks there once upon a time and i'm just not about to go there the food court i covered last time but they have your popeyes uh, cinnabon krispy kreme starbucks pickup sticks schlotsky's deli and all that and then they have some shops here some random shops like kids cottage i think there's even a lid somewhere around here so women's store called marshall russo over here here is the excalibur buffet and i really did enjoy this buffet check it out i collab with dan versus world on this buffet and it will surprise you it's actually a really surprising buffet and the price is right over here so it's eight to three and now they're showing the holiday brunch prices $35.99 for adults $18.99 for kids so that'll change throughout the year $14.99 for all you can drink I really love that dessert bar so check out that video after this one over here on the side of the buffet you got lick what color is your tongue nice candy store for you ladies or gentlemen that want to watch the thunder from down under they have a thunder bar here where you can chill before you walk into the Thunderland Theater. If you want to pick up tickets, the box office is here to the left. And then Buca di Beppo, your classic family Italian dining restaurant is right here as well. Look at the inside of this Buca di Beppo. It's really nice and festive. I didn't get into like medieval stuff until later on in life. The night is yours to conquer. I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. I don't think you call that medieval because Westeros is set in a different planet. Right next to the MGM Grand Garden Arena is Nelly's Southern Kitchen. I've wanted to try this. I know this is in the Excalibur video. I've been wanting to try this because it's owned by the Jonas Brothers. Let's see what we can have. Maybe some mac and cheese, some mashed potatoes, and a burger maybe. We'll see. We went on open table and reserved a spot for 1.30, but I got here just before 1 and they were able to seat me. I'm all matching. Look, you, you probably can't see me. White on white, everything. They even have a bar here. Everyone's watching football. It's Sunday right now. Niners and Raiders are playing over at Allegiant later this evening. So there's nothing but Niner and Raider fans here. Their menu over here at Nelly's, they have a lot of chicken dishes like chicken and waffles, chicken and gravy. They got country fried steak, but they told me the meatloaf is amazing and I need to try that meatloaf. I love Love meatloaf and I got the mashed potatoes and gravy and the mac and cheese with that. I might grab a drink, I'm not sure yet. Partied out from last night. This is a Kamabai and Ed Hello. from Nelly's. What's up, man? Kopapanga. 
Pampanga, <laughs> mabuhay Pilipinas. Mabuhay Pilipinas, so buhay Pampanga. Yeah, ano, uh, Torla. <laughs> Nelly is actually the Jonas Brothers' great, great, great grandmother, and there's a picture of her right when you enter. Old school picture. I thought it was like their direct grandmother who actually like gives the recipe, but I guess they had the recipes passed down from ages. They were even telling me that the Joe Bros come here to do autograph signings when they're performing in Vegas, and all the Jonas Brothers fans come here and get those signatures and pictures. So pretty cool tidbit. Comment down below if you're a Jonas Brothers fan. What's your favorite song? I would say for me, What a Man Got to Do is one of my favorite songs. Oh man, this looks really good. Got the mashed potatoes with the meatloaf, mac and cheese. I substituted the green beans. And then they also got the Tabasco sauce. Let's dig right in to their mac and cheese. It looks like they have a mixture of a couple of cheeses here. Mm, it's got like a little cinnamony, like a curryish taste to it. Interesting. Mm, it's a little different. And of course, got to add that Tabasco sauce, guys. Mashed potatoes. I'm feeling that gravy. Oh, that's good stuff. Mm. Dig into that meatloaf. Some that meatloaf here. That is a good tasting meatloaf. I like it. I dig this meatloaf really good. Whatever that recipe is, it's unique. Really good. Woo, that hot. Let's do it with the Tabasco sauce. Y'all already know. Check it out. Mm. That's a good compliment to the meatloaf. I haven't ate since last night, like four o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm gonna devour this. Nice hearty southern meal. I didn't finish everything. I'm a very light eater, so I'm gonna bag this up and eat it for like dinner or something. I'm very satisfied. Nice serving here. I might grab myself a cerveza here before uh, we get out. Also remember, when you dine at any MGM restaurant, make sure you give them your MGM rewards card so you get your points that add up to you maintaining your pearl status or wanting to move up. I'm just trying to rack up the points so I can maintain my pearl status, so I figured I'd just get one little brew here. I got the uh, San Diego Vista beer from Mother Earth Brewing. It's the Cali Creamin. It tastes like, it's like a vanilla beer. It's so good. I have featured this on the channel before, but it's also good to see a local San Diego beer in Las Vegas. <sighs> nice and refreshing. Let's head back over across the street to Excalibur. We're now at the check-in desk. I always suggest, especially if you're in an MGM property, download the MGM app, check in there, you get a digital room key. It's a lot faster and you can get your room key real fast. Like I got my room key for yesterday. I got it at 11 a.m. I always suggest that you mobile check-in, but you also want a physical key card. So use this and you can activate these keys all by yourself. It just works out, especially on New Year's when you have to flash your, new, uh, your card. You don't have to pull up the app and show them your room. You can just use these physical room keys and it's just so much faster to whip out of your pocket. They also have a Australian Bee Gees show, tribute to the Bee Gees. I guess they uh, pair up with the Thunder from Down Under too. And then right next to this is the market, another overpriced convenience store. Over here is the Sword in the Stone Bar, and this is one of my favorite yard sticks. I have one of these. I need to bring it back, but it's awesome. And it's a 36 ounce sword, 27 bucks. Another thing I didn't show you last time was the arcade downstairs. So let's take a gander of the arcade and 4D theater. Down here at the arcade, you got your ice hockey, basketball games, flying tickets, a lot of cool self-serve games. It is showtime. You can pick up some rubber duckies and it's right next to a DQ, a Dairy Queen and Orange Julius. And this is the closest you can get to Circus Circus. Look at this, it's the moat and there is a little Loch Ness Monster monster in the middle <laughs> the big one that's what she said you pick yourself up a stark wolf right here they also got the horse racing medieval game right here as well and it's called Merlin's arcade you got all your uh, racing games as well and then over on this corner is the tournament of kings which I want to do someday and men in black right here this arcade is low-key huge you can win a dragon chalice cup right there and then there's the 4d experience San Andreas polar Express 
bunch of other things. Ultimate 40 experience. You got more air hockey. And then you guys know I love The Walking Dead. Shout out to Rick Grimes. Quarrel. They have The Walking Dead game. Also wanted to shout out Dadcation's friend. He used to work with him. His name is Sean. Shout out to Sean. He actually does all the operations here at the arcade. And I met him a few months back here. And the arcade was closed at the time. But now it's nice and lively. People are here having fun playing games. So pretty kid friendly here at Excalibur. You can have your kids roam around here and have them spend money. There you go, there's your slamming jam. It's about 12.30 and look at all these people dropping off their bags at baggage storage. Over at the Dick's Last Resort entrance, they even have shirts and a little souvenir shop. 2023, Happy New Year. It looks like the long people mover from the strip is not working. This usually helps save you some steps. Last night, this place was packed. For those of y'all that don't know, there is a tram station that links all the MGM properties, Mandalay Bay, Luxor, and Excalibur. And this is the station just outside the Excalibur, right across diagonally from MGM Grand. Now it's time for the 2023 Excalibur Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas hotel room tour and review. I originally was not gonna get a hotel room for New Year's Eve because prices are just astronomical, like $600, $700 astronomical, even in a budget hotel like this, budget hotel like this. I checked on like Wednesday or Thursday of last week, the rate was actually 220 total that's what i ended up paying i could have stayed friday night i could have stayed tonight and it would have only been like an extra 100 bucks but i was only just gonna stay here one night i got to drive back down to san diego it was 220 bucks i am trying to maintain my mgm rewards pearl status and i just came 2700 points short so i'm hoping i can still maintain it today Today is New Year's Day 2023, so this review is actually happening on 2023. I'm sitting here at this table, it's got two chairs. There's a lamp behind it, but the lamp is all kinds of on and off, like it's kind of loose, the on and off switch, so it's kind of hard to turn on and off. So there's problem number one with this room, but it still works. Air conditioning, pretty loud, but during the summer, I'm sure you wouldn't mind it. So I kept it around 73 degrees. They even have the air conditioner controllers here and there's controllers on the wall on the other side. Now I got the queen bedroom and the view isn't that bad. There's actually a balcony outside of here. It looks like I'm at a castle rampart overlooking New York, New York and Park MGM. I could have actually came back to the room and watched the New Year's Eve fireworks from here. I would have been able to see the Aria firework, partially been able to see everything from Paris and MGM Grand, so not bad. The beds were pretty comfortable. I wouldn't say it was the most comfortable bed. I streamed for nine hours last night, so I had no trouble falling asleep last night. Another problem, problem number two, was the alarm clock. They didn't have the right time and it's just blinking. 215. They do have a couple of power strips, so they're going old school here. They give you power strips. So at least you have power outlets to plug in your Keurig machine, because you guys know I like using my Keurig machine. I, I brought it with me here on this trip as well. Downstairs, the lines are crazy for Starbucks and their cafes here by the elevators. So I would definitely say if you have that Keurig machine, bring it with you. And I drove, so all good. Park my car over at the parking garage over there. They do have some Excalibur-ish decorations. I don't understand what the picture of the clouds is all about. Like maybe that has something to do with the Excalibur sword being majestic. I don't know, comment down below. Tell me a little more about the Excalibur sword. Over on the other side, they do have like an old medieval type historic photo that, that looks cool. Over here at the entertainment center, you do have a pretty small TV, but hey, it's all good. I never use it, I didn't even turn it on. They have a safe, but guess what? The lock on it was already like lodged in, so you can open the door. They have to reset it, and you can't reset it unless you call them, and I just didn't have the patience to do it, so the safe was basically rendered useless for this trip. And then you have a couple of drawers as well, and then the Las Vegas magazine, of course. And then over here on the bed stand where the camera is on, you have a drawer and your phone to call down on the front desk or housekeeping, whatever you need. Alarm clock, but it's just blinking. <laughs> and then a, a lamp that has one outlet, but then they do provide you a power strip here beneath your bed, old school style. Over in the entryway, you do have your kind of full length mirror. I would say three fourths mirror on the door itself. Looks like you could just buy that at like Walmart or something. And then uh, double locks, so that's a good thing. And then inside the closet, they give you maybe six or seven hangers. They also give you the ironing board and iron and a luggage rack in there as well. I got a couple of things hung up, so I can't forget that. I almost left my car keys in that drawer. Good thing I checked it. Don't want to forget your car keys. About to check out. 
inside the restroom it's a decent size for one or two people you have your blow dryer and they give you your origin of your MGM amenities uh, shampoo conditioner soap and all that good stuff tons of towels extra toilet paper tissue paper uh, my only gripe here problem number four or was it five the hot water it's kind of hard to turn on uh, with the sink so it kind of squeaks it needs some WD-40 or something the throne was good low to the ground you have a uh, Excalibur looking shield uh, as a frame here and then the shower is a nice walk-in shower and it's pretty warm. The water warms up real quick. I would just say go through here first and then turn on the shower from here so you don't get sprayed with cold water. Overall, I wasn't originally going to stay at Excalibur at all. I already covered it last year, but you want to see how it is in 2023. Last year's was a stay well room and they have like a humidifier and it's just a lot nicer. The beds are more plush. I actually like that room a lot more and it's still here in the same tower. This is just a tower bedroom. So I did like last year's. So watch last year's video after this. I would recommend staying at a stay well. Pretty basic. I mean, this is what you get for your lowest tier MGM hotel, but for 220 bucks, on New Year's Eve I had to take it I streamed for nine hours I didn't want to drive back to my uncle's house that would have just been a mess so I decided to just get the room and it really did pay off because all I had to do was walk in it was just like a mass horde of people after the fireworks and got in, up into my room changed my clothes washed up and went to bed because it was a long New Year's stream and if you didn't see that stream make sure you check it out so I'm hoping I can maintain that pearl status I'll let you know what happens if I did I was able to ask for a 12 o'clock checkout and they said yes no problem so thank you because last time over at Caesars Palace they said no sometimes you get a grace period of an hour depending on capacity in these hotels I got to drive back down to San Diego so there you go one other thing you also get your ice bucket they have a plastic bag in there and just a couple of plastic cups this time I remembered with my Keurig machine I had to bring a mug the only thing you need to remember too is bring a spoon or a stirrer because they don't have that so I had to use my toothbrush today we are covering the signature at MGM Grand we're gonna show you the entire experience along the way. What's it like to stay in one of the Airbnb rooms over there? What amenities they provide? And the access to the pools that you have around the entire MGM Grand Resort. This is gonna consist of not only the signature at MGM Grand, but a few aspects of MGM Grand, the hotel itself, and Pacquiao and SummerSlam Fight Weekend. So I'm really excited to bring you guys along with me. I'm gonna have a special guest. His name is Action Kid. You've seen him on the channel before. And we're gonna do a little room review of the signature at MGM Grand, as well as check out all the spots downstairs where you can get coffee, where you can get food, where you can go lounge out during the day. So let's start this off over here at the pool at MGM Grand. So to start, the entire pool complex is open from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. and the Lazy River itself is 9 to 5 p.m. So just make note of that. What's great about staying over at the Signature at MGM Grand is not only do you have pool access to the Signature pools over there, which are a lot more chill and also have a different vibe, but you can also use the MGM Grand Pool, which is one of my favorite pools because you got this lazy river. Now, I wish I had my little inflatable tiger, which I gave over to my nephew over in Kauai, but if I did have it, I would be on this lazy river right now chilling, but I'm just gonna dip my feet in. That is a great perk to have if you're staying over at the Signature at MGM Grand. There are plenty of other pools here, more chill pools. If you need to find shade, go more towards the MGM Grand in the morning and you'll get more shade over that way. Early in the morning, if you're at the pool at the Signature, which I'll show you, there's shade there as well. Yeah, I love this Lazy River. You can't beat it. All right, Jaycationers, so we're just dipping our feet into the Lazy River here, but there are plenty more other chill pools, but this is my favorite one out of all of them. You can get your floaty. I see donut floaties come in here. Just chill around the Lazy River drinking some beers. Hey, what's up? Cheers. Drinking some coffee. This is just a nice area, a nice way to start it off. We're here at Tower 2 and 3 Pool at the Signature at MGM. Now it's a lot more chill, and sometimes they have the gate open over to the Tower 1 where there's like a waterfall and another pool. Now it's a lot more relaxed here, and this is about 
10.30 in the morning and you still got shade. So if you're somebody that's looking for shade, they have a lot of chairs here and some cabanas that you can chill out at as well. But I'd still recommend the MGM Grand Pool because it's just much more poppin' and so much more cooler to check out. So you have a couple of options for your morning cup of coffee over at the Signature. Delights Cafe offers free refills all day with purchase of one cup, although it's like $5. You just gotta show them your receipt. Over at the Starbucks, you just have to pay the regular prices, but I usually get a Pike's Place Roast. All right, JK Engineers, if you're finding value so far in this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Please consider subscribing as I have content in San Diego, Las Vegas, Barcelona, and all over the world. Promise you, I have a ton of great content. Check it out on Jaycation. And back to the video we go for the signature at MGM Grand. They also have these walkways that make it a little faster for you to go to MGM Grand and back to the signature. But some, you might be walking a little longer, but we're walking along the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Once you end this walkway, you reach to the pool of MGM Grand, which you can also use. What I love about staying over at the MGM Grand properties is that you could hop over the bridge over to a place like Excalibur and grab yourself a Sword in the Stone yardstick. All right, Jake Asianers, so I finally got Arthur's sword. This is the sword in the stone. Put some rum in it. Ooh, that's gonna be dangerous, bro. That's I wanna be performing down. tonight, the thunder from down under oh, with shoot. the dad bod. Oh, this is awesome, though. This was $26 for the entire thing. If you want a refill, it's 19 bucks. I got pina colada, I got margarita, and I mixed it with strawberry. I told them to put more strawberry than anything. This is good. What a yardstick. SummerSlam is going on right now and uh, they have all these like activations where you can take pictures, some stores. SummerSlam and the Pacquiao fight all in one weekend. Crazy. I'm showing DBW uh, the Pacquiao Uga stuff. Today is supposed to be the weigh-in but with the Delta variant going on, I got an inside source telling us that the free weigh-in is they're not going to let people in. So there's a lot of people here hanging out. They're going to be really disappointed because they're not going to be able to see the way in or see Manny way in. I've been to a ton of these. I went to Pacquiao Mayweather's way in and all that. All these people are going to be disappointed. It sucks, huh? Aw, man. Yeah, I feel bad for them. Action Kid and Dan vs. World, they're about to film a video on Action Kid's channel here at MGM. So go make sure you check that tour out and also show you the SummerSlam Superstore. They cleared the crowds out. Everybody dispersed from the security because I guess they're not doing the walkout. The WWE SummerSlam Superstore was over at the MGM Grand's convention space and I just had to pick up a couple of items. So I got the tie-dye Welcome to SummerSlam Las Vegas t-shirt as well as the Stone Cold Steve Austin Vegas 316 shirt which I turned into a tank top. I also checked out the Jabawaki store and the fight ring for Pacquiao Ugas. All right, JK Center. so we're over here at the MGM Grand store and they have all the Pacquiao Ugas gear and my friend David actually runs all the merchandise here. He has some pretty cool gear. I think you can pick this stuff online after the fight as well so I'm gonna link that down below shout out to David it's always nice talking to him and we ran into him last night there is a walkway that connects you to Top Golf we're gonna get our car and drive over to Top Golf and meet a few guests a few youtubers you may notice so stay tuned so walking in with AK there's wet Republic this is where you exit from MGM the walkway and then across the parking lot is Top Golf that's where we're staying tower 2 if you're staying at the signature and you do have a car you're better off just driving here honestly like the round trip walk is about 10 to 15 minutes we tried it yesterday just drive top golf las vegas is one of the more fun activities you could do with a group but make sure you book your reservation in advance online because it gets really busy especially on the weekends they do accept walk-ons but it's not a guarantee that you'll get in right away we spent about $122 for the five of us and about an hour of gameplay. So for those of you that know me, I am a lefty and they only have right-handed clubs here, but if you tell the host that you're a lefty, they'll bring you lefty set of clubs, no problem. And if this is your first time going to Top Golf, it's a $5 one-time fee to become a member here. So just be aware for the extra $5 fee. We're starting off with an hour, so we'll see how far we go. So this is Jacob from Jacob's Life in Vegas. 
Nice to finally meet you, bro. You too, Jay. I've been seeing you around town a whole lot. Yeah, man. It's been fun, man. It's nice to finally like link up with other YouTubers and yeah. you know, have a good time. So, I yeah. It. We're just uh, shooting the, well, swinging the clubs around, right? <laughs> yeah, you say shooting the shit, swinging the shit, whatever yeah. you call it today. Because we're at Top Golf. We're just hitting balls around today. That's all we're doing. Nice. Yep. That's what she said. So. <laughs> Alright, JK Shinner, so you guys always asking about me hanging out with Pompsy. Well, are they really? Out. Do they really? Yeah. What's up, Pomps? What's up, JK Shinners? We just hit some golf balls at Top Golf. Yeah, man, how did it feel? It was awesome. He was, he was much better than me, though. I'm kind of mad about that. Nah, dude, you were, you were hitting the points. You're swinging it like. I was swinging it like a baseball bat, that's why. Okay. So, you know, it's all good. It was fun, yeah, though. Yeah, Top Golf is really fun. Yeah. yeah. We didn't really film. It's funny because all the YouTubers are here. We didn't really film. But yeah, we were just hanging out. We're just hanging out, catching up. But I wanted to have a little, you know, cameo with him. And there's Greta. Hi, Greta. <laughs> How's everything? Great. <laughs> Did you, learn, did you learn something about top golf here? Yes, I learned that I have to actually, it's gonna sound stupid, but I have to actually watch the ball while I hit it. And that way, you hit it better. Yeah, and you two are top two. So. That's an expert tip from Greta. Yeah. <laughs> luck. Make sure to subscribe to Pompsy. And, uh, and yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. Alright JK Schner, so we're here in our room at the Signature at MGM Grand and I am joined by our special guest, Action Kid. Hey, what's, what's up man? Up? So Action Kid, we stayed here for the last five, six nights. Yep. You got in here a little earlier. What did you think about the room and your stay at the Signature? Well, I thought it was great. First of all, you got this beautiful view right out the window. I'm sure Jay showed you already. Everything's well organized. You got the pull-out bed on the, the sofa. Bed was very comfortable. I had no issues sleeping on it. Pillows were nice and fluffy. The uh, television didn't work though, but I think that was some kind of technical issue. They could have fixed it if uh, we wanted them to, but we didn't need it. Bathroom was amazing. The hot tub is generous. Oh my goodness, like so large. And the toilet is in a separate room, which is nice. If someone just needs to use the toilet, then they could just use the main area. Separate shower. There's also two sinks, so there's one sink for each person. And since this is an Airbnb, there are actual rules and they post them around here. So I'll show you guys what the rules are. You won't have your daily service. I think that if you do want to get serviced, you have to pay an extra charge. Exactly. But this is done through Airbnb. So like, it's not like you're checking in directly through the signature at MGM Grand. This is actually somebody's property. Yeah, somebody's property and they're leasing it to you. And I also forgot to mention about the internet speeds here. The internet speeds here are blazing fast. You connect directly to the MGM signature Wi-Fi. It's not secure though, so you have to use a VPN, but you get like 100 megabits per second upload speed and download speeds are even faster. That's awesome. Nice, and then you also get the complimentary valet. Complimentary valet, and um, also access to the MGM Grand. It's about like a, I would say like a five, six minute walk to the MGM Grand through all the walkways, but at least you don't have to walk outside. And one thing that um, you do need to do is throw away your trash mm -hmm. before you leave. So uh, you see a lot of people putting it out on the hallways over yes. there by the trash can. I guess that's acceptable. You just got to clean up after yourself like a normal Airbnb stay. Yeah. And not treat it like you're at a hotel. So yeah, those are the things you have to do. Just read the rules and you should be fine. Mm -hmm. Also the pools too. You're able to access the MGM Grand's pools including the Lazy River Pool which is amazing. and. This other pool too, which is part of the signature itself. And how much is it per night over here? I paid about $155 a night, but I also stayed a one week night. Of, nice. Yeah, weekend night as well, so. So just be aware of that, and yeah, everything else I've said in the video, so. Thanks Action Kid, appreciate welcome, it man. man. Safe travels back home to New York. Okay. And we will see you uh, over in New York maybe at some point. Yeah. One of these days. We'll see you. Thanks Action Kid. Later, Later. Ken. All right guys, let me show you around the room a little bit. Here's the bathtub. Huge bathtub with a paradise because you're kind of in paradise. And this is a nice huge walk-in shower. 
double sink, and the throne has its own room. The throne is nice and comfortable. You have your own room here. And then for some reason, the, the owner of this Airbnb chose to decorate it with Vegas nuclear test site ballerinas. Interesting. That's me, triple mirror. They actually give you a welcome note and champagne, some snacks, which we already munched on, but that's awesome. That's really nice of them. You get your ice bucket and that's locked up. Over this way, you have your extra pillows, your extra blankets, a bunch of hangers, and two safes, which is really cool. Me and Action Kid had one each. Your iron and ironing board. There's Action Kid right there. You got his big bed. He was staying there. And Jaycation was over here in this pull-out sofa, which was nice and comfortable, actually. You guys know how much, how important it is for to have a fridge for me. And this is a big fridge. Look at this. And a really decent freezer. So another amenity that you do get is if you want to fire up the stove, they have oh, yes. a little stove here, microwave, and sink. So even though it looks like a hotel room, you still got these great amenities. And then you also have a huge countertop and that TV. The TV didn't work unfortunately, but we were here to work, here to film. We were mostly on our laptops and in and out of this place. You know, it all worked out. And they also have a nice coffee table here with the pull-out sofa. Over at the MGM Resorts too, you have access to the monorail and that'll get you around Las Vegas if you don't have a car. This room was excellent. I really liked it. Nice and spacious. More than enough room. You could even bring a family of four or five over here and you'd still be pretty nice and comfortable. Anyways guys, let's turn it over to JJ back at the MGM Grand Pool to close out the video. All right, Jake Asianer, so that will do it for this video here at the Signature at MGM Grand. We stayed here a total of five nights. It was amazing. It is Saturday night. We are switching over to New York, New York, so that is my next hotel room review, so stay tuned for that. Tonight is the night of SummerSlam over at Allegiant Stadium and the Pacquiao Ugas fight over at T-Mobile Arena, which I will be attending, so I'm excited for that. Overall, I think the Signature at MGM Grand is awesome, especially for people that don't like to gamble because you're away from the casino and you're less enticed to go gamble over at the Signature. They don't have self-parking, so you have to kind of get used to the valet. Usually you can tip them as you go or tip them at the end, but it is complimentary. So if you wanna stay over at the Signature at MGM Grand and you do have a car, you'll get a parking pass and you should be good to go. Other than that, I love the rooms. Had the stove, a microwave, a really huge fridge, two safes, and it was just a huge space. Nice bathroom. Right now, it's just me and him and just hanging out around here at the tram station that's closed due to COVID. But I wanted to show you a little room tour, what type of things are inside, which restaurants, what shops, and is Luxor gonna close? Because I've heard rumors about it, but I hope not because this is a beautiful pyramid and the rooms are really, really unique. It's the South Las Vegas Strip. I have family that live just a couple of miles away and I just really love this area. So my room rate was about $39 for the night. I paid about 80 bucks total. They take $39 from you when you book it and then they take the rest, which is practically the resort fee um, when you check in. And, uh, give you their credit card. I booked everything through the MGM Resorts app. Like I said, it was about 39 bucks for a Sunday night, 80 bucks total, and you can get your digital room key and all that. And I'll explain to you more about how to get your physical room key, but you can check in through your app and also have a digital room key on your phone. But if you always prefer that physical key, you can get that from the front desk real quick with a QR code. A faster way to check in is to download the MGM Resorts app and check in through there. You can go through all the COVID questions and all of that and get a digital room key to get into your room. But if you're with your brother or your dad or your wife or whoever else and you need another key and they don't have the MGM Resorts app, you have to go here, scan a QR code through that app and get them physical room keys. Are you guys finding value in this video? I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like. Please comment down below and share with your friends as well as consider subscribing. I am currently building a complete library of San Diego and Las Vegas content. Right now we're here at the Luxor. Let's get back to it. All right, Jigationers, welcome to the room tour here at a two queen bed, normal sized room here in the Luxor in the pyramid. And we are on the 19th floor checking out one of the rooms. It's been a while since I've stayed here, but it was one of the cheaper places to stay. We're south of the Strip.
we do have your normal ice bucket. You got a nice little table here where you can do work. Nice chair. You also got another chair right here. Your luggage holder. And then you got them two queen beds along with normal nightstand and your phone to call housekeeping or the front desk. Nothing in there. We also have a Samsung TV. Like I said, always bring your HDMI cable so you can connect your computer to your TV and watch whatever you want on your computer, whether it's YouTube or streaming something else. One thing they don't have is a refrigerator, just like Park MGM, since it is a MGM property. I don't think most MGM properties have refrigerators. Maybe some do, but these basic ones like Luxor and Park MGM don't have it, but they do have a ton of drawers over here as well. What's up? Huge mirror over here. And they do keep it safe with the safe over here. And you got some storage over here, but it's not like your normal cabinet. You can see everything, so there's no door. You can hang your garment bag over here, which I did. They give you about six hangers. They do give you an iron and your ironing board over here. And into the bathroom, it's your normal size bathroom. Decent enough shower. You got your towels down in the bottom, one sink, and your basic toiletries and your hair dryer. So, you know, when I fix my hair up, I need the hair dryer, that's for sure. You can connect to the internet here. They also give you a care package with two masks and some hand sanitizer, so I like that. Although the masks were just the normal, you know, blue masks, there's no like Luxor emblem on it or anything. Not like Park MGM where they actually gave you a nice emblem with it. I like the color scheme, purple, violet, wall and they have this frame of the girl with an eye i like the luxor it's a classic place even though it's south of the strip you still got mandalay bay excalibur and i really like staying at the pyramid because i feel like the pyramid is a cool spot so the luxor has been a classic hotel for me ever since i was a kid it really was very kid friendly back in the day especially with excalibur and their arcade downstairs and it's linked uh, you got excalibur mandalay bay and luxor all linked together through the years i think luxor has become a little outdated in some parts. Their inclinator, which is their elevator, because we're in a pyramid, it's a little shaky now, so that's a little scary, but they do remodel all the rooms, and the rooms are really nice and clean, and the downstairs part where the restaurants and the shops are is still pretty nice. If you wanna go across to Mandalay Bay, you can, and the pool still looks pretty decent here in Luxor, and it's classic. The pyramid here, when it lights up at night, it's beautiful, you can't beat it. Another thing is, if you have a room that is not near the inclinator, you're gonna have to walk almost the whole half circumference of the pyramid just to get to your room, but that's only for some rooms. My room, yeah, you definitely, it's like the furthest walk ever to my room. So you do have an ice machine and a vending machine here. Like I said, the inclinator is a little outdated. They might wanna replace this. Now there's rumors about Luxor possibly going away. I'm not sure what the full truth is to that, but I mean, it's a Vegas staple. You can't not have the Vegas Strip and not have the Pyramid. We gotta figure a way to just improve the Luxor. Another thing that can get confusing are the elevators. So make sure when you check in through the MGM app that you're following the directions. They have a directions to your room section where they guide you exactly to where you need to go and what elevators you need to use. So they do have a Starbucks right by the elevator and a Blizz yogurt. Doesn't look like Blizz is open yet. And then right across the way, there's a market where you need to pick up essentials. Although they are overpriced over here, you can pick up your souvenirs too. Now, if you're trying to get to Excalibur, this is the walkway to get over to Excalibur. They have an arcade there, a Dick's Last Resort, and some pretty fun things for kids. Not only is there one Starbucks by the elevator where my room is, but there's another Starbucks here by the registration area. So now we're headed upstairs to where Diablo's Cantina is, where you can pick up some yard sticks and also Bodies the Exhibit, which is a cool exhibition. So here's the important information that you guys want because I need to stay informational. A 16 ounce drink is eight bucks, 25 ounce is 14, 
A refill for the 25 ounce is 10 bucks. Now, if you want a 32 ounce, it's $18. A 48 ounce is $23. The refill for the 32 is 13 and 17 for the 48. I see how many of you walk around Vegas with yardsticks and y'all want to know that type of information. So there's Bodies, the exhibition. They also have a Titanic exhibition. And then the Blue Man Group ticket office is right here. This area under the pyramid is really what makes this place distinct. I really enjoyed this area of Luxor, right under the middle of the pyramid. It looks like they also have a rice and company over here. And then the connection over to Mandalay Bay, Mandalay Place is just right here. So if you're looking to get over to Mandalay Bay, the shops at Mandalay Place is on this second floor. You just hook a left from the front registration area. And they got a Lux Las Vegas here. Oh, and you can also take this escalator right here. Check this out guys. I might have found a third Starbucks with no line. Might have to pick up some coffee now. Well, unfortunately it's closed, but this is the food court. They have uh, Nathan's hot dogs here, Johnny Rockets, Bonanas New York Pizzeria, and original chicken tenders. So if you're looking for the food court, it's up here too. And LA Subs and Salads is here as well. If you're not staying at the Luxor and maybe you need to put away some belongings to keep safer a little bit, there's locker rentals here right next to the body's exhibition. I don't know, maybe you're going into a show you can't bring something in, you can lock it up over here. Looking for more margaritas? Well, they got the big chill right here. Also in the past, gambling here is not bad. They have a pretty quaint sports book, but they also have $10 tables here as well. And I've actually won here in the past playing blackjack. So for those of you wondering, I don't gamble as much anymore, but back then I did. And I think that they do still have some pretty decent $10 blackjack tables here. I think it's here to stay for now. This is one of the cheaper economic value-wise casinos you can find. Excalibur is a little cheaper, but always expect to pay around anywhere from 60 to 80 bucks. That's resort fee included. People are saying you gotta find a hotel that doesn't do resort fees. It's really hard to find a hotel without a resort fee. So you just gotta automatically say, okay, $30 room rate plus a $40 resort fee, 70 bucks. That's about the going rate for a hotel room here in Vegas. I do like the Luxor. I've been going here since I was a teenager. I like the classic pyramid and all the other stuff. And it's a link to Mandalay Bay and link to Excalibur. There's also a nice little cafe downstairs by the casino. You know, really good breakfast over there. A nice long line over that way. The casino, you know, they have some $10 blackjack depending on like how busy it is during the week. And then there's also the flight bar by the casino that's really cool. Luxor's cool. I would definitely recommend it. I just don't like that. Once again, this is another MGM property that I'm staying at with no refrigerator. Now I stayed at the Caesars property over at Paris and they had the refrigerator. So that was a plus for the Caesars side. Go inside, tour the hotel grounds, and then I'll give you a room tour and maybe eat some lunch over at the new Proper Eats Food Hall. This is what I love about MGM properties. 9.57 in the morning, 9.58, and my room is ready. Floor four, room 208. So this is where my lift dropped me off earlier. This is the drop off lobby area where you can grab a taxi leave your baggage down over here and then the entrance to the lobby is over that way and right above us is the Aria Express that goes from Park MGM to the Aria to Crystals and Bellagio these uh, tornado displays look really cool this is the entrance to Aria if you go up this escalator it will connect you over towards Park MGM and you don't even have to go outside really this statue is called Sanford Biggers and it's made out of bronze and right behind it is the poker room with all the gold card displays over there. It looks like a pretty decent sized poker room. Right on the casino floor is Gem Bar. You can play video poker, watch some TV, and get some cocktails and beer. This is some very popular upscale Mexican dining, and this is Javier's. It's just a really great ambiance over here. They have tons of Javier's in Southern California. They have one in San Diego and Westfield UTC, and one over in Crystal Cove, near where Kobe Bryant used to live. Look at the design of this beautiful rope bar. 
Looks amazing. And there you go. It's promoted as Javier's Finest Foods of Mexico. And make sure you save up for this place because it's not cheap. The Aria also does a great job with their decorations throughout the seasons. And since it is spring, they do have a little butterfly display here. Behind this wall right here is the VIP lounge for the Aria Platinum Noir and Tower Suites. Continuing on with the decorations here at Aria, they always change the lobby around and this is their spring display. Some really cool bubble balls, multicolored, kind of look like my sunglasses that I'm wearing right here. They even have displays that explain what type of art it is and it's right next to the check-in counter. There are a few nice restaurants right behind it. And there you go, that explains it all. There's your bubble wand with the bubble container. And there they are, they're all blowing all over the place here. The only thing that's missing is some actual bubbles floating around this lobby. We also have some nice multicolored flowers in this display. And their hashtag is HowieVegas at Aria LV. And they have these awesome succulent slash birdhouse displays. It's really nice. That takes a lot of work to put together right there. Over in this corner of the lobby is their concierge desk. Everyone is checking in over there, but I checked in early. The Crystal Shops entryway is over this way. Right as you enter here in the hallway, you have three awesome restaurants. Julian Serrano Tapas, orange and red feel to it. And you can get yourself some Spanish tapas over here from a world-renowned chef. The second restaurant you can check out is Catch. Look at this entryway right here. It looks like you're in a little fern forest. Pink, white, and green leaves. Check that out. That is very Instagrammable and a great place to take a date here. Especially if you're doing a little weekend getaway from Southern California. Excuse me if I'm pronouncing this wrong, but this was just boarded up and now they're actually showing the blue velvet curtains here and it's Cathedral Restaurant and Bar. There is a location in New York where it originated. Now they have it here in Las Vegas. I don't know if it's quite open yet. I've seen some Instagram stories. Maybe not during the day, but, but at night. Another angle of the bubbles at the Aria Lobby. You've got these really cool trees here that are lit up with lights and the Lobby Bar. So this is the Lobby Bar. And here is the ever so popular Din Tai Fung. In San Diego, we have one in Westfield UTC. I've gone to the one over in Fort Bonifacio in the Philippines. You can actually watch the chefs making and preparing the food through the see-through glass window right over this way. Just so you know, the dress code is in force. So no swimwear, bathrobes, or immodest clothing. That's a really cool display of the uh, dim sum covers and holders. And there's your Din Tai Fung mascot right there. Hashtag Din Tai Fung Vegas. Right by the elevators here at the Aria is the lift bar. Of course they'd call it the lift bar. This place is called Patisserie. They have an assortment of pastries, coffees, cakes, and everything you can ask for. And they always have nice decor here, especially during Lunar New Year and Christmas time. And this right here is the Alibi Cocktail Lounge. And this is the inside of the Alibi Lounge. Bunch of TVs, a nice dark area. Last time I passed this display, it was Lunar New Year. Now it's got the Easter bunnies. Even though it's past Easter, we're still in spring. Right next to Elements Gifts and Snacks, you have these dandelion displays and that weird looking clock display thingy. And down over this way is the Jewel Nightclub. It's been here for years. I've gone there a couple of times in the past and the entryway is just straight ahead. Din Tai Fung totally wraps around this back area of Aria. It's such a huge restaurant. Just across the way is your pathway to the Vidara. There's also a sky bridge that will take you to Bellagio as you can see over that way. And here is your Laughing Buddha display in this entryway. There's also a gelato stand here at Patisserie just to the corner of it. Behind this orange wall is the High Limit Lounge. This place right here is called Blossom. It looks like an Asian food restaurant. You got your baccarat tables here and this really nice display by the High Roller Lounge. It looks like there's another bar here too called Lemongrass by the Sky Suites entrance. They actually do have a pretty decent sized convention center area here as well. The Mariposa Ballroom looks like their biggest ballroom. And I think I've watched the Pacquiao fight in the past there. And here it is, the entryway to your convention center. Made it over to the promenade area of Aria and this is the pressed juicery. So if you need some uh, smoothies or some juice, they got that here. As well as Sundrise Express, a little convenience store and a Starbucks on the promenade level and then there's also a store here called Tureen. We've been here once before and have tried out their Buddha ramen and 
and the Pizza Aoki. And they have about seven or eight different stalls here at Proper Eats. And this time we're gonna try out Lola's Burgers and their Smash Burger and Truffle Fries. Looks really good for lunch here on a Sunday, so I'm excited to try it. There's nine places that you can order from here. And their hashtag is Diet Starts Tomorrow. And there's the QR code for you to check out. So with Proper Eats Food All, you can grab a seat, scan the QR code, find the place you wanna order from, place that order, you'll get a text when it's ready for pickup. In my case, I just ordered it from my room and it was ready in 15 minutes. I came right down and I was good to go. With that said, you can't order at these places. They actually also have a kiosk here where you can order if you don't wanna do it through your phone or don't have a phone to order it from. Little corny pun joke of the day. Don't go bake in my heart. I couldn't if I fried. A little tornado art installation here. There's Lola's Burgers. Plenty of open seating here at Proper Eats Food Hall. Got the truffle fries, the burger. Now, it is a little more pricey, but I'm telling you, I've tried this patty. It's tasty and this sauce is magic. Truffle fries is a little thicker. Let's try it out. This truffle sauce is to die for. I'm gonna put it in the burger too. Oh yeah, I'll get some ketchup with it. I usually put ketchup in here, but this time around, we're gonna dive into the smash burger. It's got a shiny brioche, sesame bun, pickles, cheddar cheese, two smash patties, and it looks like some sort of a chipotle mayo dressing. Dig in. Smash patties are great. I don't usually keep the pickles in, but it complements it well. Wow, this is a very flavorful burger. A little more pricey, but it's still really good. Now I gotta figure out what I want for dinner. Oh man, I must have been hungry because I smashed every single inch of that smash burger and every single fry, no more sauce. Thumbs up to Lola's Burgers. Let's check out what else they have here to offer at Proper Food Street Eats. They also have TVs here and I'm watching the Kings Warriors series start of the playoffs. Pretty good matchup. Here's their 360 bar that they have to the side of Proper Eats. With a ton of silver balls decorated all around. So they got tamaki bar, hand roll sushi, and sake here. If you want to see what I thought of Black and Buddha, check out my Vidara video. I try it out there. Then there's Lola's Burgers. Over here is Shalom Yal, Farmer Pita, and Hummus. And then over this way, you have your Pizza Aoki and Solberg Korean Fried Chicken. Wexler's Deli uh, focuses on house smoked hand slice sandwiches. This place right here is called Egghead, so you can get your breakfast sandwiches here. And right outside is the Easy Donuts. They have a ton of pastries and coffee here in the morning. It's currently 81 degrees outside, so we might have to go check out the pool. Gotta take off this hoodie first. Here is the Salt and Ivy Cafe patio bar, and it overlooked the pool as well with all the beach chairs. And then the entrance to the convention center is this way. Look at this wall homage of Christopher Walken. He's a great actor. He, he actually cracks me up. He looks like a serious dude, but he's a really funny guy. Look, more Christopher Walken. Over in this corner of the promenade is the Wines Liquors Carbone. Looks nice and schmancy over here. Seafood cocktail selections. Looks like they have some pasta, some meats. Looks like a nice little steakhouse slash seafood spot. I get it. Does Christopher Walken own Carbone? Because there's a big picture of him in the entrance. So is it Jean George's Steakhouse or Jean George's Steakhouse? I like the black and gold theme to this and check out the beautiful bar on the inside. It's closed right now, but that looks amazing. Rounding off this trifecta of restaurants is the Bardot Brasserie. Also looks nice and schmancy over here. They have a nice little outdoor indoor area that's not inside the bar. Oh, wow, there's a separate entryway to the Proper Eats Food Hall over here. And they have foosball tables and more couches you could lounge at as you enter the bar area. And we are now entering the casino grounds. Tons of blackjack and slot machine. It looks like there's a jewelry store here called Radiance coming soon. Here in the corner of of Aria is the Bet MGM Sportsbook and the Moneyline Pizza and Bar is right here. You can get yourself a slice of pizza. Right by the poker room is a Posh Burger. Oh, we just ate at Lola's Burgers, but if you want another burger spot to try, Posh Burger is right here. The color tones of these floors are a little depressing, a little darker. It really doesn't match with the crystal clear type theme of the exterior of Aria but the rooms are nice. I've stayed over here at the Aria once or twice in the past. 
usually during Pacquiao weekends in the past. So it's been probably 10 years since I've stayed here. I haven't been to the pool ever, so I kind of want to check it out. Got my shorts on. Boom. This 80s weather, we got to get rid of that hoodie. So 80s weather, let's go. Want to get to the pool fast? Just go to the promenade level. Don't go down to the casino level. The entryway is that way near proper eat. So the entrance to the pool, liquid sky pool, pool bar, spa salon and fitness center is over across the Starbucks and the promenade. Over to the right is the spa and salon fitness center and then straight forward is the entry. The Aria pool is open from 9 to 6 p.m. This right here is sky pool open from 9 to 6 p.m. This right here is the entrance to the liquid pool lounge. It's a 21 and up pool. No cameras allowed, so we're not going there. I'm actually surprised at how big this pool is. You got that liquid day pool over there, separate pool for the Sky Suites guests, and then your normal pool over here and the pool bar. And then they have a salt and ivy patio bar. So there's a lot you can do over here and it's pretty cracking. 80 degree weather, it's perfect time of year here in Vegas. They have huge cabanas over here in this area of the pool in the very end the furthest part of the aria if you're liking this video so far please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing to the jaycation we're almost to 100,000 subscribers we're sprinting on the way there we're almost to 90k we might just be past it at this point in time go padres we're gonna enjoy some pool time here at the aria i'm loving that they have water stations out here to keep their guests hydrated throughout the summer they have this huge oval pool right here so there's two different pool areas that you can access and then the sky pool for the sky suites people and the other liquid pool that's more of a club i can dig it plenty of beach chairs as well during the summer months i'm sure it definitely piles up i can feel that humidity coming though salt and ivy actually has a patio bar you can access from the pool and the cafe so you can go here and grab some grub during the day there's also a jacuzzi area over here sweet all right guys had to get dinner here at proper eats as well going to shalom y'all we're trying the chicken shawarma pita sandwich right here I had to go back to proper eats food hall i grabbed shalom y'all i got the chicken pita shawarma and it comes with these peppers right here really good the lady there that was working was super nice she even gave me a drink cup so i was able to get myself a root beer every now and then i'll drink a root beer and i got a couple sauces here got a green sauce is this like a tzatziki sauce or like a cream i don't know but we're gonna put it on we're gonna souse it up guys so shalom y'all she was like i just want to make sure you liked it and it's really good she didn't know i was youtubing i didn't even have my camera with me so let's bite into this chicken shawarma Mm, that is yummy. Mm. So I basically charged everything to the room. It accumulates for my MGM rewards points. We gotta try a little bit of this pepper too. Mmm. Ooh, yeah, it adds spice. Woo! Ain't no joke. Woo! That is yummy. That's really good green sauce. Mmm. On top of that. Oh, that's some good barked root beer. I love myself some root beer. That'll go down real well. Chicken shawarma pita. Definitely two thumbs up from Shalom y'all. Really good. All right, I'm gonna eat this. Watch a little bit of the Magnum PI mid-season finale. Call it a night. Give you guys a nice little tour of the fitness center tomorrow morning. And then I'm gonna give you a nice room review before we check out. All right, guys, let's take the tour of the spa and fitness center here. This is the Calology Med Spa. All right, here's the gym right here. Nice and clear. And the gym is open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Getting a little walk slash run on the treadmill in. Nice view of the pool. They have a ton of treadmills and ellipticals. They give you a towel and provide you with the water. So that's a good thing. And it's a pretty decent sized gym. It's not bad. They do have a few weight machines and free weights over here as well. Cool touches on the treadmill. You can watch YouTube while you're running. It's also just nice little lounge area with a fire place and couches right by the entrance of the gym. This Starbucks line here isn't as bad as it was earlier, but this is the reason why I bring my Keurig machine. It is time for the ever so popular room review. This is like my third time staying here at the Aria, but I haven't stayed here till uh, since like 2009 or 2010, I believe, when it was still brand new. Uh, it's kind of the way I remembered it. It's a pricey place because it's city center and it's happening, jumping, vibing, atmosphere. I didn't realize how much 
much energy is in and around the Aria until I stayed here. It was a fight weekend over at the T-Mobile Arena. There was a big boxing match and it was a Sunday to a Monday I was staying here and downstairs it was popping. Almost half the NFL is downstairs right now. I ran into an old coworker of mine. Well, he's a football player, Melvin Ingram. I ran into him last night over in the lobby. He said, what's up? He used to work with him with the Chargers and I saw Super Bowl legend Travis Kelsey walking down the uh, uh, hallway when I was grabbing my dinner last night. So that was cool to see Travis Kelsey. He's uh, also a big podcaster. YouTube channel is New Heights, New News. I almost said that, but I was like, nah, I don't wanna bother the guy. I don't I don't know him. Yeah, very vibing place. This is your run of the mill room. This is probably the cheapest room you can get here at Aria. The beds were a little on the harder side. They're, they still were comfortable enough. They do have very firm pillows. I actually slept real well and was able to get a full night's sleep. I was originally planning a top five nightclubs video for this trip. This just shows my age because I was like, nah, I can't do it anymore. So no top five nightclubs video, maybe in the future when I have more energy or maybe I'll just film it gradually and make it uh, happen as we go. Just like the Vidara, but by your bed stand, you get this huge iPad that gives you all the information about the hotels, restaurants, downstairs, spas, and any type of activities that are going on here around the Aria. So that's a pretty cool tool to have and they also have USB chargers right next to it, nice lamp. And then you also get three switches. If you press bedtime, it will turn off all the lights and bring all the blackout curtains and sheer curtains in, as well as if you wanna read at night, they have these lamps above the bed stands. And then you also got your telephone and lamp here. And this room is full of telephones. There's like three different telephones here. And I'm like, I don't know why you need a telephone in a day and age where you have a cell phone. And yes, you do have your super expensive mini bar where they do have the pleasure kit up top with the mini bottle of Patron. It's called the Temptation Lover's Kit and tons of absolute vodka, Jack Daniels and sodas. I don't have to tell you guys the prices of these. They are just ridiculous. I mean, the Lover's Kit itself is about 50 plus dollars. So you just walk five minutes to CVS like I did and you can get waters for $2 and you can get your Lover's Kits and whatnot for even cheaper over there. This is the desk area. It's nice and spacious telephone, desk lamp. I was able to put my laptop here and do some work. Nice glass table with a trash can down below. Your outlets and USB chargers here as well with a huge 50 inch screen TV over here. And the air conditioning is over there. The decorations here are like light brown and brown. It's a little weird to me because I feel like when I'm staying at the Aria, the Aria should be like brighter bluish colors. It's kind of off putting to see like the dark hallways and then the rooms kind of look like this, but it's still a nice comfortable stay. Like I said, they also offer the Fiji waters and the cashews and trail mix over here. Make sure you don't touch that. Just go to CVS, your ice buckets and a couple of glasses here as well next to a lamp with a nice plush chair. You can hang out, put your shoes on and a little table. If uh, you bring dinner up from proper eats, you can eat on that or you can eat on the work desk. Tons of storage space in this area. You have your full length mirror as you walk into the entryway over on the right side a couple of robes with your ironing board and your luggage rack as well as the iron four drawers over this way and then in here they give you like three hangers another luggage rack so you can just have dual closets if you're here with your significant other see that and the thing is, the walls are kind of paper thin, so you could hear people walking up and down the hallway, so it's kind of loud over here. The switches over here, a couple light switches. You can press the privacy light, so you don't have to put the door tag on there, but they still do provide you with a privacy door tag, where you can press service if you need it. Master on and off, which will turn everything on and off, and you do have your double locks, so that's the thumbs up. In the bathroom, you do have your his and her sink, and they do provide you with Kino skincare lotion and shampoo conditioner. They have two light bars on the side of the huge mirror. It's a nice and bright bathroom, so that's definitely a positive here. Your hair dryers here give you tons of towels. And what's interesting about these bathrooms is that there's doors to get to the toilet and doors to get to the shower and bathtub. Didn't have time for a bubble bath last night, but this definitely is big enough to have one. There's a nice echo in here because I never have seen a bathtub and shower combined in 
in one glass room, you also have this bench where the camera is sitting on and they do give you those huge shampoos and conditioners. So I might actually have to take those because those are nicer ones. When you're staying at the nicer luxurious hotel, they do give you nicer toiletries. And then through this glass door right here, you get your throne. It's a little higher to the ground, but it still works out. And like I said, they still have their phones here. And they're like, for phone rates, see information located near the main phones. Nobody uses these phones anymore. Nice and bright in here as well. And then you also got your shaving mirror, tissue box, and that's your bathroom tour here. In total, and this is for a cheaper night here at Aria, I constantly check rates on the MGM Rewards app. I was able to stay here for $204.25. That's at a room rate of 135 bucks, and then another like 20 dollars for taxes and then 51 dollars for resort fee and tax as well it's a pretty pricey night to stay here at aria but i can see why because they do have like upscale dining nice jewel nightclub over here this is just where basically the party's at and it really is what they call the city center. For 204 bucks, that's what it is when you're staying here at a luxurious hotel. Now, would I do it again? <sighs> Honestly, the rooms are kind of normal to me. Like this is their normal room, right? Uh, they do have automated curtains and all that stuff, but I paid a lot less to stay just across the way here at Vidara, and you have a huge suite over there. For this same price, I could probably find a place over at Resorts World or even at the Venetian or Palazzo for this price. I mean, you're probably just staying here because of the vicinity and the area that it's in and the vibes. $204 is pricey. Let's just be honest, it's, it's a little pricey. I did like my stay here. It was nice that my room was available by like 9.47 in the morning. So I was able to just easily get into a lift from the airport and get my bags right into my room and just get my day going. So that was definitely a positive. I do like the proper Eats Food Hall. I like how you can just charge everything to your room. The two places that I ate at, it was about $40 altogether. You can eat down there or bring your food upstairs like I did last night for dinner. Had to watch that Magnum PI mid-season finale. Aria's cool, the pool actually surprised me. I, I should have checked out the uh, private pool that they have, the 21 and up pool, but I was kind of just busy doing stuff. Nice fitness center. That whole promenade area is makes it easy for hotel guests to get around and you don't even have to go through the casino. So that's a big thumbs up. They do have Din Tai Fung, Javier's, Catch, and the new Cathedral restaurant, which is also cool, but that is fine dining. And I'm sure if you're staying here, you probably have the money to dish out for a nice dinner, but make sure you get your reservations. All right, vacationers, that will do it for this video at Aria Las Vegas. Let me know what you think of the Aria and the city center down below. Do you also have your shopping option at the Crystals? But I felt like, you know, that's very high-end shopping and I could have given you a tour there, but maybe one day I'll go back there in a separate video and show you more of Crystals. The Aria Express is a very good use of a tram. It'll get you from Park MGM to Aria to the Crystal Shops and all the way to Bellagio. If you utilize that especially when it's hot you can save yourself some steps and some energy and enjoy your vacation here in Vegas comment down below what other luxurious hotels you want me to cover or other budget hotels you like me to come back to if there's something I haven't seen yet let me know in the comment section check out Las Vegas 777 let's go it's my Facebook page full of 2,000 Las Vegas lovers talking about news and the latest going on around Sin City. Please like and subscribe. We're almost to 100,000 subscribers. We're trying to get there guys by the end of 2023. So your support would be greatly appreciated and much love. We'll see you in the next one and in the words of Jaycation, stay traveling Las Vegas. Let's go!